Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some cheeky Skyrim. Oh, it's been a, it's been a long morning. I've not even got a Discord yet. <laughs> you always know we're running a bit late if I've not said good morning on there. How are we all doing? Let me get uh, let me get everything all put a little bit where we want it all. Oh, Jesus, man, that looks glorious. I think I've got sound on. I have. There we go. Right, perfect. Right. Good morning all. Good morning, Yeti. How are you, mate? How are you feeling today, Yeti? You any uh, you any better? When when do you hear more about your tests, Yeti? It seems to be taking a a hellishly long time, my friend. Let me get a, a dram of my coffee down my neck as well. Good morning, Hixie. How are you, bro? How's things? Uh you're right, Thuck. Morning, Caskill. Morning, Allison. How are you, Hixie? How's uh, how's Crimbo been, bro? Have you had a nice one, fella? Yeah, I'm all right, thank you. I'm just tired, to be honest, Yeti. It, it, it's a whole new logistical operation right now. Every second counts. The beauty of it is, yeah, is traffic at the moment is uh, it's not too bad. P public transport is like virtually non-existent though at the moment. You are right, badass. How are you doing, mate? Oh, you've got is is little one extremely happy today? Is uh, is she badass? How is uh, how is everyone? Are you doing anything tonight, badass, or are you just uh, you staying in? Super Zoo. How are you, bro? Uh, you go back to the new addiction, Elder Scrolls Online. Are you enjoying it, Super Zoo? No, it's really nice when you find a game like that, isn't it? I wish I could find an MMO, but just can't, just don't been able to find the one, dude. Just not been able to find the one. Maybe Elder Scrolls Online could be the one, but I, I suppose the problem is having played Skyrim heavily modded, Elder Scrolls is just not going to stand up, really. You're alive, Hixie. Is that about it? <laughs> Well, it's like we sometimes say, isn't it, Yeti? And, and Bob. Bob's, Bob's always the same. 
Hey, look, we, we woke up today, right? Or at least got in safe from work anyway. Right, let's have a gander. So we, I think we're all ready to head out, aren't we? I think we've got a nice little bit of food. We've got oh, we've got that treasure map, haven't we? So let's have a quick gander at the old treasure map because that, that must be fairly close to here. So it's almost like it's just saying, head out of Whiterwood. I, I, that must be the stable icon, right? And opposite the stables, on the other side of the road, there is a windmill. And from that windmill, from the rear of the windmill, it's almost like suggesting this. Should we go and have a look? Should we go and see if we can actually find that? I don't think I've ever actually seen one. Right, let, let, let me have a snort. Let me just mute out. That's a little bit better. I'm, I'm all, uh, I've all got the lurgy muck schlurgy at the moment. Well, no, not as in, like, as in actual lurgy, just because uh, coming in from the freezing cold so suddenly. I don't think we really had much on Donkey, did we? I think I actually am. In fact, I think we've, we've, we're up to date with everything, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, well, that's that's what I've enjoyed about this Super Z, you see. And, and hopefully inspiring some other people to give this a bash. Because if you want to, this is a very well-established, very robust pack Super Z. And I must admit, what, what you've said there rings very true. For the last two no i think three evenings isn't it uh while i've been on the phone to my dad and various other things um i have been attempting to get fallout 4 working and i can't um it was hysterical yesterday and i really mean no disrespect to to the people that helped out in the end i actually went on to a particular discord and says like guys you know you're all amazing. Anyone got any idea how we can fix this damn stutter in Fallout 4? And I, I went to all the trouble of posting a video. And, and you know the first responses? What you want about? And someone even said, it's as smooth as butter. And I went, mate, if you think that is smooth as butter, then it's no wonder, right, that the gaming industry is having the issues it is. So I, I, I said... All right, I get it. I'll make another video. And what I'll do is, is I'll pop the controller on and I'll do a nice pan and, and I'll pan around and hopefully you'll see what I'm talking about. And, and I made a video. And, and again, people were saying it's smooth as butter. And it's like, it's so not smooth. It's so far from smooth. It's not even funny. And, and then eventually a couple of people went, and, yeah, actually, I see what you're saying there. And then I got the glorious one. I, I got the one. It, it, it was like I'd gone fishing and I managed to catch the greatest fish in the ocean of gaming. I got the one who said, it's hardly even noticeable. Why don't you just enjoy playing the game? And I just thought I've hit the jackpot. Having already explained in quite some considerable detail elsewhere and therefore shortly on that particular Discord, I did say the stutter might not be a visual massive concern in terms of its, I, I guess, intrusion on the game when I'm showing you these little videos. But I can assure you that during combat, it is a hell of a problem. Because as you pan across, imagine playing Tarkov where you're panning across to shoot someone in the head and suddenly you get a stutter. And your mouse has now moved three inches across the screen or, or not moved three inches across the screen. So how can you enjoy a game like Fallout, which is hell bent on shooting people in the face? And I just thought, you know, some people, right? They will go so far out of their way to say like, oh, well, I don't see a problem. Oh, but now you've pointed it out and others have seen it. I will acknowledge there is a problem. However, I'm going to refute there is a problem still by telling you that you're an asshole. Just go and enjoy the game. I couldn't believe it, mate. I, I felt like everyone else had been like so helpful. And I have to say the one guy, uh, well, two guys over there, big shout out to them. Well, one of the guys actually came in and actually says like, how the effing hell is he supposed to enjoy the game if he can't control the camera? You know? And I thought, thank you. Thank you for saying that so I didn't have to and make it out like I'm now engaging in some sort of horrific morale discussion around the ins and outs of enjoyment in video games. So it, it was, it was, oh, and, and exactly super zoo. Exactly what you just said there. Sometimes you just want to play a video game, don't you? Um, 
And I can't play Fallout. I just can't. And, and I went everywhere last night. I went into every single stream uh, that I could find that was actually running on Fallout 4 yesterday. Trust me, it wasn't a lot. And every single one had the same issue. People just don't notice it. They're just not noticing it. Um, I don't get it. it. It seems to happen to modded. It seems to happen to unmodded. It, 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 it's so pervasive. I just can't. I just. It's weird. There's just no solution to it. I don't know whether it's something that's happened with like Windows 10. Do you know, it was it something that was like not such a big issue until like there was a Windows 10 update and now all of a sudden we, we've all fallen prey to this like old 2015 hideous issue. Oh, it's, it's crazy, man, honestly. And I really like the look of the game as well. And, and some of the guys over there are amazing. So yeah, that, that rings very true for me, Super. Uh, you got close to 400 mods running on score and works great, looks awesome, though heavily not safe for work. <laughs> wow, well, just, just be careful. Schlongs of Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, badass. We're all doing good. Just having a couple of drinks in the house to bring in the new year. Gothic is going to be streaming later tonight. It's so just usual. Oh, what, what's he streaming, uh, badass? You're right, VR Drunken. How are you, mate? Isn't it 007 Gumblebob? <laughs> That's I like that. I like that. That we need more games like that. Actually, I'd, I'd like to see. Was isn't the rumours of like a new? Uh, or, or I think it's beyond rumour now, isn't it? Isn't there a new remake of Splinter Cell or something happening? So this must be. This is obviously. I mean, I, I would say, looking at that, that we follow that path around there and up and around through that little tree line. Don't you think? And, and I would say, looking at the peaks, it's going to be around there. Don't you reckon? Should we go and have a little ganders? Let's go and have a little bit. See if we can find our very first trail. I don't need a shovel or anything, do I? Uh, you're well. The booster shot's kicking my butt a tad. Uh, but doing well so far. Nice one. Good call, man. Good call. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? A lot of people have been getting their boosters over Christmas. Is that is that just because of the time it's fallen with the six months or whatever it is? A lot of people got done in the summer, didn't they? Right, okay, let's get up there, let's get up there. Did you have a nice uh, Christmas in the end, Hixie? Yeah, I, th I think this should be fairly straightforward. So what's, um, what are you playing then, Super Zoo? What, what class did you go for in Elder Scrolls Online? I have actually played, I, I played hundreds of hours of Elder Scrolls Online when it first came out. We are actually talking about it yesterday. I can't get up there. I actually can't get up there. Um, and, and obviously when it came out, I really enjoyed it. I mean, I've even got, right, literally still to this day, sitting next to me here is the uh, the Elder Scrolls Online Super Duper Mega 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 Edition with, with like some, is it the Baal, Morag, whatever his name, statuette or something inside it. It's, uh, I really splurged on that. I was so excited to play Elder Scrolls Online. And I did enjoy it, uh, and I, what I, oh, really? <laughs> I'm looking for a treasure. Oh, th th thank you, weather. Th thank you, Tamriel. Unbelievable. How obvious are these treasures? I mean, you know, it, it could be like buried or, is it just like a chest or something? I have no real idea how this all works. I would, I would, I would be expecting it to be here in, in this like little end area. I don't think it can be any higher. But yeah, that Fallout Four. Oh wow, dude. I think it, I think all, all the fixes from back when the game first came out, like 2015 and around there, all used to work. I can't help but feel that that somehow modern hardware has thrown a new like almost like spanner into the works with the game. I don't know. What do you think, guys? I mean, it, I don't see how it can be any higher. But I also most definitely can't see anything below me. I mean, there is the windmill. So if we were to take a quick... Yeah, it's, it's, almost, I mean, it's almost like it's saying it's directly behind the windmill, isn't it? And we're not, we're not a million miles off that. Unless it's down... 
You know what I mean? Unless it's like lower. So, so maybe this is the way we get up to it. But maybe we have to drop. Can't see anything along that ridge line. I'm not sure because this is the first one. I'm not really sure what we're looking for. Could e I could even say it was down there actually. Where there's been like a... If I go down there, I'm going to have to come all the way back around to get back up, aren't I? Hmm. Let me drink some coffee. I'm not sure about that. Uh, so it's six months, is it? Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so are you feeling all right then, monkey? Or... So, Hicks, are you off to the hospital at around half ten? Uh, half eight here at the minute. Uh, think to discuss treatment options, which I'm fairly sure I know how it's going to go. Part of me is hoping they'll actually go with some treatment today rather than just tell me I have two options. But... Both of which I know about quite already. So, so where are you at? So, I, I think I'm a bit confused as to what's going on, actually, Hixie. Oh, it's quite low and mostly buried in the snow. So, do you think it's further down? Do you actually think it's further down there? Or do you think it is still up here? Because if it's half buried in the snow, there is no snow down there. Do you know what I mean? Well, you, you, you play that, uh, that that zombie game, so you're used to walking around aimlessly anyway, Big K, aren't you, really, mate? Oh, there it is. I've got it. Nice. My first treasure. Right, we got... Oh, Dwarven Bow. That'll be worth a few pennies. We've got the Elven's Flawless Amethyst, in Iron Ingot, an Orichalc Sapphire. That looks gorgeous. Look at that. Literally more polygons in that there, right? Than in your entire zombie game. Uh, okay. Uh, Septim 8 and a Soul Gem 3. Perfect. Nice. Nice to do, nice to do one. Really nice to do one. <laughs> That's all right, Thuck. That's all right, mate. I was going to say, the thing is as well, because obviously we're using such a, such, such a big overhaul visually. You can actually see, look at the draw distance on that. You see above my helmet, you can actually see a tower all the way down. I don't know if you can see it on stream. You can actually see a tower right on the edge. I don't even know. I don't even know if that's down near the ocean or something. Isn't, isn't that absolutely stunning, man? It's a shame it's not a brighter day because obviously it's kind of washed out when we've got the, uh, the heavy cloud cover and things, but... That just goes to show how much work's gone into this. And, and Dindalod. <laughs> I dread to think how many hours Phoenix must have spent running Dindalod in his various iterations of this game. And you know what? Not a single goddamn texture stutter either. Spinning blades on the windmills. Gorgeous, mate. Smoke from the giant's campfire. Moments like that that you just wish we could play Elder Scrolls Online with a mod pack, right? <laughs> uh, there's a shout for that, Clear Skies. It is, yes. I'm looking forward to getting that one away. I think that would be really nice, actually. Yes. I think the only shout I ever actually cared about back in the day was the one that forced the dragons to land. But yes, yeah, so I, I really need to get into the habit of using the uh, shout. I am so bad at using it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so that exactly big case. So what you'll do is you'll basically play a uh, a game with zombies in it who are the only mild threat, and you're going to get in a gyrocopter to fly everywhere. So there literally is no threat in the game whatsoever, because oh yeah, let me let me remember because you're a pussy. Yeah, there you go, mate. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get myself a little uh, mini bike, and I'm going to uh, drive around on that. Because I, I have no penis. It fell off and shriveled up. Yeah. I know how it is. You don't need to tell me, mate. I know how the game works. I know the game even better than you do, bro. <laughs> uh, they did so well making it feel bigger. They did podger. Yeah, they did. I tell you, I would love to play Elder Scrolls Online. I'd love to give it a bash. I'd love to boot it up. I did, in fact. I did actually reinstall it. Um, I can't remember, mate. I, I, I did... Uh, it's going back probably it's probably about it's probably 12 months actually 
The only, the only downside I had with Elder Scrolls Online was I seem to remember I, I, I got really bored of the combat. I found the combat extremely lacking, but I, I suppose it could have been because of the class that I chose. You know, maybe by choosing a different class, I, I would find something a bit more interesting. But uh... it's kind of weird as well because Final Fantasy sort of seems to have become this like behemoth, like new. I don't know. Uh, it, it, it's like the number one, isn't it? Outside of World of Warcraft, Final Fantasy has become like... You can even see just up there, look. The, you remember where we... Uh, just right right on the nipple of my helmet. That's those little stones where that necromancer... You remember like in the early days, somebody in the skeletons? It's freaking phenomenal, really. And it's not even a clear day. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Now. Exactly, the mini bike. says, oh, get a mini bike, just drive around, zero threat anywhere. Right, um, they look like rather nice leaks, don't they? All right, well, anyway, we've done it. So let's have a look at the rest of the quests. Let's have a look at our miscellaneous ones. I think we go and collect the bounty and do Ayla. I really don't want to go killing dragons. Greybeards, obviously. Kamato, I'm not too worried about at the minute. Find a way to release Thorald from Thalmor custody. I wasn't that quite some distance away. We could try Nettlebane. Oh, yeah, yeah, all right. We'll do... So, hang on. Let's go and speak to Preventus. How do I investigate the Gulder legend? We'll have a look at that. So, let's go and speak to Danica in the sort of sanctuary. We need to speak to Proventus to get our bounty. And we also need to speak to Ayla. And I can't remember what we'd be doing for Ayla, to be honest. Uh, I seem to remember we woke up. Oh, we got the other fragments of Wuthrat, didn't we, after we woke up as being a what's it? Let's go. Uh, your buddy plays Elder Scrolls Online quite a lot. It, uh, I bought it last month, but can't get into it. Black Desert Sport of the Roman Mosman. So, what was the, what was the, like, the... What was the, I, I guess, potentially glaring deficiency in Elder Scrolls Line over Black Desert? In terms... Was it a visual sort of issue you had because i know elder scrolls online is not a pretty game man. I, even i was quite mortified I, I actually remembered it as quite a good looking game uh when when i booted it up about 12 months ago you could really feel the age um and, and i get that you, you know you know mmos are not the sort of things where they suddenly do massive visual overhauls because you, you, you can't afford to lose your player base you can't silly turn around and say, oh yeah, you all need an RTX 3080 now to play it, can you? So I'm, uh, I, I, do under, I do appreciate that, but... And, and of course, you know, when you play something like a, a heavily modded Skyrim, going and playing a washed out Elder Scrolls Online. And of course, the thing is, you can't even fiddle with it, can you? I don't think you can even use Reshade with Elder Scrolls Online. I think those uh, DLLs might uh, be, be classed as a bit of a sniffy issue. Oh, it is about the hands. I was hexy. I was getting confused, dude. You know, you know what, mate. I thought this was something that was COVID-related for some reason, dude. Sorry, bro. That, that's why I was. That's why I said to you, I think I'm getting confused here, bro. Got you. Got you. Yeah, because you've been really suffering, haven't you? Um, yeah, yeah. So, so you'll find out today, then, will you, Hixie? So, what, what's, uh, what would be the best outcome of today, then, dude? Uh, obviously, you don't really want the surgery, do you? The, oh, the, oh, here we go. Hydrocortisone injections. Yeah, I mean, when, when they say painful, isn't that only immediately afterwards? Um, I mean, if you if you were to get two years uh, of pain-free relief, I suppose that that's that's the lesser of the two evils in a way, isn't it? And, and at least you've still got the option of surgery later on, haven't you? Oh, no, Hexy. Oh, dude. You, you know what? When you said you were going to that, I didn't, I didn't say anything because I just... You know, you'd got an appointment. You know, when you actually said you're going to the hospital today, I was like, holy shit. You know, I didn't even realize the hospitals were like really normal standard appointments. Don't you? <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Sorry to wear that, fella. Yeah, I've told, I've told, I, won't, I won't tell you the story I've got, Ixi. I've got a horror story about all that. Stick with Big K's happy story, bro. And it's really cheap, is it, Super Z? Uh, is it. Isn't it free to play once you've bought the latest expansion? 
Uh, no, it isn't, is it? No, no. Elder Scrolls Online. Isn't Elder Scrolls Online a pay monthly? Don't, don't, don't you buy the latest expansion and that gives you everything, right? But then you do have to pay, is it like $9.99 a month or something? Or, or is that not the case, bro? You've got to be tempted to give it another boot up. But just about everybody in here. What happened last time was I, have any questions. I installed it and I didn't even last an hour, to be honest. I, uh... Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. I, I know, Trinkets, I know I had, odds um, and ends, that sort of thing. memories of Black Desert Online's visuals. Um, I'm gonna sell the Dwarven bow. Uh, obviously we don't want to sell that. Uh, we'll sell the, oh god, I've got the hiccups, I'll sell the circlet. We'll keep the treasure map for whatever reason. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Do come back. Actually, let's just see what it's got for sale. I never check what they've trinkets, got to and buy. Ends, that sort of thing. And I'm sorry to hear that, Ixie. I am sorry to hear that, bro. Oh, he has actually got some much better arrows, look. Elven arrows at 47. Is that is that 15 gold each? Oh, wow, it is. Yeah, that cost me 700 gold for 47 elven arrows. My God. Just thinking about buying anything that might give us a ring of stamps. So that sounds good. So oh, that would be so nice. That would be so good. An extra 30 stamina, man. That's probably like a whole extra shield bash. He has actually got some really good stuff in here. We've already got oak flesh. And I've got an amulet of water breathing. So uncommon taste, though. Frostbite, a gust of icy wind. All right, Remember, let's go and speak to uh, let's go speak to Ayla. Bellator, <laughs> a dick, but he, he's, he's kind of like the perfect character. He's just the ultimate wheeler dealer, isn't he? He just don't care. He's just uh, he, he does he does fit the role, doesn't he? So it's... You've had a nice Christmas, Podger. Oh, you don't need to pay... The, uh, is it just a bonus, is it, if you if you pay the monthly fees? Like, does that, like, give you extra bits of currency and some boosts and things? Is that the way it is? It's 19.95 for the entire game with all the DLCs. It's a good price. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely, dude. I think, I think that there's two ways of looking at a modern day MMO Super Zoo. And I think New World has really changed my my stance on this. You see, I've always seen an MMO as a long term commitment. It's the kind of game you pick up. If it costs you 100 quid, whatever. If it costs you, you know, to play it for 12 months. If it costs you like 40 quid, whatever. You, it's, it's there designed to be played for a long time. Um, I think New World's changed my opinion on that. I, I think the world is changing and I think it's okay to have an MMO that you play in a more relaxed manner. It, it, the problem with that is for me is if you're playing relaxed, it means possibly more erratic time schedules and therefore more difficult to play alongside someone. And, and there's one thing I will refuse to do and that is play a single player MMO. MMO. I, I just can't do it. I, there's just no point. So... Uh, uh, may, maybe I could convince myself otherwise for the stream. You, you I've know? been running interference for you around here. I don't mm. think anyone's caught on to our little campaign yet. Okay, well, I got the fragment, Ayla. Another piece of glory. Good work, shield brother. Okay, and what's the next target? Twice. We're, we're that adamant and, and ex 150, is that it? Really? For an ancient relic to bring glory back to the companions, she gave me 150 septims. You are tight, darling. I've been hearing rumors of Silver Hand activity. A group of them has holed up in White Run. Run fast, my friend. Assassinate the Silver Hand leader. A group of them has holed up in White Run. Okay, well, that's interesting. Where the hell would that be then? Uh. Well, hang on. Before we do that, let's go and speak to Preventus. Let's go and get our bounty. Let's see what he's going to cough up. Because we went to Radoran's retreat yesterday, didn't we? Was that was that his quest? 
It's been okay, thanks, mate. It worked over the whole thing. I'm a COVID test and we were super busy. The second someone gets a sniffle at the moment, they come in for a test. Yeah, that's the problem, isn't it? But at the same time, at least people are getting tests, right, dude? We are the children. Yeah, my uh we, we struggled to get my dad uh, his PCR. It was um, where he was going. He ended up getting flooded, like like literally, as he was sort of like planning to get there, and uh, they, they had to cut it off for the following day. Didn't need it. I mean, we knew he was positive, but I suppose you, you have to go and do. You've got to put the ticks in the box, didn't you? Yeah, exactly, Caskill. Yeah, that, that that that's what I found. Elder Scrolls Online was a single player, and and therefore. And, you know, obviously there is multiplayer stuff. Of course there is. And, and, and the dungeons and the spelunking. But, um... Yeah, it was. It, it, it was. It, it didn't feel like it was nudging you into that. Getting a party and go swashbuckling together. Which, like I said, it isn't for me. But, you know, I could be convinced otherwise for the stream. Because sometimes it is nice just to have a stream. You know, quite chilling out, you know. Without having to worry about... You know, playing at someone else's pace or uh, what what have you. But I haven't played Black Desert Online for a few months, but when there was never a monthly payment at all, just a one-off purchase. So yeah, I, I don't know how BDO works. Is that is that it? You just buy it and that's it then. So that's more like well, a few of them, I suppose, these days. Hmm. To be honest, it's fairly consistent. I mean, this is this has got an overhaul. Uh, the loot in this is is highly based on zone and level. So until I start getting higher up, swashbuckling the evil, the higher level evils, I'm, I'm not expecting to get anything. At least it's consistent. You know, if I do find like gold, you know, it's literally just a few septims. If if I'm lucky in a in a chest, I'll find about 150, uh, which is not often. And normally one in a dungeon if, if it's that kind of bounty and, and that is very similar to what i'm getting is the overall bounty payouts but the thing is it, it's still quite nicely balanced i mean i've still managed to afford a house and a horse um without really trying um because most of the loot comes from the booty in the dungeon itself doesn't it and of course you've also got all that wonderful i mean even more so if you're not disenchanting and things uh, right, we need to speak to Proventus. Where is my friend Proventus? There he is. I serve Jarl Balgrub as steward. How much do you have to interact with the players on Elder Scrolls Online? I don't think you really... I, I, honestly, I don't think I had to at all, apart from doing what were the, the, the dungeons. Um... Where I, I can't remember, I, I, were you forced into parties like like an LFG party group system? Can't really remember. I'm, I, I, I want I don't really don't really want to say too much because obviously it will all have changed anyway. But I think I played for five hundred hours uh, on on stream, and because no one else was playing it with me, um, I didn't really know anyone else playing it. So I was still just trying to do some basic leveling before I started looking for a guild. Um, and I actually, I actually, like Caskill said, it was kind of weird because I actually ended up, and one of the things I used to speak about a lot, even as re recently as the New World release, was how fun the questing was in Elder Scrolls Online. Um, it felt like I was playing Skyrim single player, but looking forward to the big grouping up for like raids and dungeons and things later on. So very little actually from what I personally remember, but I don't know how much... Uh, I don't know how much that has changed, but an extremely solo-friendly MMO from my 500 odd hours with it. Excellent, you've done us a great service. Here is your reward. 400, nice. Now that is a big wedge of cash. That's a very big wedge of cash. Um, has he got any? Has he got anything else? Just ask him about the grey beards. Near as I can tell, a bunch of ancient Nord hermits who live on top of a mountain. Never heard of them talking to anybody before. If they really do want to talk to you, you'd better go find out what they want. You never know. Ah, splendid. Our fine city has a proud history, and I'm happy to share what I know. The history of Whiterun begins with Norvaskar, the Hall of the Companions. For a long time, it was the only building on the mountain. Morning, Doc. As time passed, a thriving community sprang up around Norvaskar. 
Stai, stai, Poggio. Today, Whiterun is the jewel of Skyrim. I can say without boast that it is the greatest city in all the holds. Hmm. Okay, all right, well. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. Thank you very much, Breventus. Thank you very much. <coughs> You're right, Fade. You're right, Tag. Thank you for the host, Miss Jamie Tigress. Once again, thank you very, very much indeed. Take that. Uh... We've got a bit of a problem, by the way. We we have um, we we have multiple games coming out in February. <laughs> well, I, there was one that I'd forgotten about, and, and it's right on the tip of my tongue, and I, it's going to escape me. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, does anyone here know anything about Nathan Drake, the Uncharted series, etc., PlayStation? I, uh, I I'm one of its biggest fans. Uh, I, I'm devoutly loyal to Naughty Dog. Love that. that they, they were the developer that rekindled my love for gaming when I was in an era of Xbox 360 bland, bald-headed, chauvinistic, steroided, boring, drab, grey, shoot everything. Uh, it's a bit like that zombie game. Um literally lost the will really and, and then naughty dog came along and i picked up a playstation 3 and, and i was swept off my feet but i've never played uncharted 4 and apparently there's something coming out in february uh which is like some sort of playstation 5 or i guess generally remastered but i don't know what it is i don't know what games it includes we've got that we've got uh horizon forbidden west and we've got dying light 2 and i think they all come out in february I don't know, Caskill, is it? I've got no idea, bro. I, I haven't heard about that. C can't comment. Yeah, there's a film coming out. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I think it's something called like uh, Uncharted The Lost Legacy. So I don't know whether it's just a remaster of Uncharted 4 and any Uncharted 4 DLC or whether it's something else. Because I have been chomping at the bit to play... I, I, I'll have a chat when there's a couple more people around because we could get we could get that 3090 it, it, it's on the cards uh, uh, but it is a massive massive fucking favor guys um, <laughs> those two people should be sitting down look it's hard enough with all these wounded from the war please don't just let it stay like this it's disgraceful I really don't have time to deal with you right now. Please just let me get back to my work. But, but, but this is supposed to be your work. Stop. Uh, See, look. <laughs> my body burns. <laughs> That's actually even freakier. She's supposed to be lying down on there, isn't she, look? <laughs> it, it's, like, it's like we interrupted them as we came in. It's like that, all these people are like actors in Skyrim. And, and we came in off, off camera shoot. And they're like, oh no, oh no, shit, we were having a party in here, mate. I'm not really poorly. <laughs> Look, she managed to sort it out. You're breaking continuity here, Brian. This is shocking, fella. Well, I speak to Danica about nettle. Uh, what did we get? Nettle bane, wasn't it? This thing looks amazing. What does this even do? What is that? What's the blessing in here, giver? Blessing at 45 stamina. Ooh! Oh, imagine that with that ring. That'd be another 55 stamina for a whole day. Ah! Oh! So, have you gotten Nettlebane back from those filthy hag ravens yet? I have, yes. Uh, has the storm cloak up? Well, let's answer that. Uh, yes, we have. We found Nettlebane, and, and it's beautiful. Oh, I. Well, I honestly didn't expect you to come back. Of course, I'm glad you did. Now... Ooh, what's he doing? I don't really want to touch that <laughs> thing, though. Do you think you could handle the next steps? Oh, so the Lost Legacy is the Uncharted 4 collection. What does it mean by Uncharted 4 collection, then, Caskill? Is, is it just, like, some DLCs that came with it? So when is it coming out on Steam? Is it coming out on Steam in February as well? Is it, is it like, a, a dual release across PlayStation and... PC. Elder Gleam Sanctuary Grove is to the east of here. 
You can use nettle vein to retrieve some of its sap. Really? Early 2022? Wow. We're traveling to the grove of the Elder Gleam. Uh. Mm -hmm. Who was I correct in hearing that you were traveling to the grove of the Elder Gleam? There we go. I just couldn't see him. Uh, can I help you, sir? I am a traveler, a pilgrim. I follow the voice of Kinnereth wherever it can be heard. I've dreamed of seeing Elder Gleam for years. Might I travel alongside you? I promise not to get in the way. Uh. It's an intro. I really don't want him with me. I understand. Some journeys must be taken alone. I'll be here if you change your mind. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder why is is that an offer? Because it is a dangerous place, etc., etc. Or. Hmm. I can't remember if I've ever asked him to join us. I'm a bit more solo in this case. Alright, so the Steam rumours are... Well, whether it's rumours or confirmed, but there's no set date. So presumably, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's going to have a PlayStation release first, isn't it? Are uh, you still going out tonight? Are you hitsy? Going to your mates for New Year's? Uh, leaving the anchor at home too? And she's yet to find out I'm staying there tonight too. Ooh. I must admit, I'm quite tempted to have uh, a tipple tonight, but I, I, tend, I always say that and I never do. I might see if we can figure out a way. I did get a chance yesterday. Figure out a way to watch this uh, Matrix early on in the evening, perhaps. Um, I need to find out if I'm actually working. I, uh, I know one of the guys... Is is sort of contemplating. That he's got a bit of a problem with uh, isolation with one of his um, daughters. So I think he's waiting to see if she tests negative today. But um, I wouldn't mind working it later. Uh, it's another favour to call in later in the year, isn't it? Really. Um, and I wouldn't need to leave until late, late. So. Um, I'm a bit confused. What what have we got? So, assassinate the Silver Hand leader. Go up to High Hrothgar. We've got the Greybeards, which is High Hrothgar. Find a way to release Thorold from Thalmor custody. In that, that's the one that's confusing me. Investigate the Gulda legend. Long ago, the Archmage Gulda was murdered, and his three sons were hunted down by King Harold's personal battle mate. So this is the, the book that we've got in, in Bree's home. The entire incident was covered up. Their names struck from every record, but the legend survived. Perhaps someone still knows the truth of this ancient tale. So, who? Who would know the truth to this ancient tale? Does it show on the map or anything? Do we have any clues? Is it like miles and miles and miles away? Or is it one where we will just bump into someone or find another book somewhere? Should we should we leave that one and not overthink it? Uh let's remove that marker. Alright, well let's not worry about that one then, so let's go and untick forbidden legends so elder gleam or i quite fancy doing assassinate the silver hand leader to be honest and it sounds like that's somewhere in white run didn't they say they were actually in white run nothing down there It's not one where we can show on the map either, is it? It's just a... Uh... I actually marked it as an active quest. I, oh, no. Oh, no, I haven't, have I? Ah, same mistake I made last time. You need to have the miscellaneous tag. Ah, there we go. Valheim Tower is already cleared. But that's where he is. The finest cuts, fresh from the wilds. Let's go. Let's go. We've got we got a mission. We've got a companion mission for Ayla. 
so PlayStation Data Events has got a good down for the 830th, also known as the 30th of September. I was going to say, I, I don't know. I know Rev said it was due. I was, I was surprised it was even due for release next year. I actually thought it would be like the, the following year, to be honest. But, but yes, uh, that, that'll be an interesting one. But yeah, I, d I didn't realise like how much goes. I'd love to replay. Um, I'd really like to replay. Well, sorry. I'd love to replay Uncharted 1, 2 and 3 and then hit Uncharted 4. Um, I, d I, I, I seem to remember I own a remastered variant of the trilogy. It would be nice to go through the whole franchise and then, then play a remastered Uncharted 4. But the problem is... It all hits at the same time as Forbidden West and Dying Light 2. And I am rather passionate about Dying Light 2. I've got high hopes for that. That could be the new zombie game that I've been looking for. Yeah, exactly. They tend to have placeholder dates, don't they? Yeah. They have to put a date down as part of the... Um, what do they call it? Um, there's various verification and, like you said user or, or is it whatever that is globally known as rating systems aren't they for all the various countries and things yeah it's not unusual for people to jump to uh, conclusions based on things that have popped up on amazon and places like that is it So what's the plans tonight then, Hicks? Are you, uh, are you partying hard, are you, bro? I don't really know what I'm doing later, to be honest. Like, like I said, um, it, a, lot, a lot will hinge on how Grumdad's feeling later. He was not feeling good yesterday. He was definitely not feeling good at all. Um, so I'm hoping when I make a phone call, you know, 3 o'clock onwards this afternoon, he's either stable or... He's it, certainly not at the point where I need to go and spend or move in or anything but um you don't know do you? you don't know how rapidly someone can deteriorate with something like that so f fingers crossed though and if that's the case I'll, I'll definitely have a few hours i would i would have liked to fiddle with fallout 4 but i've decided to give up on it i'm just i, I just don't need it I'm, I'm enjoying the new pc uh even though i don't feel like it's quite mine yet it's not actually built properly so i haven't quite had that euphoric moment yet <laughs> Oh, is it another? Is it another? It's, an, it's another orc, isn't it? I am waiting for a good death. Yes, were I to simply lay down. Perhaps. Are you sure about this? Hmm. We shall see. Never should have. Just want to make sure I've got my shout ready. I have. Oh. That was a bit cheeky, wasn't it? I missed. No more. I yield. I yield. You can't yield. You wanted a momentous death, fool orc. That felt good, man. I like my paladin build. This is feeling sexy, boys. You know, it's the one of the things I really like is how that taste for blood works. If um, if you've got some good blocks, some good parents, and you've done a little bit of damage, and, and it feels like it's sort of like an ebb and a flow to the fight, they get really hesitant. If um, if they get like multiple hits in on you, and, and your health is plummeting, you they, they they sort of taste the blood, don't they? And we've seen them just like come at me, just like swinging, like bang, 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 like four or five times on the shield. It's like they just like go completely all out. It's like I love it. I think it's such a good system. 
Uh, you had a really good day yesterday too. My friend and I went to Blue Water to show his watch collection to a few shops. What's a, what's Blue Water? Um, what, what is that, Hinkson? 30 watches being carried around in a big ass gun case worth around 320 grand. Oh my God, Hinkson, really? Oh, that sounds like I bet he's got some classics in there, hasn't he? What, is he looking at selling or, or just getting them valued for insurance purposes and things? You used to drive to Blue Water just to have a Burger King. <laughs> I haven't had a Burger King in years, man. I think the last Burger King I had was in... Uh, it was New Street Station, I think, in Birmingham. And uh, it was a microwaved burger. It was, like, so weird. But I have to say, it was bloody delicious. Oh, it's Blue Water. That's known as the Bull Ring. I didn't even know that. What, has it been renamed? What, is the Bull Ring now known as Blue Water? Never heard of it, mate. So is this like the old jewellery quarter? Because my... Uh, I had an uncle that owned a shop in the jewellery quarter. He wasn't actually my uncle. He was just a very good friend of my dad's. And it's just, that's just the way it is in Birmingham. It's, it's like my next-door neighbours were uh, uncle and auntie, you know, you, you know, no family ties whatsoever. But, yeah, I used, we used to spend a lot of time in the jewellery quarter. He was a very, very good friend of my dad's. So quite often at the weekends, we'd go down. Uh, we'd have a chat with all the uh, fishmongers and the butchers and everyone that down in the main bull ring so, sort of uh, market area. And then go and spend a bit of time over in the jewellery quarter. Oh, the bull ring is in Birmingham Blue. I was going to say, I was thinking like, Jesus Christ, like, I've never heard anyone in Birmingham call it the blue water. Oh, I see. So it's the equivalent of the, blue, uh, of the, uh, the bull ring, is it? I haven't. I haven't actually been in the in the ball ring for. I, I just dread to think. I have no idea. I, honestly, I can't even remember the last time. I, I don't even know where the ball ring technically starts and finishes these days. Just got no idea. Just I just haven't had reason to go through the you know Brummy City Centre as into stop. Obviously with the pandemic and everything, it's just been avoid it like the plague really. Yeah, I, uh, well, I spent endless, endless hours down there. Eating me cockles. Is that? Oh, it's still empty from where we searched it before. So, there must be... It's got to be careful up here, aren't we? Because we can get bum-rushed a bit. Depends on how... Should we see if we can just... Oh, no, he's already on me. Doesn't look like there's anyone up there, does the? We'll let him wait out there. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what would be really nice if I could actually... I didn't miss you say something about wheels of cheese were good. I think she did, didn't she? It was a nice feed you can make, but you... he's level. Oh, Jesus, that's not good. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh! Close. Horribly close, in fact. Oh, that's bad. That could be a problem. That was a risky move, Grub. Shit! When did I last save? Oh, no! No! I don't think I've, I keep forgetting to save. I think I think I'm still right back. I, I bet I've not even got the bloody treasure from this morning. I need a little. I need a little uh, thirty minute warning, don't I? I've still I've still have to kill the bloody orc. I can't believe that. I switched out to get the healing, and he came back in. I was, he's he's got a special mace, I think. Oh, I don't believe it. No, no, we'll we'll have got the. It's just the orc, isn't it? Oh god, gutted, gutted, absolutely good. Good fight, though. Good fight. I uh, I knew as soon as I saw I turned and we just got that that blocking on the on the second lady and then I saw the leader coming in and I should have I should have backed off. 
I was going to wait for the shout to uh, pop back in on cooldown and see if I could at least get... But, and, and then we killed her. I thought, you know what? We might be all right. And I switched out to do the old uh, paladin heal. And, uh... Yeah, just couldn't get the block back up, man. Just could not get the block back up. But we'll be, we'll be all right. I think we can have him. But yeah, I, I should have moved because of the archer peppering me from the right-hand side. It's, uh, if they hit, it's, it's just damage I just can't be soaking up. I don't think I... Uh, I don't think I used Oak Flesh either, did I? Really, Hicksy? Yeah, I used to love the cockles. Yeah. Nice and uh, vinegary, mate. A little... Uh, a little stick. Picking them out of me polystyrene cup, mate. Oh, that was the dream. Used to get a packet of scampi fries. Packet of bacon fries. Oh, it was, it was living the dream, bro, honestly. It was glorious. Keep forgetting I have to save. Right. Mr. Orc. This was quite a good fight as well. Right, let's get everything ready. Uh, I assume that is... Pop that in there. Evictus! Wanted to pop in and give my love. Dead. Wish you and your family a very happy new year. My time I hope gone. it brings you some I magic and peace. You know you have your storms, but the light's death. on its way, smiley face. P.S. You deserve all that community you love. See, You're one sorry. incredible nod. <laughs> I, hope, I hope the light is coming. Uh, let's give you that. Thank you very I'm much, sure Evictus. How's your crimbo been, bruh? Hmm. Have you had a nice we one? Thank see. you very much for the five, Vixus. And I hope you have a lovely evening tonight. Whatever you're up to with the family, dude. I hope it all goes well. Oh, wow. He's not taking any damage, is he? Whoa. You're a fool to fight me. Whoa. God, that was a nice critical, man. That was a. Those criticals are almost like the key to our success, really, aren't they? Uh, actually, let me just pop that out and heal up. Jesus Christ, I was actually quite worried there. Thank you very much, you victims, and thank you for the very kind words as well, mate. I hope, uh, I do hope everyone's well. I do hope everyone's well. Yeah, let, let's hope everyone has a really nice. 20, it's almost weird saying it out loud, isn't it? 2022. It doesn't feel like we've, I don't know, that every, every, since, since 2020, it just, I don't know, just, just seems weird. It doesn't seem like it's really happened. I still, I still feel like I'm living in a bit of a weird time bubble. It's more like sort of getting through each day. What, waiting for, I don't know, they're just waiting for us to come out of the other side. But I, we, we're not going to, so I think I need to stop thinking like that, really. <laughs> Total, oh no. Oh, did you have a bad time, Evictus? 22 is my numbers looking for, oh, did you have a bad Christmas, mate? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, bro. Ho hopefully nothing too, I hope everyone's at least healthy, mate. I had a very quiet one, to be honest, Victor. Thank you very much, dude. Thank you for the five. That's very kind of you, my friend. Thank you very much. And I hope you have a lovely evening, whatever you're up to. I hope everyone does. Stay safe out there, folks. I just noticed there's a... There's a... There's a little stairwell up there. You're right, Al. Scott, so this is using a mod pack called the Phoenix Flavor. So if you do exclamation mark Skyrim in chat, you should have... Uh, some links which will explain to you how to uh, how to get this all up and running. To be honest, with you. what was that? Thuck, uh, Truman Show. What's that do? Right here we go. Here we go. Right, let's jump off you. Well, remember to cast Oak Flesh this time. And you know what I think, you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to treat myself to a bit of Snork's magic. Why not, right? No reason not to. 
Oh, that heavy armor is coming on gorgeous, isn't it? Miss me, sucker. Yeah, you come back in, Nova. Almost tempting to have a couple of pot shots at them. What do you think instead of going, uh. Well, have I got elven arrows? Can't hide from me. Oh, shit. They're coming in, aren't they? No one best. Not this ends now. I'm not sure. Oh, Jesus, they're already here. Oh, no. Good enough. Wow, what a spectacular. Oh. <laughs> That's just adding insult to injury, isn't it? Having your shield clunk on your dead fucking corpse. <laughs> oh, dear, man. What's that? Grumbot's taking a nap. Oh, he is. He's not on, is he? Let's have a quick look. Let's see what's the matter with Grumbot. There he is. He's on there. Why? What? Oh, sorry, Darren. Oh, thank you. Thank you, bro. Yeah, he's, he, was, he, was, he was off for some reason. I swear I saved just before I got to... Uh, did I actually loot him? Alright, well that, that strategy did not work out particularly brilliantly then, did it? Uh, actually, let me get on Donkey otherwise he won't, he won't be where we want him. There we go. I do need to top up that uh, Galder's... Or whatever that bow is, because it's got a really nice stamina drain on it, hasn't it? Or oh, is it a sta is it? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. So life happened a little. It never rains when it pours. Not really place to talk about it, but yeah, onwards and upwards. Well, I'm really sorry to hear that, you Victus. I, I, I kind of thought you were heading into Christmas with everything all wrapped up on the farm, and it was all going to be a lovely time for you, mate. I, uh, I do hope, uh, I hope things improve for you, my friend. Best of luck, and, and lots of love to the family as well, mate. Oh, got your thought about living in a bubble. Yeah. Yeah. It, it feels like I'm, you know, I mean, I'm not. I mean, to be fair, it, it's more of a niggling thought I sometimes have. It just feels like I'm waiting for it all to be. I, I don't mean like, like it, for it to be over in a, in a doom and gloom way. Uh, we're waiting for people to just get on with it now. It's, um, you know, I, I know we're still all, you know, I know the world will be changed forever, but. It just, it just feels like it's still a lot of... I don't know. It, it, Doc, thanks for posting that thing up yesterday, by the way, dude. I couldn't believe that, man. I, I was completely shocked. I, I didn't realise it was like this like hand-drawn thing, bro. I, I, I just... I, I was like, whoa, Jesus, what the hell, bro? So bizarre. Absolutely crazy, man. Pe peeps are bonkers, dudes. Do you, think, do you think that was just like someone specifically targeted, Doc? Like a friend of yours for some reason? Because because no one's sitting there drawing hundreds and hundreds of those things, are they? That, that's why I asked if it was a, a hand-drawn original or just something someone had made and then like photocopied a thousand times, you know? Right, what I'm going to do, we're going to come out of here. We're going to cast a bit of ghoulie magic. And we're going to try out... Did I, did I top up snorks? God, those arrows. Oh, jeez. You see what I mean? I'm, I'm already basically dead. Mainly from those archers. Oh, I don't believe it, guys. I don't believe this. All right. Completely new strategy. Completely new strategy. There is no way... Exactly how it should be. I've got an... I'm in an undefendable position with an archer just sniping me. So it's it's stupid of me to try and play like that, really. I, just, I, I took it down like quite easily last time, so... Does somebody else got it as well, Doc? Well, what are we going to do? We're going to go up to the tower. We're going to try sniping down the archer. 
And then what we'll do is we'll wait for the swordsmen to come in. I think I can take them both. I think I think I can. But I can't be on that undefendable position out in the middle of nowhere with that one on the ledge. Just because they've only got to get like one crit on me. And I'm pretty much out of the fight, really, aren't I? Well, th th there's loads for to get. I mean, the, the skeletal changes through FNIS, for example, with that. So it's not necessarily any one particular mod. But it's all part of the Phoenix flavor, uh, Smeg. And you can change it as well. You don't have to have it on your back. You can have your quiver vertical. You can have it horizontal. All three fours, you know, things like fours natural idols and things like that. There's all sorts of overhauls for different positionings. Depends on which ones you want. The, the real complicated stuff is things like dual sheath redux and stuff like that, which really is that, that that's a whole nother level of shenanigans. Right. This time we're gonna throw a cheeky little save in right there. We're going to get the bow out. And we're going to try and take out asshole number one. We might not even have alerted the others. That is what we want. They haven't even opened the door, Lord. So that's one asshole out of the way. It's a bloody kid. Oh, it's a level one. It's only a level one kid. I reckon we can have them, you know. Oh, I stopped moving. Jesus, you're an asshole. Oh, good shot, bro. Oh, I just missed. Damn. Perfect. All right, now we're cooking. Uh, we've, I think we've only got the one coming out as well, so that's great. So if we stay here, get that one. Wait for him to engage. comes the leader you call yourself a Nord? I am gonna save <laughs> shit got stuck is that the best you can do <laughs> much better much better actually played it properly and didn't get destroyed okay cure disease septums goes to show doesn't it goes to show how perfectly balanced this actually is in many ways if you take on a battle stupidly like i just did you are gonna get absolutely cr just like completely crucified man but with just a little bit of strategy it's a completely different fight. So yes, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, so yeah, but yeah, like I said though, if you get this uh, uh, smeal, uh, the Phoenix flavor, um, there's so many overhauls for equip it. All, all essentially run through Four's natural idols typically, aren't they? Um, they you know, XP, is it XPSE skeleton and things still these days? You all right, Retro? You all right? Good morning, Zoe. Good morning, Harry. Uh, you'd like to thank everyone in the community for their donations. You're slowly getting closer to the chance to go over and sort things out. Yeah, no, no worries, Retro. Yeah, how's it? Uh, how is everyone, man? You doing anything tonight, Retro? Well, yeah, yeah. So that you've got... Is it, is it three of the new 
In fact, isn't it the whole... Is it a trilogy of... Uh, I think it's a huge trilogy, isn't it? On the, I think I own all the Tomb Raider games, but... I haven't, really, I haven't really got any plans to play them, to be honest, because there's so many other games out there at the moment. But... Um, I tell you what, they'd be great on remastered versions on the new gen consoles, like like really go crazy with RTX and things. We'll grab, uh, we'll definitely grab the. Well, actually, they won't have a silver sword because it was an archer, wouldn't they? I was going to say we'll get the silver swords because they sell reasonably well, don't they? Lots of cure disease, I notice. Is that because they're um, silver hand and lycanthropy fears and things like that? Uh, we'll definitely take that. I'll read that on the off chance. Okay, good stuff. So another quest complete. Uh, you're standing group. A few beers with the wife, then visiting friends tomorrow night. Are you doing anything nice? I'm a bit uncertain at the minute, dude. Yeah, but a bit wibbly wobbly. I'm not going to make any plans until around three o'clock this afternoon when I speak to Grum Dad. The chances are I'll probably work later. Um... It'll be a last minute thing with, with with a friend who is waiting for a COVID test with his daughter, basically. Uh, so, you know, we're, we're, we're both sort of, uh, I guess, of the mind that we will be working, but only one of us will. So, obviously, if he can spend some time with his daughter, I, I don't mind working late. Because it, it'll be a very late one, so I'll still get to spend some time, well, plenty of time with the girlfriend later. But yeah, it just depends because, like I said, if if he's if he suddenly has a bit of a turn for the worse, I'll, I'll obviously have to rethink things. But I, th I think he'll be all right, to be honest. I'm, I'm erring on the side of positivity on that front. When did he get diagnosed? I was thinking about this yesterday. Was it, when was the positive test? Was it Monday? No, no. When was it Monday or Tuesday? I can't remember. The days of this week have just blurred. I think it was Wednesday, wasn't it? No, 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 it can't be. No, no, Wednesday was just back to work for everyone, wasn't it? It was earlier in the week, can't remember. Uh, do you run the Dragon War mod? Uh, ne no, I don't add anything, no. It, it, this is vanilla Phoenix flavour. I haven't added a single thing. Well, I, I say that. I've tweaked certain things, but I haven't added anything. You know, I've got, I've got no interest in it. I want to keep it as, as vanilla Phoenix flavour as I possibly can. I don't want to be, uh, I don't want to showcase someone else's hard work by plugging in things it was never designed to have plugged in and then putting people off trying it, so. Like I said, no, nothing I've changed could possibly cause any, any issues with the game. They really are more, if you like, visual tweaks and EMB changes and reshade tweaks. So some general performance any file tweaks, back engine tweaks. There's nothing here that is going to interfere with the mod pack itself. You know, to changing the speed of the vanity camera and things like that is, is not going to cause a problem. So. Yeah, I, uh, I don't... I, it's, it's a good chance to call in favours later in the year for me, Retro. So I don't mind working it late, late. Because I'll still, uh, you know, like the girlfriend probably won't even make it till midnight anyway, to be honest. So I, I don't mind heading out, which is all snuggled up. And, um, you know, it, it's a nice little favour to call in later in the year on, on sort of last minute notice, isn't it? Yeah, I think he's all right, Retro. I think he's going to be all right. He's got, he's got all the best things that he can wish for. He's got the boosters. He's got the vaccines, the boosters. He, you know, he's warm and cozy. He's got plenty of nice food. Uh, I think he'll be all right. Fingers crossed, man. Uh, so no plans tonight, Vix. Uh, uh, some people in the village will have fireworks. So it's a free show. The dogs will go crazy. The usual quiet one, really. Probably painting. It's another night. And the real magic is what he decides to do in the next 12 months. Do you do, do, do things like that? Do you set a target? I, I've always been against that, you see. Uh, I, I think setting yourself targets for the new year invariably lead to disaster. 
I think it puts too much pressure by setting dates for such things. I, I tend to, if, if there's a change I wish to implement, I implement it post haste. I think waiting for these magic, it, it, it's, it's, I've said it too many times, I'm obviously working with uh, so many people in sort of health and fitness and, and rugby and they always make these New Year's resolutions and every time it falls flat on its fucking arse. There's a time to make a change, and that time is not New Year's. It's when you're mentally ready for it. And I think so many people come out of New Year's with such a shock to their system. You know, they've seen family, they've seen friends, they've parted hard, they've had fun times, they've let their hair down, they've relaxed, and then bang, they're back to the real world. The nitty gritty grind of modern day, you know, capitalist life. And it's really hard. It's really hard to initiate changes in that flux of emotions, to be honest. So I've already I've already got what I'd like to think were some plans for next year. But it, it's not like it, it all magically starts on you. What the fuck is that? Did I just see some hideous arachnophobe nightmare glow-in-the-dark spooder down there? Where's my... Holy shit, yes, that is a giant freaking sp Oh my god, there's millions of them. Oh my god, I've been poisoned really badly. Well, that's not something you want to nibble in your bum when you're on the toilet, is it? Look at that bugger. I think there were two. Oh my god, there's a dude on the side of the road, look. <laughs> that's quite cool, actually. <laughs> oh dear me. You got a chuckle, didn't you? Uh, you didn't say anything. I know we have some big projects to do and some cool animal adventures next year, but apart from that, I just let life happen and flow with it. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, for some people, setting New Year's resolutions is a wonderful thing, you know, because they, they spend many weeks planning it and, you know, working up to it, don't they? But I, I think so many people feel compelled to have these nonsensical false promises to oneself because it's New Year's and it's Jesus Christ gyms love it man gyms love this time of year the amount of people that get freaking gym memberships for 12 months and uh, they'll be there oh yeah January first week of January they'll be there before work every day second week of January yep yeah, no one <laughs> it's free cash mate <laughs> Oh dear me. Yeah, I hope so, Retro. Yeah. Your change is to stop vaping. I quit smoking to vape. Now the next step is to go together. Do you have vape with nicotine, do you, dude? Or do you just have like flavoured vape? Uh how are you getting on with the smoking? Been trying for months. Yeah, that's what I did, Evictus. I I I did try half-heartedly patches. I, uh, I tried half-heartedly nicotine gum and one day, like I said, it, that, that's why I was talking about New Year's resolutions. It's, uh, what, one day I just knew it was the right time. It wasn't a case of, like, having felt bad or, you know, knowing that my general sports performance wasn't up to snuff, which was always the niggling issue. Just one day I, I just felt like, this is right. It was like a window of opportunity open for me. Ever, ever so strange, really. But it was largely because I decided to um, quit drinking as well, you see. And one of my biggest issues was if I had a cigarette, I really liked a pint of beer with it. So um, it was it was like all the pieces started falling into place. I'd, I'd had this like, you know, this epiphany almost. 
what, one Friday evening, I was on my way up to the local corner shop to go and uh, get my beer. And I, I honestly, it's, it's no word of it. I actually stopped dead in my tracks. I just stopped walking. And I thought, where the fuck am I going? And it's like, you're going to go and get the beers because it's Friday night. And I thought, but I don't want a beer. And, and in, in my, you know, my inner monologue was, yeah, but it's Friday night. You always have a beer on Friday night. It's why we work all week, so you can have a beer on Friday night. But I don't want a beer. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's Friday night. You're going to have a beer. And, and I, I actually stood there. I, I just remember stood there, like, looking down at the pavement, thinking, but why? And, and I, I just walked home. I just did a 180 and walked home. And it was like the weirdest, it was like the weirdest evening. Just such a strange experience. So, and I'd done that for, I can't remember however long it was, and I thought, you know, well, what about giving up smoking as well, you know? Let's see, yeah, it all, it all worked out all right in the end. I think I think that's the order it happened. I'm not, I, I'm, I'm just trying to think if I'd actually started trying to give up smoking originally. I'm not sure if I'd actually, I'm not sure if I was on the back end of another attempt at stopping smoking and had fallen prey of the glass of alcohol in the pub, which had loosened my inhibitions to go outside and have a smoke. I, I think that's how it all, all occurred. I think it was actually a bit of a mix of the alcohol and the nicotine, to be honest. Uh, did you feel a change when you stopped health wise? I felt better. I, I felt almost instantly better. But that's that's because I was extremely active. I, I can honestly say that within probably, I, I don't know, certainly within 24 hours, 48 hours from not having had a cigarette, I, I started feeling different. Um, and on the track within a week to two weeks, fuck me, dude. <laughs> I was like, I was like a beast, man. Smoking's fucking bad, man. Smoking's, you, you just don't fucking realise. It's, it's not about the long-term build-up, man. You're just having that single puff and, and your oxygen levels and everything. It's, it, honestly, I, th I think when you're very active and very fit anyway, it, it, it's further, uh, I, I suppose it's even more noticeable. It's like, fuck me, dude. <laughs> Why have I been struggling so much? <laughs> After every fucking match, like a load of beer and a load of fucking cigarettes, it's no wonder I was feeling fucking like, like not, not, not quite my pinnacle of physical fitness. <laughs> it's all bollocks to be honest. People like ideas, but following through is always harder than just words. It is, yeah. And I think, I think that's the problem with new, new year's resolutions. It's almost like you're setting yourself up for fail, isn't it? You know, it's, you're doing it because it's that time of year. Yeah, so it's better to find a, you know. I mean, um, sometimes New Year's is the right time for people. I'm not saying, you know, you shouldn't do it. It's just that sometimes it is. It's a very turbulent time, New Year, anyway. And so, it's, you know, if you're working that transition from having taken time off and spending time with loved ones and family and seeing a little bit of the, the light of the world, you know, and it, it, people tend to be happy and merry, and then you're back at work, isn't you? It's like, fucking hell, dude. How many people will go back to work and they get asked, did, did you have a nice holiday? Uh, and the, the first words out of their mouth are something along the lines of, yeah, but it was all over so quick. You know? It's just a classic line, isn't it? Uh, you sleep better, you taste better, you breathe better, you feel better, you smell better. The smell's an interesting one. Yeah, because smokers don't realise just how bad they smell, do they? Yeah, that's it, Darren I, yeah. It, it, it is hairy. The, the smell of cigarettes is... As a smoker, you are completely oblivious to how bad the smell of a cigarette is. It's... Uh, the, the smell of the burning cigarette is quite appealing, even to a, a non-smoker. Uh, or should I say an ex-smoker for, for, for some ex-smokers. Um... For others, it's a memory of the pain of giving up, but it, it, it's the it's the it's the after smell, it's the stale smell that lingers on your clothes. Um, every smoker will know that smell when they, for example, suddenly find that their fingers are slightly damp from whatever, and you just go to rub your nose. You've got an, an itch on the end of the nose, and you catch that whiff. Uh, you know, you've just washed your hands, you know, been to sort of washed your hands or something, and you've just got an itch on your nose, and you just touch your nose, and you catch that 
nicotine-y, tarry nastiness on your finger. And, and, and the way it permeates your clothes and your hair. And, and it doesn't take long for, for that kind of fresh burn smell to, to turn into that stale cigarette smell. And, and, and that is actually a horrible, horrible smell. Uh, for you, it's partly the habit. I stopped for a day, then the next one I wanted to do, I didn't have a huge craving. I, I used lollipops, dude. I ended up getting these little tiny chuppa chup lollipops. So that was my hand-to-mouth uh, resolution, because I found that was part of my issue. You right, you tend to brush over your season experience and ask the asker how theirs was, especially this work? year. Yeah. It might suit you. Yeah. Cigar smokes on it. Yeah, cigar smoke's completely different. <laughs> but I I actually really like cigars. I, even as an ex-smoker of cigarettes, I love the smell of cigar smoke. Absolutely love it. Never smoked in the car. Oh, God, yeah. God, yeah. The amount of cars you used to get into, you know, straight away it's a fucking smoker, don't you? Yeah, rough, man. Uh, right, hang on. What are we just going to do then? So was that for... That was Ayla, wasn't it? So we've killed the leader of the... Um, Let's go and see if we can find her. Also, quitting smelting helps you smell things better. Like the whole system becomes... It's very true, actually. No, it is, yeah. I, I totally agree with taste and smell. No doubt about that. Um, the thing is, as well, your actual food cravings and general appetite stability changes when you stop smoking. So, um, yeah, I, I think things start... Hey, it's pe people always say like that they give up smoking and start putting on weight. <laughs> Part of the reason that for that is isn't what, what they what they try and explain it as because they they often are in a frame of mind where they're trying to say well I tried to give up smoking but I started getting really fat so I thought fuck it I'd rather smoke and be skinny. And it, what it is is it's an excuse. Part of the reason you start eating uh, not necessarily more, you actually start enjoying the flavors again. You actually, you're actually tasting the food properly again, and you're also not just like rushing through a meal so that you can go and have your post-meal cigarette. There's two, well, there's three cigarettes that which are the lifeblood of a nicotine addict. It's the morning cigarette, normally with a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. It's why you get out of bed. Smokers get the fuck up early, man, because they want their nicotine hit. They've just gone like seven or eight hours through sleep. Their nicotine levels have just dropped off a chart, mate. They are out of bed outside in the pissing down rain, drinking coffee and smoking cigarettes. You've oh hang on, one sec. Sorry, girlfriend's just uh, heading out. Um, yeah, you've, you've got that morning ciggy. You've got the, the, the ciggy after your meal. Yeah? I mean, how many people have sat around a table, family and friends, 20 people in a restaurant, and as halfway through the meal, like, off the table, gets up and goes outside to go and have a cigarette, right? And obviously the post-sex cigarette. <laughs> Those are the three greatest cigarettes of the day, mate. <laughs> Th th those are the reasons you actually smoke. Getting up, having a meal, having a shag. <laughs> yeah. Vanilla cigars. Vanilla cigars. Oh, no way. Oh, gosh, no. Oh, gosh, no. Oh, why would you want to have a vanilla... Vanilla-flavoured cigars? Oh, please, no. Oh, that's terrible. Get out of here, Matthew. That's shocking, bro. <laughs> I hope that's what you what you, uh, you don't mean like just a normal you, you, oh god you, you don't actually mean a vanilla flavoured cigar do you uh, if I go somewhere for an appointment wash clothes shower no things that day yeah yeah and, and you see you see how even you're like almost ashamed of your own habit aren't you you know you, 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 you know you're, you're having you know you're an addict but you're, you're literally depriving yourself of that uh, you're consciously aware of your own sense of hygiene to others you know it's you're right minus uh uh good morning uh, you won a key for slime ranch on another stream uh, uh if you win it on another stream minus probably best to get in touch with the person that gave it you really minus and then they can give it back to their community otherwise we're gonna feel a bit because I, I i personally don't want it for for that reason anyway and also i probably wouldn't play it anyway minus it's very very kind of you it's very very kind of you my friend but uh, if another streamer gave you a code 
<clears throat> and you don't want it, it's probably probably fair play to give it back to them and then they can give it to another member of their community. But if anybody really wants it and you want to have a chat with the miners, you know, that, that's your call, bro. And, and thank you very much. It's very kind of you. Hey, you quit smoking and now I get nasal infections with a whiff of secondhand smoke. Really? <clears throat> Is it that bad for you, Decabite? I must admit, I, I, I do struggle with catching a secondhand whiff of it. You know, if you, if you so, to be honest, I, it's not often these days, obviously with the pandemic and everything anyway. But um, yeah, it's, it's not often I, I'm walking around and I catch a whiff of a... I, I tend to smell weed way more than I smell cigarette smoke these days. I, I'm not so sure there are that many people in, in places that I sort of frequent who are actually smokers. But wow, the, I, I quite often... Darren Radjus, Jesus Christ, he's, 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 he's sh constantly smells of weed. Uh, and, and I can assure you, it's not rag smoking it. <laughs> yeah. But thank you very much, Minus. Thank you. You actually get sick to the stomach when you smell ciggy smoke. I've yeah. been running interference for you around here. I don't think anyone's caught on to our little campaign yet. Uh, right, so we took care of the group of Silverhand. Excellent. Looks like you've really driven them into hiding. Keep this up. We'll wipe them out yet. Okay, uh, we're looking for work, my friend. And there is more work to be done. But I fear that Codlack's gotten wind of our recent efforts. He's oh, asked no. to see you. My advice, always be honest with the old man. But don't tell him anything he doesn't need to know. You reckon he's still uh, downstairs? Let's have a little read of the quest. Make sure. Let's get rid of that. Blood's honor. So, Kodlak White Mane has caught wind of my secret missions with Ayla and has asked to speak with me. Okay. It's normally downstairs at the end of the corridor. It's kind of a shin way. You're right, Wraith. Uh, he's, all, he's all right. Yeah, he's, he's not doing too bad, actually, bro. Well, I say that. He's not. I, I shouldn't say that. I, I don't want to give people the wrong impression. <laughs> it's more my own sort of trying to keep a positive Morning, spin Morning, Nabev. Grum hype, he's, grum um, hype. Oh, literally, thank you for the follow, my friend. Sorry, literally, I missed that earlier. Let me, uh, where, where's my mouse? I think my mouse is dying. Oh, no, it's, it's all right. So I'm, I've got two mice. I've got the stream one. The stream mouse has been struggling, but I think it's actually the mouse, Matt. Uh, Jamie, how are you, mate? Thank you very, very much for the seven, my friend. Thank you very much, Jamie. How are you, bro? How's, uh, what are your plans for tonight, Jamie? You up to anything, bro? Nice to see you, mate. Happy New Year's Eve, fella. And thank you for the seven, my friend. Oh, sorry. To the warriors of your for as long as I can remember. I'm very sorry. I've literally nearly knocked her over there. Uh, yeah, he's, 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 he's not well, Wraith. You know, he's not, you know, he's not sprinting around the house, you know, getting his uh, Jimmy Tackle out or anything. <laughs> but but also at the same time, to, to put it in perspective, it, it's, it's like he's got now quite a nasty cold, if that makes sense. Does that, yeah? Does that make sense? So he's got a little bit worse again. I, I just, I, I'm just hoping today it turns, you know. Oh no, Raj doesn't sell weed. Oh god, no. No, Raj, Raj is too. Raj, Raj is actually quite naive. Uh, he's, uh, he's, he's a very nice guy, um, but he, he doesn't, he doesn't quite understand the world, unfortunately, and he still struggles quite a lot. Uh, I I think with I I think with working a shop that sells so much alcohol, uh, he actually has uh, you know on occasions got himself drunk because because he's decided to try these drinks that everyone keeps buying and it's, it's happened a few times now. But no, Raj Raj definitely does not sell pot. <laughs> Raj is a good friend of mine. I, if he was selling pot, I'd bleeding know about it. <laughs> You're right, Jamie. Thank you very much, bro. Thank you. Uh, does the smell of weed smell like ciggies? No, completely different. Well, it depends. It depends on if it if it's uh, it depends if it's a joint that is packed full of tobacco and just a tiny bit of weed. In which case, you might not massively smell a difference. But no, it's bl the smell of weed is blatantly obvious. Well, it is to me anyway. You're at work at the minute, are you? You got your brightness turned down, Grum. Probably just getting drunk in the house like most other people. Uh, got the brightness turned down. What do you mean, dude? Uh, yeah. It, I mean, again, it does depend, doesn't it? I mean, I mean, I've known people that smoke weed, but all it is is it's really just like a very minor top up to their actual cigarettes. 
Um, not so much these days, but you know, I, I did have a friend who, for example, uh, in fact, a very good friend at the time, who would buy a bag of weed and he'd buy a packet of cigarettes. And he'd all he'd do was re roll every single cigarette. So he'd use a triple skin and he'd put a whole cigarette in there. And he would just add a very small sprinkling of weed throughout throughout the spliff. And so he, it, it was basically just smoking a cigarette with just like a little kind of chill, you know, a little bit of chill to it. Um, I think most people would have struggled to have smelt the weed in it, to be fair. But but other folks will freaking have like a spliff like with just pretty much weed in it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I don't think any anyone argue was quite wealthy enough to smoke such exorbitant spliffs. <laughs> uh, as an ex smoker of both, I can smell the faintest whiff of weed from about five hundred yards. Yeah, there's all different smells of weed. Uh, that exactly, Jim. I mean, I mean, I, I've smoked uh, uh, c cigarettes for a long time, and I, you know, obviously, I'm not going to say too much on stream, but. I mean, I, 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 let's put it this way. I've been around people that bought a bag of weed and generally thought, fuck me, is this even weed? You know, that the smell is just almost non-existent. Uh, and yet, clearly doing the job. You know, the, the, the moment of hesitancy is over after the first few takes, you know? Yeah, who, who knows? There's so many... I mean, it's, a, it's an art form these days, isn't it? A literal art form. Uh, all these different blends and things that they make. It's incredible, really. If you all think SIG smoke is bad, the SIG's inmates can craft together as its own beast. So it's glue from shampoo bottle labels. Whoa, okay, I know what you mean from that. Envelope glue. Pen ink. Stuck in, uh, snuck in mystery mixes of weed and Katie. And what's Katie? You name it, they smoked it. Oh, Jesus, Zoe, that sounds, that sounds like really scary, man. That does sound scary. Oh, yeah, licorice papers. Yeah, yeah, I remember the licorice papers. Yeah, yeah. Hated the fucking things. I don't like licorice. <laughs> Freaking hated licorice papers. Blue Rizzler for the win, mate. Blue Rizzler for the win. Thank you for coming. You wanted to see me, sir? Yes, young lady. Have a seat. Uh, okay, well, let's uh, take a seat then, sir. Oh. Oh, sorry, I, I, I knocked your apple pie on the floor, mate. It. Oh, clumsy grum. <laughs> it's me dodgy knees, mate. That's what that is. All right, Ayla and I work to avenge Skewer's death. I work for the honour of the campaigns. Uh, oh, gosh. Oh, man. He's, he's not going to like us talking about the honour. Uh, we'll, we'll be honest, I think. We work to avenge Skewer's death. Your hearts are full of grief. And yes. my own weeps at the loss of Skewer. But his death was avenged long ago. You have taken more lives than honor demanded. The cycle of retaliation may continue for some time. In any case, I have a task for you. Have how you, you doing, Rice? the story of how we came to be werewolves? Hmm. Uh, I think we'll go with Skewer. Saint was a blessing. Aye, that sounds like him. Mm. As in all matters of faith, though, the reality is more complicated than one believer would tell you. It looks badass. So what's the truth, Codlack? The companions are nearly 5,000 years old. Whoa. This matter of beast blood has only troubled us for a few hundred. One of my predecessors was a good but short-sighted man. He made a bargain with the witches of Glenmoral Coven. If the companions would hunt in the name of their lord, Hircine, we would be granted great power. Okay. And they became werewolves, did they? They did not believe the change would be permanent. The witches offered payment, like anyone else. But we had been deceived. Okay, aren't you more powerful now? The witches should be hunted down for their trickery. Um, Tricky one. We'll ask him about just generally being powerful, which I don't think he's going to like, but... Not sure about the uh, the witch hunt strand of narrative. The witches didn't lie, of course, but mm. it's more than our bodies. The disease you see affects not just our bodies; it seeps into the spirit. Upon oh. death, werewolves are claimed by Hircine for his hunting grounds. 
For some, this is a paradise. They want nothing more than to chase prey with their master for eternity. And that is their choice. But I am still a true Nord, and I wish for Sovngarde as my spirit home. Is there a way to cure oneself? That's what I've spent my twilight years trying to find out. And now I've found the answer. The witch's magic ensnared us, and only their magic can release us. They won't give it willingly, but we can extract their foul powers by force. I want you to seek them out. Go to their coven in the wilderness. Strike them down as a true warrior of the wild. And bring me their heads, the seat of their abilities. <laughs> From there, we may begin to undo centuries of impurity. It, it sounds rather brutal, my friend. Uh, it shall be done. Good. Now move quickly, and don't leave any of them alive. Talos guides you, mm. lad. I wonder if they are human-esque witches, or if they are... Uh, I wonder, uh, hopefully there's no hag ravens involved. Um, yeah, uh, well, to be honest, Wraith, well, I, I, I think I'm... Uh, I, I've been saying what, what we what we really need for stability for the channel really is like the sort of rubber band game, isn't it? You know, the game that we bounce back to because I would like to, I've been really enjoying playing a mix of games recently. Uh, it would be nice not to play early access games for a little bit and actually enjoy the beauty of this wonderful computer that everyone's chipped in for, uh, which is slowly coming together. Uh, obviously, I didn't want a knee-jerk reaction panic purchase, you know, with Christmas and everything and some sales potentially coming up. But actually, I've got some cracking deals and everything so far. Um, and yeah, I'd, I'd like to play some fun stuff, you know, just actual games again, to be honest, mate. Get, get back into the fun of playing games uh, rather than just playing the next fucking early access game that springs out of the fucking woodwork. So I, I, Skyrim could be a really nice one for us. Or at least, I don't know, I'll, I'll leave it up to you guys. I'll play whatever you want. This is your computer as much as it is mine. <laughs> in fact, more so yours. So yeah, you know, we, we could keep Skyrim as the running game. And, and you know, like when Dying Light 2 comes out, we'll, we'll go and play Dying Light 2. You, you know, when another game comes out, we'll go and play that. And then we'll bounce back to Skyrim and, and keep it running uh, as, as a big long playthrough and things. It's... Uh, I, I think that would be fun for us all in a way. And, and, you know, I'm not saying we won't play... I don't mean to say we won't play early access games, but it will be nice to uh, spread our wings a little bit, won't it? Rather than becoming a one-trick pony just for a monetary gain, I think. Uh, uh, doing great. Yes, it's, it's, cheers, Rev. You all right, Rev? How are you, bro? Good morning. Yeah, just just chop them up, yeah. Don't worry. Uh, K two or K K T or K two is synthetic marijuana. Much gets laced with bug kill. Oh my god! How do you know so much about this, Zoe? Is this because you work in a prison? Is it? It'll be Hank Ravens, probably. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm worried about. But to be honest, we'll go werewolf. We will go werewolf slashy muck eaty chompy chompy. Good morning, Valiant. Congrats on your uh, mega mount, bro. Congratulations. Don't forget, everyone, Valiant has been working hard and diligently in, uh, is it the Burning Crusade Classic? To get his glorious flying mount, which you finally got over Christmas, didn't you, Valiant? Congratulations, bro. Thanks for sharing the journey, mate. It was nice to see you uh, finally take to the skies, my friend. Are you actually quitting? Oh, I thought you were still there. Oh, well, I suppose if you quit on the 14th, I wouldn't have known, Zoe. How come, mate, just had enough of it? Or have you been offered a better... I, I actually uh, could currently work with a guy who used to work as, as a prison guard and, and he quit af after many years. Um, but he was working with um, the younger inmates. So obviously, I'll keep it as vague as I can. And uh, I've never I've never ceased to be amazed uh, but both the good things that he saw uh, as well as the terrifying things that he saw. He was... Uh, He's, he's a very, very nice guy, Zoe. He's, um, he, he, he's, he also, you can tell, he's a very nice guy who has been... How can I put this? Um, I've, I've said similar things to him before. So, so this, this is kind of like breaching trust or anything. He, he's, he's, he's a really kindly soul who has clearly seen some horrendous darkness and pain in the world. Um... So some of the tales around self-mutilation and things for, for a variety of reasons, Zoe. Just 
terrifying, mate. Oh, honestly. Um, and to think that happens, you know, in a in a prison here in the UK, or did happen. It's uh, but but also tales of, I, I guess, fantastic outcomes. In in, in, a, in a, you know, on, on the flip side of the coin, Zoe. Yeah. So uh, you had enough HR kept going back and forth on things and the stress broke you. Uh, I gave up a one and a half grand retention bonus for your mental health. Bloody hell, Zoe. So what's the plans, mate? What you what what's what's the plan now then? Just take take a little bit of time for yourself and then see what you're gonna get back into. I'm sorry to hear that, mate. I am sorry to hear that. Yeah, I'm not too. Yeah, but I, I won't be out. Yeah, I mean, infinite, really, Jamie. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna add anything to the Phoenix flavor for this playthrough. Like I said earlier, though, I want to keep this 100% vanilla. I don't. I don't want to let the Phoenix flavor team down, really, by me showcasing a broken mess because I've, you know, fiddled with it. But, but yeah, you know, we could always try another mod pack or or go take the Phoenix flavor and then add our uh, little, you know, like maybe do a stealth archer one. Um, where it actually is legit tricky stealth. Uh, or even ma um, a magic one would be a nice one. Right, let's have a look at quests then. So collect a Glen Morrill's Witch Head. Let's see where, whereabouts is that? That looks like it's a fair old whack away, doesn't it? But we could have some seriously fun adventures on the way. So I think we go for that. I think we come through the Western Watchtower and, and we hit anything that we find on the way over there. I think we stick with that companion quest chain. It's been kind to us so far. Yeah, he's 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 not. I mean, I, I work with him, so so obviously you know, but, but through through the work itself, there's a mutual trust and camaraderie there. Um, I don't know him outside of work, you know, to go and have a beer with. Although I'm sure we could. But yes, he's uh, he he got out. I think he, I think he did something like thirty years. I'm, I'm sure he said thirty years, mate. So uh, he went in very, very young, and, and got out, and, and now really works part time um, as a top up. You know, he, he he did all right out of it, apparently. I assume there's a, a nice pension at the end of it, Zoe. I mean, obviously, it's not like I said, he's not not the sort of person I'd ask such personal questions of you know but he has uh he, so he sometimes tells a tale over a cup of coffee late in the morning hours i tell you mate <laughs> very uh very intriguing gentleman it's in the good it's in the bad and everything in between What's that, Darren? Oh, the guy at White Run Square doing shout out 0 out of 24. World's End Thalos rules. What's, what's that? <laughs> uh, right now in WoW, I have my epic flying man. Oh my god, the rain. I've moved on to working towards getting my tier 5 armor. Doing a GD gold dragon kill point right? What the hell is a gold DKP? Z! How are you doing, Z? I've got, I've got my pillow with me. <laughs> <laughs> and my little cuddle gnome. How are you, Z? <laughs> How's things? How's evil? Hey, what are you doing tonight, Z? You up to anything? I can't remember if I asked you. You got any? You got friends or family coming around? Or is there a word for the last day of the year in English? Uh, it's it's called a piss up. I think is what we call it over here. To be honest, with you. this is just we we just know it as New Year's Eve, don't we? whether or not that, that translates in any way. So to most people, it's the final mess, make, make a piss up of the year before everyone goes back to work, I think. Well, I hope it all works out for you, so I'm sorry it didn't work out. Uh, having heard so many tales from him, I, I can genu gen genuinely understand the, yeah, the, the, the pain and anguish you must have been part and privy to. It's... Uh... Very scary. It's like he said, so many lost souls in the system, though. You know, just, just in his own words, you know, just just never had a fucking chance, mate. You know, pretty much abandoned from the minute they were fucking born. And the, and the horror stories around that, but also mixed in with, you know, the real evil. You know, the real evil. 
the really dark side of it all and then of course in, in, in a in a tinder box like a prison Someone else seems to be shooting at... Whoa. Oh, I was gonna hope, hope I could do a bit of a whirl around. Because I can't, I can't run when I've got a good weapon draw. We've got a problem here, boys. Is it dead? Oh, it's not dead. Wait, is it? Is it? Oh! Did not know that happened. Oh, jeez. Whoa, that was hard getting into... Uh, they're highly mobile, aren't they? Damn, dude. I thought we were toasty cups there for a minute. Everything in moderation, food, emotions, drugs, and whatnot. Oh, that sounds so fucking boring, yeah. What a terrible waste of a life to do things in moderation. <laughs> How utterly soul destroying. <laughs> uh, we've got Evil Brothers over, and our neighbours and friends join as well for a board game. And there's also a neighbourhood party outside later this evening. We'll have to go there as well. Oh, that sounds nice, mate. What, uh, what board games are you playing? Anything in particular? We're just going to drag them all out, mate. So it's known as... Sil what is it? It's pronounced... Uh, Sylvester or Hogmanny. Hogmanny in Scotland, is it? You want your you got a four-day weekend starting. Nice, bro. Nice. Well, we, we know what it is, Harry. We're, we're not asking for a definition of what moderation is. We're just saying how fucking boring life would be, mate. <laughs> Imagine going to the pearly gates so and said, did you, leave, did you leave a good life? Uh, yeah, it was all right, mate. It was boring as fuck, though, man. Absolutely, literally boring. Never never got drunk. You know, <laughs> never went for a crazy one-night stand or anything. You know, just, yeah, just fucking boring, mate. Just, yeah, just fucking... Yeah. Didn't, didn't smoke. Didn't, didn't fucking really partake in alcohol. Didn't, didn't do any drugs. You know, didn't take any risks, didn't, you know, didn't, didn't go paragliding, didn't climb any mountains. I just sort of sat at home, yeah, just sort of like fucking watch TV, really, mate. Played it safe, you know what I mean? Lived to be uh, 98, mate. So what memories have you got? Oh, just a lot about Coronation Street and EastEnders, really, bro, yeah? That's, that's about it. What a frivolous waste of a, of a, of a soul on the planet. <laughs> Think of all the good things you could have done. You could have, you could have, you could have... <laughs> You're gonna go to the back quarters of the world and save children's lives. Well, turtles! You're gonna save turtles at a turtle sanctuary. Right, now I am gonna play here with a little bit of cheeky soul trap, I think. Oh! Did that not, did that not fire? That was weird, wasn't it? Get a little bit of block up. Might as well uh, take advantage of this little bit of uh, Grumbadian Special Forces Mud Crab Assault Course training here. Yeah, everyone does sing Old Lang Syne, and, and it makes me want to punch people. It's always a really bad start to the new year. I fucking hate that song. <laughs> I, I detest that song so much it, 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 you can't possibly imagine that every new year right I've been out yeah I start on the stroke of like 30 seconds after midnight wanting to kill people because they, they're singing Old Lang Syne it's such a bad start to the new year literally my very first emotion at the ticking into 2022 would be the desire to repeatedly punch people in the face just to make them shut the fuck up <laughs> I hate that song. I, I, I despise that song. 
It's awful. It's a terrible, terrible song, man. And, and no one knows the words to it, so they start making shit up. And everyone's out, out everyone's drunk, just like, oh, like, it's like, just shut up now, everyone. Just sing some fucking Robbie Williams or some Spice Girls or shitty fucking name. So pretending you know Old Lang Syne. I mean, you must be like 155 to know the words of Old Lang Syne. Shocking, mate. <laughs> oh dear. You gotta laugh, ain't you? Eh? Gotta laugh. Oh, dude, these mud crabs are like. What's happening with my. Uh... I want that one to go away. I don't want that other one with me because I'm not going to get a soul trap on him. There we go. Right, we'll do, we'll do a bit of double blocky blocky. Oh, 54, boys. What did I need for, for the next big one on block? Was it 55 or 60? I can't remember. The thing is, he, I, I, he, I'm, I'm going to kill him before that soul trap runs out, aren't I? Oh, I bet you know it inside out. I bet you can rap to bleeding old Lang Syne, right? Dot you're that old, mate. Oh, it's an awful song. Oh, it really is. Why, why, why anyone want to? It's, 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 it's just awful. We got it, we got it, we got it. I'm going to die to a mud crab if I'm not careful. Which no one in chat will ever let me live down, will they? If that actually does happen. Not, not to mention a level 3 mud crab. You mentioned it. Where did you last say? What were you fighting? A dragon? A bloody mud crab, mate. Got his little pinks right around my little pickle, mate. I don't think we've got a... Uh, don't think we've got enough uh, soul gems anyway. We get, we've got the block out of it, though, didn't we? Uh, that means Snorks is presumably all worn out. Let's see what we've got, then. So... Oh, hang on. We've got five, six... Oh, we've got 11 soldiers. Oh, wow. We're doing really well, actually. I didn't realize how many we've got. Got a bit of block up, though. So I always like to play about with the mud crabs a little bit. It's kind of hard to... I, I don't really want to travel too far when the weather's like this, because we might miss, like, you know, like a little... Quite often I see, like, a little stairwell or... You know, like a, just a little, a little turn route, and it quite often leads to a, a point of interest, doesn't it? That's probably. Oh, you're right, Maria. That's probably why we had a crummy 2020 and 21. Thanks, old Lang Syne. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's, Grum hates old Lang Syne, so hates the Scottish. That's not pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, see. I, I've never had an issue with the Scottish at all. I, 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 you know, I don't even consider Scotland. I, I think Scotland's beautiful. But you know what I discovered? I, I discovered the in, in, it's incredibly pervading sort of permeating. The, the, the Scottish hate the English so much, and I've never really quite got it. You know, it, it's like the Scottish folk are only happy when they're bitching about the English. I couldn't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Scottish, English, Welsh, Irish. I don't care, mate. Never had a problem. I think the accent's awesome. I, I, I think the country's great. But I tell you what, as an Englishman, it, it's like the racism in, in England it, it, it is it, 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 it's shocking, mate. It is absolutely shocking. It's always done under the pretense of, oh, we're only having a giggle as well, you know? It is. It's really weird. I've never understood the animosity, really, to be honest. It's like I didn't personally, like, fucking invade Scotland. You know what I mean? Burn your castles down, chop your heads off, whatever it was they fucking did. Could come along and fucking knock your palms out of your head when you're all dressed up like fucking Braveheart. It wasn't me. I didn't fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I quite love to visit Scotland. <laughs> it's just that they'd probably kill me on sight because I'm an Englishman. Let, let alone a brummy. You imagine a brummy in Scotland? I'd last five minutes in a Scottish pub. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I miss that girl. Oh, yeah, cheers. No soul gem, yeah. Good practice, though. Good practice. 
Uh, it's like the Norwegians make the fun of the Swedes and the Danish, but unable to resist. Is it is it done in uh, in jest though? I mean, there, there's. I mean, is it done in kind of joviality or something? Or... You right, Valen? DX looks like I'm about to start a new. What DX? What does DX mean, dude? I'm not sure what. What's DX? Is that hip like leap speak or something? <laughs> the Scottish are currently invading England, so they can celebrate New Year. What? What? Hang on, what are they? Why? What's happening? What's that? I think Scotland's beautiful, man. Scotland is absolutely Scotland and the accent and the, the history. Scotland's fucking awesome. It really is. I'd love to spend time, you know, like decent time. I mean, the amount of places you can visit, you know, just just soak in the atmosphere. I mean, it really is. It's, I mean, that's the beauty of England. No, no matter where you go, well, all right, apart from Wales. <laughs> Because no one's ever given a fuck about Wales, let's be honest. <laughs> Wales, whatever. <laughs> Scotland and Ireland. Oh, yeah, now we're talking, boys. You know what I mean? Let's go, where should we go? Let's go to Ireland for a piss up. Let's go to Scotland, steam ourselves in some old Scottish heritage. Wales, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I actually love Wales. I actually, I think well, I've had so many. Wales is where we used to go camping. I, uh, I've got many, many fond memories of Wales. Yeah, the Scottish accent's crazy, man. It's such. A, I think all the accents in the UK are fascinating, to be honest. The old Scouse accent, the Mancunian accent. They're, they're freaking awesome, dude. That that is the, the cool thing about England, to be honest, or, or the UK, whatever. Um, it is. There's so much goes on here, you know. It's it's a crazy country, man. We, we've got so much history, and, and still to this day, so much going on. It, it's pretty. I mean, you know, as a as a visitor, the amount of cool places you get to visit, man. It's just it's always pissing it down. <laughs> so you're not having any New Year celebrations, but us pubs are all closed, so a lot of traveling. Oh, is that what's happening? Is that what you're saying about they're invading? So the Scottish are invading England's come and get pissed on New Year's. That's so cool. You see, we'll welcome you with open arms. Come drink, be merry. Just don't sing Old Lang's fucking zine. That that's the oh, that's in the small print. Wales is where my nan lived, near Merthyr, which was voted the worst town in the UK. Uh, for what reason, Caskill? Why the worst town? What, just... Wales, I mean, it's, it's the, you, can say the same, you can say the same about Scotland, you can say the same about Wales, you can say the same thing about Ireland, you can say the same thing about freaking uh, Barcelona, you, you know? There are going to be terrible places, you, you know, in, in some of the cities that you will go to, you, you know? You know, there will be terrible places in in all countries and towns you know it's uh you know there's places in birmingham i wouldn't go i'm sure there's cities in wales that are amazing but there are places you wouldn't want to go late at night uh you know but it, it is the beauty of the landscape i mean scotland is just jesus it it, it really is a magical magical land isn't it and for me, same with Wales. I've just got so many good memories. Camping out in the forests and things. Crazy good times. And it's all kind of on your back door in the UK. That's the other thing you've got to remember, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you know, it's not like, you know, in America, you could be travelling for days, couldn't you? You could travel, travel across Texas for days, no doubt. Everywhere's pretty accessible here in the UK. Is it a really? Is it so? What's so bad about it then? I mean, what? Why? I mean, you say it's bad. Is it bad because it's got a high crime rate? Is it bad because it's you know it's run down and ramshackle and dirty? Is it because it's not near you know like places for convenience like food and restaurants or? Oh yeah, exactly. Everywhere, everywhere. That's that's why I've never understood sort of like, why people sort of like. slag off a whole country or a whole city just because of one bad experience. It's amazing how many people call London a, a bad place. But you know what? London is a hell of an adventure. You know? Obviously it's going to be expensive. Obviously the traffic... You know, it's it's the biggest city in the fucking country. You know? It, it's the same as going, like, to, to any other big city, isn't it? 
You know, it's got its ups, it's got its downs, but it's also got, you know, a, 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 you know, everything from the food, the restaurants, the nightlife, the entertainment, you know, I mean, you, can, you can't call London a bad place, you know? No more than any other city in the world. Right, okay, I don't know what this place is, but just really run down that's a shame that is i i, I was down um birmingham again obviously i've mentioned a few times robin Hood, robin Hood island which is not far from where my mom lives which used to be this this bustling sort of almost like village of, of shops around this huge traffic roundabout uh it sounds weird but it, it was such a, a such an awesome little thriving hub of shops and stalls and things it's all boarded up now mate there's virtually nothing left. It is heartbreaking seeing it, mate. Absolutely heartbreaking, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Just the space in between. <laughs> Canada and Mexico script. <laughs> I lived at the east edge of Texas. It was about 900 miles. Is that how far it is? 900? That's mad, isn't it? That's just so insane. Being from the Netherlands, too much open space baffles me. What's it? What, how have you adjusted to life in Ireland then, Rev? How are you finding that? I mean, is it is it radically different to what you were used to? What's like a really standout thing, Rev? What's like the one thing, good or bad, that is like so almost alien for you living in Ireland? Is, is there anything or...? So, uh, no new celebrations at all then, uh, Banner. So, are you doing anything, mate? Are you uh, quite wanting with all, all the family, my friend? Maybe have a nice one, whatever you're up to, Banner. So, uh, Scotland, so Scotland and Wales have gone into, like, a big lockdown, have they? Oh, uh, Boris, uh, I haven't heard Boris say anything recently. Uh, they've got wires going to each house, mate, up on little poles to give electricity. Is that for the electric? I thought that was just for the phone lines, Rev. <laughs> Is that for real? <laughs> no, surely not. Surely that's not for the electric. That can't be for the electricity, man. Oh, you're just talking about the old telephone poles. <laughs> Island doesn't have electrical cables up above, like... Surely not, man. Uh, I think Boris is recovering from his witterings of pepper. Hey, don't you go knocking Pe Pepper Pig. Hey, if Boris is a fan of Pepper Pig, then I'm, I'm voting Boris. I'm telling you. Pepper Pig's awesome. Pretty sure whoever uh, yells, go home Dutch at Rev. F dude, people got shot here for that kind of mouth. Well, <laughs> don't say that to you, surely, Rev. <laughs> I don't believe it for a minute. They do, mate. Also, everything is like, what? Really? So your electricity comes into a, a, a overhead power cable, not not an underground power cable. Holy shit, dude! I didn't know that, man. That, see, you see, this is I learn things on Twitch. And also, everything here takes ages. I think that's just the UK, dude. To be honest, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I think post fixes takes half a year to get passports. And oh well, yeah. Well, that's not. Yeah, that's not. You can get a passport, like, literally just within a few days in, in, in England if you're willing to travel to Peterborough and, and spend a bit of cash. Mm. I need to get a coffee, I think. What? They, they didn't like Pixie? What? Really? What, you, so you actually have... People have been hostile to you, bro? That, that sucks, man. Did Pixie give them a fucking slap? I don't know what that is, Doc. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> is it Boris reading Peppa Pig? If not, I'm not clicking it. Mm. I've got a little bit of coffee left, and I've got to go and get a fresh one. I really need coffee today. It's been a long, long, a very ooh, long and very cold evening. It just looks like the one dude down there, doesn't it? But I'm a bit, I'm a bit suspicious about that there. I don't like the look of that one little bit. We try and knock it off. 
Did I actually miss that or? Yeah, I didn't, didn't like the look of that one little bit, mate. That looks highly suspect to me. We'll play with him a little bit. Feeling brave. Level one skellies. <clears throat> Got snow all covering these pillars, look. Oh, I should have tried a soul trap, shouldn't I? Because I, I, although the mud crabs weren't working, like you said, Kalgar, I, uh... That looked highly suspicious. Poss possibly some rudimentary magic trap, perhaps, if I'd left uh, left it in there. He seems lost with all his paper. Ooh, Boris. Ah, he's just as bad as all the ones before and all the ones that will come after, right? Hmm. Yeah, take care, Rev. If we don't catch you, mate, all, all the best. Uh, I hope you have a lovely evening this evening. Oh, sorry, Gothic streaming. Sorry, Banas. I was just saying, sorry, mate. I just asked you about it this evening. Of course, you said Gothic was streaming, didn't you? What did, did you say? What he was streaming, oh, Banas? Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do around the February time, guys. We're going to have to make a judgment call because there's too many games coming out. We, we're going to have to select which ones we prioritise. Because Dying Light, Forbidden, uh, Horizon Forbidden West, and also the Uncharted series. That's a lot of games coming out all pretty much simultaneously from what I can gather. <laughs> They're all <laughs> equally worthless. See, the thing is, someone's got to do it, though, right, Joshua? See, see there, therein lies the issue, right? If there wasn't... Oh, my controller's run out. Uh, I'll tell you what, perfect time to go and get a coffee. Yeah, you know, someone's got to do it, right? Someone's got to sign the paperwork. So someone's got to, like, tip the hat and say, this is what we're doing, right? Someone's got to do it. Otherwise, it would it would be complete anarchy, wouldn't it? It's just that it, they're, they're starting to feel almost just like figureheads now. And there didn't seem to be any real difference between one and the other, you know? Oh, yeah, Lost Ark. Shit, yeah, forgot about that. Totally forgot about Lost Ark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Intra bad time for that to be coming out, actually. Really bad time for that to be coming out. Um, Ezra, thank you very much for the follow. Ladies and gents, I am very quickly... Uh, Jamie, thank you for the seven earlier as well. I'm going to grab a quick coffee, sort me a uh, controller out. I will be back in two minutes.
but therein lies the issue, Siege Boshra. This is why so many people are willing to throw politicians under the bus. It's, it's life is not so simple. You say, you say, you're saying that Trump was president and you didn't need him once in your day today, but you did. You very much did need him in your day today, as I'm very sure you're aware. Right, let's carry on through here. Let's go and see. What, we don't really know where we are, do we? This was just another kind of like little place we've discovered. Let's just make sure we keep topping up our alteration spells. Let's see what this little little chestnut's doing. How's your back uh, today? Oh, what the hell is that? Whoa! Oh, jeez! Oh, jeez! Wow! What the hell is that? <laughs> wow! From level one skeletons to some... Whoa, jeez. I think we'll throw a cheeky save in there. What the hell was that? It's not a hag raven, is it? Start with frost, then, then sort out God knows what. Are you right, TM? How are you, bro? How's things? You got any, uh, you got any big plans tonight, TM? A level 30 necromancer. A level 30 necromancer. I need, I need, I need, I need snorks. I need the power of snorks. Where are you, snorks? I need you now, bro. The best you could do. He'd take full damage. I don't think he did, and now he's back as caster mode, isn't he? Shit. Shit. There's just no way. Oh, and I had him as well. I actually had him. I thought I thought he might take a bit of fall damage, but all I did was put him in caster locale, didn't I? A level 30 necro, dude. We well could go werewolf. Couldn't we? Good morning, Sensei! Oh, God, I'm gonna sneeze. I've got a big sneeze going on. Let's go and see if we can just get him in a strategically sound position in there. Right, let's get Snorks powered up. Uh, what I'll do while we're in this menu is I'm just gonna grab Frostbite Venom, <coughs> a potion of healing, and a bit of stamina. I reckon I can get him if I can keep him. Yeah, man. All right, that's our first decent takedown of a caster, man. Level 30 down with that beautiful shield bash, bro. Uh, Conjure Dramora Warrior. We had a staff of fireballs, the cheeky rascal. I'll tell you what, I will, I will start taking some of the loot. Start taking a little bit of the loot. Look at this frosty cups here, man. Oh, man. oh look at that. Copper opal. Oh, yeah. And the person was good boy and saved his money enough for a new computer, so I went in halves on a new one for Oh nice one, dude. Oh he's gonna he'll get loads of that. Because he loves his video work and editing as well, doesn't he, Jabotra? Oh, nice one, bro. What's um has he got anything in particular he's looking forward to for the um like, like next year, mate, or like game wise, or, or is he you know, is he gonna dedicate a bit more time to YouTube and things? <laughs> I hope you have a nice night, uh, late, is he? Yeah, I hope you and Evil and friends all have a nice, uh, a nice session. Yeah, all right, thanks, Simsy. Yeah, uh, I mean, Grimdad's is worse. He's, he's got worse each day, but it's like I said, that that doesn't sound good. But it, it, all, all it is is like he's got a really bad cold now. Um, he's, he's had all the all the proper tests and everything done, so it's not just the natural flows. He's had the PCR, whatever it's called. 
Uh, unfortunately, that got called off on the one day because of flooding. Uh, so we had to go back a second day. But yeah, he's, uh, he's, you know, he's poorly. But he's not, he's not at the point where I'm kind of... I suppose I'm not panicking. You know, I'm not thinking, shit, you know, oh, the uncertainty of it all and, you know, think, thinking about having to move down there and all the rest of it, you know. I mean, I'll, I'll happily do it, but it, it wouldn't have throw a spanner in the works at the start of the year, so. Uh, I hope he's a uh, YouTuber and he likes his gaming with his buddies. What does he play these days, uh, Joshua? Oh, that's nice. Living targets up to level 10 have a 25% chance to attack anyone nearby. I've always noticed with Skyrim, you always seem to get things like that too late. It's almost like, I mean, I suppose it depends on where you are. I mean, these skeletons and things I could hit with it, but I should imagine an Iron Greatsword will kill a level 3 in one swing. Jesus, there's some loot in this cave, look. Mage Light and Soul Trapping. Now, I think Missy said you can't disenchant staffs, can you? Which is actually a shame, because that would be really nice. Because I've got my mace with soul trap, but I can't really afford to disenchant it, because it's a 60 second soul trap. If I disenchant and put it on a sky, because I want it on a sword, not a mace. It's, uh, it's going to be for a really short duration, isn't it? So I, I do need another sword or something with soul trap on, I think. Uh, arrow and arrows. Well, we'll take the arrows, why not? Bit of lot picky. You need to figure out the best way to move all these videos off your computer to the new one. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure that won't be. Uh, is it? Is it huge about some data? Is it Jaboshua? Not sort of thing you can just stick on the cloud and then grab it from the other end. No. How are you feeling today? So it was work day yesterday, wasn't it, mate? How did it all go? Are you, so you're now off, presumably, until... Oh, Sugar Tuesday, is it? Yeah, he is. Uh, well, at least he tells me he is. Uh, yeah, I, I think uh, he's, he's warm, he's cosy. He's been watching a lot of... Uh, it's not Film 4. It's something that he watches through Sky. So something to do with Film 4 or, or 4... I don't know, 4 movies or something like that. But he has been very tired, like really tired, and he has, he's definitely got a cough. Um, but it, it doesn't sound like a, ooh, a human heart, what the hell? Um, that made a nice noise, didn't it? Yeah, it, it doesn't sound overly chesty, if that makes sense. Uh, he's still got, I did ask him about, because I, 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 I remember you mentioning it, uh, food, uh, taste and smell, and that seems all fine. He's, he's not really noticed any massive difference. So, um, yeah, I, I, I think, I, I guess it's the vaccination, isn't it? He's, he is all properly, uh, properly boosted and all the rest of it. So, you know, I'm sure without that, the symptoms could possibly have been, who knows? I mean, probably best not to think about it, but. Wow, this place is like seriously full of good loot, man. But then again, it was a level 30 Necro in it. <clears throat> the Warrior's Charge. Okay. Conjuration. Interesting. The Octorian Heresy. What was, uh, what was in the glowy pile down here? Then? <clears throat> You're right, Caskel. <clears throat> are, are you looking forward to it, Z? Is this, uh, is it quite, I, I don't know, like, how big an evening it is for you, uh, for all of you over there. And New Year's used to be huge in the UK, and, and it still is. It's just, that obviously, with, with the pandemic and isolation and all the rest of it, it's just kind of taken the fizzle out of it all, really. So, Minecraft PvP-type games. Um, been modding a game called Pixel Gun. An old mobile ported to PC. Trying to get him to mess with Unreal. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. The bows. <clears throat> Where? I didn't even see the bows. Where were the bows? Did not up here? Or... Didn't see any bows. Uh... These ones down here. I think they were just normal bows, weren't they? Yeah, just long bows, too. I 
I don't really worry too much unless I can see a, a magical shimmer on them, to be fair. Because I've already sold like a dwarven bow, which is better than my average standard ones. Let me just uh, do my oak flesh cast. Bring him down a little bit. We'll, we'll have a little bit of a toy with him. Don't want to pass up my level ones. Get these blocks and parries practiced. Oh, should have done a soldier. Uh, work was fine yesterday. Far quieter than I expected to be at this time of year and off until Tuesday. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm glad it wasn't too uh, too stressy, mate. You got any plans for tonight? I think I'm... I'm I think... It, it's, it, it all hinges on whether or not Grumdad's okay. If, if he's fine, then I'm going to offer to my friend uh, to take his shift this evening. Uh, assuming he doesn't want to work. It, it depends on whether his daughter's okay. Um... And I, because I won't need to be there till late, late. And it, it's it's like I was saying, it, it's a nice little favour to call in later on in the year if, if I need to. We've always done that as a sort of team, so. I'm not, I'm not. Yeah, that, that, it, it's like if I cast that, uh, anything other than. Jeez. No soul gem of appropriate size, I'm afraid. It's a weird twisty... Oh, ah, here we've got a problem. So, I'm going to have to pick this without failing, aren't I? Otherwise, it's going to mess up the control scheme. Let me uh, get a save in. Uh, no plans, just chilling. We'll see if anyone is hanging out in Discord voice channels and might pop in. I'd love to, I'll tell you what I would love to do one year is actually do a, a New Year's stream. But, um... Can't see it happening this year. Whoa! Wrong button, bro. Obviously with work and a few other things. It would be nice, though. It would be nice. Um... I cannot, I just actually cannot afford to mess this up. I had a look at... I'll tell you what, Simpsy. I, I did yesterday. I remember you mentioning it. Aha! Uh -huh. The old brain is still functioning. I checked out that game called Chorus that you mentioned. Well, that's quite a nice... Quite a nice little spell. Like maybe for getting out of dungeon with some fat loot just to get it to the horse. 100 points is a lot, isn't it? <clears throat> I suppose it depends on how much it costs magical wise but I should imagine over 60 seconds I'd probably regen it back pretty quick anyway yeah no, not what I was uh, expecting uh, extremely fluid combat extremely fluid almost uh, I, d I didn't even know how to describe it it was um, phenomenally smooth you know, you know it, it looked like a really fun combat game it looked like there was some sort of uh, ability to, I don't know, almost like teleport in behind your enemies. Which I thought, ooh, now that's a nasty trap there. Look. Now, can we... Huh. Okay, well, that's not happening then. Um... <clears throat> or do you think it was just a bad shot? So it's almost like they're hitting an invisible barrier, isn't it? Well, maybe they just maybe they just bounce back. I don't see any way to get past that, guys.
Okay, well that was not as bad as I thought. <coughs> uh, just spelled like, like you'd expect. Chorus. C-H-O-R-U-S. Like a song chorus. Yeah, it was... Um, it certainly looks like... Uh, what was that other one we played recently? Where I was not a big fan of the lack of a 3D location map like we're getting elite dangerous it, it, it looked like a superior version of that uh, on the face of it obviously depth wise I, I can't 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 say yeah i like the look of it i just don't think i'd play it to be honest it looked a bit too oh that's my phone oh that can't be good hang on Wow, there you go. There's another friend down with COVID. Just, it's just crazy, isn't it? Absolutely crazy. It's, it's like everyone's getting it. <laughs> What's going on, man? Like, what is going on? Uh, that leads out, so let's not go down there just yet. Wow, just where, where? Jeez, what's that? What's happened, dudes? Why, uh, what's going down? Is this, is this, this Omicron variant? Is it's just rampaging across the, uh, the UK or something? I've, I mean, I, I've known people with COVID, you know, it, it's not like I haven't known anyone with it. It's just, I've never known so many people that I know all coming down with it simultaneously. And it's not like they're all people that know each other. You know, I am the only sort of like connecting link in many cases. So, And it's not me. <laughs> it's not me giving it them. 
so yeah, God knows, man. Yeah, the, the good news on that is he's he's actually feeling fine now. He, he, it's, it's a bit weird, actually. It's very much like I just described about my dad. He feels like he's just got a, uh, like, like a cold. Not like quite a heavy, congested cold, but other than that, no, no real, uh, no real major symptoms. Well, I don't think there is anything else. I think I think we've pretty much cleared this place. It just looks like a nice wedge of fat booty under the guise of a beginning. Well, a level thirty necro would not be uh, something to try for good at level five, would it? But gonna see where it leads us out just in case it does take us somewhere else yeah yeah i've got the same impression from you in chat yeah lots of you've been saying the same thing haven't you it's like you know although we all see the numbers on tv and all the rest of it it's when it's affecting you and the people you know that you get that kind of like wow you know this is different isn't it you know Uh, we'll grab the snowberries. Uh, let's see where we came out. So we've ended up, uh, weirdly, well, not in a good position, actually. I'm inclined to go back through the cave. Um... And carry on along that road because we're coming over here, aren't we? To uh, Glen, well, for the Glen Moral Witches. Looks like there's something here that could be interesting, like a fort that's almost like uh, abandoned in the water or something, perhaps. Um. Let me let me whistle for a donkey. Whoa! What the hell? Oh my god, oh my god, it's a speed! What the hell, dude? It's a frostbite spooder. someone shouting I was gonna try and cast mage light that's why I backed out but just in case it's like a bigger ambush we'll get a mage light hey I'll tell you what I did watch yesterday or, or at least over the last two days and now I'll tell you what I started watching wheel of time it's fucking brilliant I'm really enjoying it uh, what are they called the tr is it the trogods tr 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 trogods 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 they're really freaking cool man it's got like a real kind of Lord of the Ringsy kind of vibe to it, you, you know. It's just like young children instead of a bunch of bleeding hobbits. Uh, you sort of got the, your, your Gandalf female, ain't you? Oh, she's a badass, man! Woo! Swirling all those lights around. Like, like, <laughs> I did laugh when the old bleed, the, the the building collapsed. I'll try and keep it a little bit spoiler free. <laughs> I was thinking, like, I hope there's no one in there. <laughs> Is that a couple of shock moments as well? That, uh, yeah, it's, it's really good. I'm really enjoying it. It's, it's quite quite high action paced. Uh, I like the cast. I, I like uh, I, I like the four key characters. So yeah, I could quite enjoy it actually. I, I mean, I don't know where it's going to go. Uh, Any like sort of. I mean, technically two episodes in, but I do need to go and rewatch a bit of the second one. But so yeah, yeah, that that was a good call. That was I'm very much enjoying it. Yeah, it's all right, Thuck. Yeah, yeah, th th thoroughly enjoying the tale. Yeah, just sit back and let it wash over you. Some beautiful vistas, you know, some really nice, uh, some great set design. Hope uh, 2022 is better for you and great. everyone. Star Voyager, thank you very, very much for the seven, my friend. Thank you very much. And yes, wishing, uh, wishing you a very merry new year, Star Voyager. Thank you for the seven, my friend. Thank you very, very much. Stay safe out there, bro. A bit like Lord, Lord of the Rings and the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe mixed up. That's a good way of putting it, actually. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. It is hairy. Yeah, yeah. And, and I do. I very much do like that, that style of thing. So, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, 
I'm very much inclined to watch more. I'm looking forward to them getting to the, uh, is it called the White Tower? Oh, and those dudes, what are they called? Um, that dude who's thinking, I, I, can't, I can't remember like, like, like the names, the say, he, he hunts the, well, actually, maybe someone can explain that, right? You know the dudes in the White Armour, yeah? And you, you saw the, I don't know what to call them, the Saimora or whatever they are. Um, I, I, it was kind of like really weird. I thought they were sort of like witch hunters. And, and like the Saimora, the, the, these female casters, if you like, were the witches. And they were hunting them. They don't like them. But in that interaction where there's like the convoy of these white, the white robes, I think they're called. There was a bit of a disconnect. It was like the the warrior dude was telling her to go and get her wound healed by the Sai Marai. They're the only people that can cure them. And yet the other dude seems to like just want to murder them and hack their hands off. So I was a bit confused about that. Uh, are, the, are the white robes for or against the Sai Marai? Uh, and forgive me if I've got that, that expression wrong. Uh, or... Yeah, I don't really get it. Or, or, or is the is, is the implication there that some of the Saimurai, that the, these female casters are actually evil? That, that, that there's a, a divide between them? I, I couldn't get... There was like a real kind of moment of like confusion there. Why, you, uh, are you a bit chilly over there? Is that, is, uh, that's my new favourite show. It blew me away. Uh, was the first show in a long time that captivated me. That leap. She is, isn't she? What's the actress's name? She's really good. Yeah, she's really, really good. Yeah. Yeah, they, those torches are not lasting long, are they? Need something? Oh, this is the fast travel, dude. All right. No, no, it's, it's not like that, Jaboshua. No, 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 no. He, ob he obviously collects the rings. There's more to that, that conversation than meets the eye. I've either misunderstood it or... Whoa. Ow. Whoa, that was weird. That was really weird. The... Uh, uh, I, 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 let's just call them the witches. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you, you know, like the lady. I don't I'm try, try to be a bit careful with spoilers. You, you know, you know the caster, the the lady, and then oh no, oh that is bad. Oh that does not get any worse than that. Oh, not good, boys. Dragon at night, not happening. No, no, no. Where's the cave? Abort mission. Yeah. It, so is it the Ez said? Is that what is the Ez? Is that what you call them? The Ez said I? Is that is that the female casters? The the, the, the people that presumably live in the white the watch the the white tower. The Sedai. Ez Sedai. Ez Sedai. I hope my donkey's all right. Rosamund Pike is the name, and keep watching. You'll find out what the white coats are about. Pronounced I Sedai. I Sedai. I Sedai. Right, I'll remember that. I Sedai. I Sedai. Yeah, it, it's not that, though, Evictus. That, that, that's what I'm saying. It, it, it's like I've been. I've either misunderstood it, which I think is more likely. It's just that the what. When they met the white robe convoy, right? The the dude with like the, the, the there's clearly a faction within or, or separate factions within the white robes, aren't there? You've got the warrior cast because he specifically because I think he's called a is he called a questioner? I think they're called the questioners or something, aren't they? Um, who and he even says that they have a very different role to play within the white robes. You've got like the warrior cast and then you've got the questioners or whatever they're called. The questioner literally came from a scene with a bit of choppy, choppy, burny, burny with an eye to die, didn't he? So, on, on the face of it, you're thinking that's why she takes the ring off and everything. You know, she wants to hide her identity. She doesn't want the white robes to know she's an eye to die. And you come into that scene quite naturally, thinking this dude, if he finds out who she is, he's going to start chopping her hands off and all the rest of it. And everything's kind of like going all really, really well. But 
The other dude, the warrior cast dude, very specifically asks to look at the wound. And his words are, when you get to such and such, you need to find an Aes Sedai. They're the only people that can heal a wound like that. Now, he wouldn't be saying that if his job was to go around killing them, would he? Do you see, do you see my point? And I'm not going to say too much more than that because that was quite spoilery anyway. So, I, I, again, I, I was trying. I really didn't get it. Uh, GD, thank you very, very much for the gifted sub. Is going out to Green Lantern. Thank you very much. Sitting on the floor as well. Thank you very much, GD. Thank you very, very much, bro. Uh, just got yourself all three Witcher games and the expansion pass. ATS and ETS and Hellblade. Ah. Uh what, what, what does that mean? ATS and ETS? Is that expansion packs or? You're right, Joshua. Thank you very, very much, GD. Good morning, sir. I hope all is well. We're going back through a cave because we've got attacked by a dragon. I don't want to fight him. Uh, not a knight anyway. Yeah, I'll, I mean, obviously I'm going to keep watching anyway. I'm quite, quite enjoying the, uh, the CGI. I like the cast so far. Uh... And I've just got, I've just hit a mega cliffhanger at the end of episode two, as I'm sure you remember, where a certain figure has uh, popped up. So I'm quite looking forward to seeing how that obviously has an impact. But yeah, the, uh, the magic is really cool. I really like the, the way magic has been done so far. And, and obviously the brutality of it as well. It's not holding any punches, is it? There's a bit of a, again, no more spoilers, a real shock scene when a certain character does something by mistake and it's like, oh my god, dude. And there's also lots of weird things happening. Like, for example, again, I'll just say the wolf scene. It's like, what was going on there, you know? Oh, you know? Yeah. Looks like, it looks like something that would... Uh, I mean, how many sh how many uh, how many episodes are? Does anyone know? Yeah, I I'm gonna rewatch the um, the big battle because uh, I, I watched some of it on my phone, and uh, it was quite dark, so I might watch that back on on a sl well, not not that much better t TV. So uh, hopefully the dragons bug it off. So if I do a whistle here, we should get the horse to come back around, shouldn't we? And hopefully dragons gone. Uh, they're supposed to hunt out evil connected to the dark one, but the impression I got is there are factions within the group that are more fanatics and I hate that I Sedai because of their power is connected. Yeah, and, and that's what's thrown me, Simpsy. It seems like really weird that we've got this one dude who's literally saying the I Sedai are great, they're the only people that can heal, and literally standing next to him is this bloody dude who's, who's done the sort of like wheel of time equivalent of chopping off elf ears and hanging them on a, a freaking necklace around his neck. I mean, he's literally got... Like, like a chain with Aes Sedai rings, you know? <laughs> and, and that was the only thing that threw me. It's like, what the hell, dude? You know, you got this one guy who's like singing their praises and, and this other dude, he's like, hey, let, let's chop the heads off and things. Yeah, I'm, like I said, like a victor says, I'm sure it will be explained, but it, that, that was the, the really like, whoa, you know? Who the hell are these? I mean, the beauty of it is, I now want to know about the white robes. You know, I really want to know. Because they look badass, man. They they are like literally this kind of thing I love about that. That sort of uh, fictional content. They look like a bunch of Assassin's Creed badasses, mate. You know, if they haven't got hidden blades, I'm just going to be upset. <laughs> and I love the shoulder armor. You know how like the one guy's got like the silver, like the metal steel uh, shoulder armor and the other one's got like a more golden style so cl clearly indicative of rank and things no doubt and they just look so imposing they just really do I mean I can't wait to see them in actual combat yeah thank you very much Judy thank you very much uh, didn't tell anyone but I got told 7.15 uh, 7.15 in the morning on Christmas day after a night shift and the terms of my probation I wouldn't be going back I didn't tell the wife, and now I've agreed terms for a new job after turning three others down. Go on, Gamblesome. So, 
Wow. That was a gamble. <laughs> but I assume, GD, right, that that has all worked out really well, yeah? <laughs> In which case, congratulations. And I hope I haven't got the wrong end of the stick there, right? Thank you very much for the gifted sub, dude. And Star Voyager, thank you for the seven. GD, thank you very, very much for the four, man. And thank you for the gifted sub, obviously, again, that's a Green Lantern. And congrats, man. Danny Dyer on EastEnders, cutting off Elfie. Did he? What, 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 hang on, what did Danny Dyer play? The Wardens. Uh, the Warders. Uh, who were they, Harry? Mate, uh, have I got to that yet? Robert Jordan. Is that the person who wrote The Wheel of Time, is it? I tell you what, I, I will, I'll say it, and, and, I, and I sincerely mean it. Um, I, I, I may have to retract this a little bit. I, I want to see it on, on like a half-decent TV at some point. But it's way superior in so many ways than the first season of The Witcher 1. It's not even funny. Um, everything, I mean, I mean, even the town itself and, you know, the scenes like the lanterns. I can literally imagine that, that scene with the lanterns uh, being done in The Witcher. And it would have looked like they'd got a bunch of kindergarten kids to make some stuff out of paper mache. Uh, the, the production values on it seem really, really robust. And I bet it's got nothing like the budget that the Bloody Witcher Season 1 had. So I'm super impressed so far. Very much looking forward to seeing more of it. Um, yeah, that's always the problem, isn't it, last man? If, if you're really in... I, I was like that with Lord of the Rings, dude. I, tr I Honestly, I was dreading going and seeing Lord of the Rings, mate. I was like, please, 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 please don't mess this up. Please don't mess this up. <laughs> honestly, I was super fearful, man. You know what I should do? You know what we need to do? We need to get... Uh, in fact, I wonder if I can do that. Let me just... Let me just can I find Mage Light on my own horse? The problem is you can't cast on a... Let's get a mage light out. Oh, I think it did. Okay, check that out. Oh, God, I can't see shit. Oh, God, oh, oh, God, oh, God it's, I've gone blind. <laughs> We're going to fall off a cliff. Maybe we can put it on his butt. Oh, is that is that the dude who's got like the uh, the long scimitar blade who's looking after the Aes Sedai uh, lead lady? Is it the wardens, the warders? So, so what I'm going to be watching is very much a compacted, condensed, almost distilled version of the books. Is it? So, not not a big drawn out variant. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I can't wait to see more. I, I don't know when I'll get a chance to see more, but... It's nice to have a new sci... Well, that's, sorry, not sci-fi. A new... Stay uh... away if I were you. Why? I'm on my way to a giant camp, and I can't guarantee those beasts won't think you're part of the offering. Keep your distance, and you shouldn't have anything to worry about. Uh... What are you offering to the giants, dude? The cow, of course. Others do it differently. But I found that an annual offering usually keeps the giants away from our livestock. Some think it's superstition, but I believe it works. I've yet to have a giant kill any of my livestock. Well, that's cool. Uh, and the paint's on the cat? It's tradition. We mark the animal as a way to let the giants know we're giving it to them willingly. Sort of a peace offering. Ah, uh, that's interesting, because I always wonder why the cows always got all... I thought it was more like, um... You know, like a brand for, for different uh, livestock holders. I have everything under control. Thanks for offering. Thanks. You take care of yourself now. Ooh, cool. Right, okay. Trouble is, um, what I'm worried about is I'm missing little points of interest along this road because there's definitely another little passage coming up, isn't there? Didn't really be tr oh wow yeah that's actually really cool I, I wasn't aware of that as part of the law kind of cool well I could, I could, if I mod it yeah and I could easily do that I, I could have a, a wearable lantern I mean I could still hold my torch and thing since all, all that's easily uh, added to Skyrim but 
We're trying to keep it as vanilla as we can with... Um, there is, I think it's called candlelight. I've got mage light and, and I could cast candlelight, which actually circles around me. And of course, if I want to, if I want to change the color of it, I can. I might, if, if we if we see an opportunity to purchase candlelight, I think I will. It's quite cool though, look, because I, I have actually got a horse with a lantern in the form of mage light, which has just gone out, obviously. But quite cool. Bloated man's grotto. Quite a cool way to play, actually. Of course, if my horse has to run away from a troll, it's a bit screwed, really, isn't it? <laughs> so, not exactly disguised anymore, is he? Uh, so the white cloaks believe that since the one, uh, you know, the only thing I didn't like, you know, anything that I thought like that's a shame. I, I thought that's a shame. That's a shame. What the hell was that? Whoa! I did not press anything, boys. Oh no! It must. It must be a full moon. I can't see squat, dude. Caper, I can't I can't even see it. Do, do I have any light? What's going on, bruh? Can't I, I didn't even get a chance to cast. Let me see if we can wait that that transformation out. What I'll do is I'll throw in a save. We'll just wait. We cannot wait with enemies nearby. Yeah, the one thing I thought, well, that's a bit boff. They're, they're talking about these Aes Sedai, the white tower, the white robes, the, you know, all the evil and all the rest of it. And then they talk about the return of, like, this so-called hero. The, the, this person that once destroyed the world who is now going to save the world and what do they call this person you know on, on the back of things like the Aes Sedai they call this this could be a man could be a woman they're called the dragon <laughs> and I thought well that's a bit of shit <laughs> could you come up with something I mean that's just like I mean what, what box of tricks full flat on its ass with that one you know yeah, I wasn't impressed with that. I, I thought it, it just it just seemed so cheap, you know. Well, I, I disagree. I think Dave would have been better. Uh, we, we, we're looking for the second coming of Dave. I, I think actually has a a, a a little bit of panache to it, to be honest. The, oh, we, uh, the dragon. Oh, really? The fucking dragon. Oh, wow. Jesus Christ. Another sci-fi story with a dragon, right? <laughs> if it was a dragon called Dave, Dave the dragon, I'm all for it. You know what I mean? The second coming of Dave the dragon, you know, in this day and age, I'd be all for that. But it did feel like, really? The dragon? What? Wait, 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 the dragon? Come on, dude. I, I could have just, like, taken some random uh, letters and come up with a better name than that. It, it was a bit, a bit like fucking hell. You can almost see the cast when they when they say it as well, sort of thinking, like, "Oh fuck, that's a bit of shit, that isn't it?" Drag, drag. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Uh. Oh. Come at me, bro. Let's, let's stick a few more from Let's stick a couple of arrows in his ass. Alright, they, they're going to take a bit of a beating, aren't they? Up 
Wimmy's coming for him. Whoa, how did that not kill him? Either? Jesus Christ, where the hell are we here? I thought it was like a cave, to be honest. I mean, I assume it is in a way there's no way out. That's kind of why it was so dark earlier. What is a really impressive name would I give to this powerful person? Well, anything other than fucking dragon, because it's shit. I'll, I'll prove a point. I'm just going to take a random letter or name. Right, so beneath you, right, Sam, you said gotcha. All right, so I'm just going to spell gotcha backwards. So let me have a look. Uh, Aktok. Aktok. We're, we're looking for the second coming of Aktog. There you go. Proof. That's better than dragon, isn't it? You can imagine an actor getting behind that, can't you? So there's this mysterious being... Yeah? Lord Achtog. <laughs> yeah, it could be a man, could be a woman. Yeah? The power of Achtog. The, the, the legendary tale of Achtog who brought terror and ruin to the world. And upon the return of Achtog, they will become reborn. The guiding light to save the world on its second return. Achtog. Better than dragon, literally. It's all right, I'm literally speaking into the microphone. It, you, you want to see the state of it. <laughs> Achtog. There you go. He's, he's a proof point, yeah? Yeah, Evictus, the mank. Just spell it backwards. Kanam. You know, Kanam. Who's going to fuck with Kanam, dude? You don't want to mess with Lord Kanam. Lord Kanam's a badass. I'd, ra I'd rather mess with uh, Dragon than Kanam, because Dragon just had no effort put into it whatsoever, did it? <laughs> Sip spitters. What's that? Sitips. Sitips. We're going to have to put a bit of a twang on that. Because it might sound like Sips or whatever his name is from the Yogs cast. Sitipus. Supitus. Sapitus. Yeah? It's better than Dragon, right? Uh, you're right. Is there a build or character command? It's just like a paladin, really. I'm going heavy sword and board. One hand, Sam. Um with restoration and a little bit of alteration to be honest so just tr just trying to go like for a really standard non-wacky can we play through the phoenix flavor at uh, that difficulty with a melee character and then i think it'll give us a really nice baseline for you know maybe tweaking things like for a i don't know uh, other playthroughs with it i mean it, it's plain gorgeously did you know it, it is a really nice uh, the phoenix flavor is brilliant so i mean uh, i have to say they're also setting themselves up for a bit of a failure i mean if the dude or do death that it turns out to be literally doesn't turn into a drag then i'm going to be very disappointed man. his nose mate <laughs> but yes yeah, so I, I am very much enjoying it we shall uh, we shall see where the the narrative takes us I still can't get past the oh what the hell dude whoa how much damage is that doing Oh, come the fudge on! What was that damage over time you were having a laugh, mate? Oh, that is shocking, boys. That is shocking. What even was that thing? Some spriggin' bee dude. It's probably called Dragon. Well, that's just completely screwed me, hasn't it? 
Right, mates. That's a beating you to death. Wow, those were three. Hours. A very warm welcome to Gold Subdivine. Divine! Happy New Year, Eve! <laughs> Don't want to jinx it. How you doing, Divine? How's the, uh, how's the dastardly duo doing, bro? Are you working tonight, Divine? Whoa, see those crits, man. Right, okay. Well, now we know that asshole's meandering around up there. Let's get these, uh... Let's get a, che a cheeky save in. There we go. All looks so peaceful and tranquil, didn't it? You're right, fool. What's the plans tonight, Divine? Are you uh, are you are you doing anything? Are you doing anything pleasant? Like locking a ball and grey out of the house with your feet up. Yeah, those crits. Look, look how much damage the crits do, man. I wonder if there's anything that gives me increased chance of crits. Whoa, is he not dead? Holy shit, I thought I killed him. Oh, suck it there. You can actually see the dude in the tree, look. I can actually see him. He's, you can see his head sticking out of that, like, empty log, can't you? Or hollow log, look. Yeah, I, honestly, I've tried that. I sat there. Who else was it as well? There were two people. Uh, I think it was... Oh, it was Kratauk. Kratauk and Divine Simpsy. I, I, honestly, I, I tried so many permutations with it. Um, and, and for whatever reason, the voice pack that that, that is using, it, I just couldn't get it right. You know, I, I like to try spelling it like D-E-E-E-E-E-E. -E 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 <laughs> to tr try and get like that D bit right. Uh, and then sort of like V-Y and things like that. Oh, it's so weird, man. I, I, and Kratarx, Kratarx, I, I made no progress with, with Kratarx. Kratarx just... Uh, she does not want to know, mate. <laughs> yeah, I tried it. I tried it, yeah. Yeah, I, I tried it. We had a chat. We actually did it on stream, didn't we? There were some really, really, like, out-of-the-box suggestions that we, uh, we we had a bash with. And the thing is, I, I, I'm not sure if, if... if Because there's been Windows updates, I wonder if there's now... Because she, she has sounded differently recently, hasn't she? And I think the bot does use the default Windows sound pack. So we, we could revisit it uh, and see if there's been any changes. Because there have been times where um, the default voice for Windows has, has led to some rather hysterical moments with the bot. Uh, I know the Streamlabs one has... We, we've had all sorts of weird things with that, haven't we? I, I think it just does it on the fly with the default Windows one, Simpsy, to be honest, with that, with that bot. I'm sure I can change it, but... If you're having a takeaway, Divine, what are you going for, mate? Are you going for a cheeky Chinese or a, a nice Ruby Murray? Yeah, I've got a 20% chance crit at the minute, Llewellyn. Yeah. I'm just wondering if uh, with this mod pack, I wonder if there were any items, you know, rings that maybe might add a little, a little extra, a little splash of crit damage. Little one asked if you got the, uh, the, the message. Uh, what, what was that about a message, Devon? What was that, mate? We're going for Chinese. It sounds nice, actually, mate. That does sound nice. It's been a while since I had, uh... The thing is about uh, New Year's is you, if you're with friends and family, you can, you can, like, order loads, can't you, from a Chinese. So you can, have, like, have a bit of a pick-a-mix of it all. Kind of nice to... Nice way to do it. I think, I 
think I can interrupt the heal, you know. I don't think I managed to get an interrupt on the heal. That's actually worth knowing with the springs. Because we're off to Coins Grave soon, aren't we? Oh, he said a Merry Christmas to you on... Di oh, no, I haven't. Oh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Divine. I'm sorry. I, you know, I didn't even get on Div uh, Discord uh, yesterday and this morning. I'm not, I'm not even said my normal good morning over there this morning. I was running that late, Divine. I, I think I saw some pictures of little little, little man uh, doing some rather wonderful um, pigs in blankets. They looked amazing. He looked like he was in his element. Too bothered, does he? Should we just stick an arrow in his face? I'm not playing with you, boy. You want to give me a chance? I'm taking it, mate. I've had enough of your dodgy spriggan friends, to be honest with you. So you had a nice uh, Chinese yesterday, did you, uh, Simpson? What did you have in the end, mate? I was. Uh, I think it was yesterday we were saying I I'd, I'd love to go for like dry Chinese spare ribs, right? With a slice of, a big slice of fresh lemon to drizzle over them. Some sort of, maybe a duck. Well, I'd see what I'd probably go for, a Singapore fried rice, right? With some kind of like side duck dish. Maybe even a duck curry, you know? I think I'd, um... I, th I think I'd go all out on that front. But obviously that's a bit of a wish. I can't remember what the Shrine of Talos does. Ooh, what? Ooh! Bowler's Oath Blade. Uh, should we read the... What the hell is this? Uh, to he who finds this... Oh, hang on. Uh, jo Jonas, thank you for the follow as well. Thank you, mate. And thank you very much, GD. To he who finds this, know that I, Asilius Bolar, last of the blades to survive the attack on Cloud Ruler Temple, uh, took refuge here in this ancient sanctuary. The Thalmor have come for me, but they shall not desecrate to this place. I go forth to meet my death with honour. If you are worthy, take up my blade and do the same. What, what is this? Oh, nah, see, I'm not a fan of them fleeing, but it's a lot of damage, isn't it? Uh, what do Snorks do? See, Snorks does 20 damage with 9 frost damage on top when, when it's powered up. Uh, this, this does stamina damage. Shall we? Should we try it? Let's see what it looks like. I'm not. I'm not sure it's quite in keeping with a paladin, to be honest. That, that's that's more like a, an archer's sort of backup, you know, stealth blade for me. Oh, I, I forgot about soul trap, Calgar. Oh, on the bears as well. Yeah. You right, Maggle? Missy. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? What was that? Uh, Ch Chinese Jaboshua, yeah. I bet I better takeaways make a fortune tonight, didn't they? The Spriggans, I think it depends. I mean, like, uh, we normally get, like, taproot and things like that, don't we? But I'm not sure about the, the different ones. That That's, like, the na the nature Spriggans. That one looks a bit different, didn't it? So you went for sweet and sour chicken balls. Uh, so chicken bollocks, as I call them. Uh, a plain egg fried rice, the prawn crackers, and a big pancake roll. Uh, and salt and pepper chili. Oh, I like the salt and pepper chili chips. They're really nice, aren't they? Always very different from one restaurant to another, though. This, pl this place is pretty vast, isn't it? See, it's ran away. Not, not really what I want, is it, to be honest? Not, not quite in keeping with our... Uh, I mean, possibly useful for an emergency, but 
Uh, Gray, thank you very much for the gifted sub going out to Wizard Beard. Congratulations, Wizard. Have I seen that? You're right, Wizard. Uh, I'm new here, enjoying it so far. What quest are you busy with currently? Let me. I, I, you know what, mate? I am. I, I'm actually not doing a quest. Um, I was. We, we started up. We've just bought Breeze Home. So we've, we've established the base of Ops over in Whiterun. And I was on my way to come and do the... What I guess is getting towards the end of the companion quest chain. Which is to collect the Glen Moral Witch's head. So I've just been sort of travelling along this main western road. Um, we went into... I think we went into North Brittleshin Pass and got attacked by a dragon when we came out on the river. So I headed back in. Um, and we've ended up in this place called Bloated Man's Grotto. So really just doing like some POIs as I try and get across there, uh, wizard beard. But yeah, not, uh, this place is strange, man. Super strange. Good morning, Gray. How are you, bro? How's things? How's things? You okay? Yeah, I used to love the chicken balls. Chicken bollocks. Really? But I am I am rather part. There's something about eating a Chinese spare rib, man. Oh, I love those things. It's the way the way the meat just like falls off the bone. It's just oh, dude. And I eat all the knobbly bits. I eat the whole thing. There's nothing left but the bone. You know, like the uh, like the the. Oh shit. Oh no, is that another one? Oh no. Oh no, there's no way guys, there's no way I can keep on top of the heel. That's it, We're, there's no way. That, that, that's, that's way too aggressive. E even if I switch to uh, heel now. Whoa, that was cool. Look, 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 look at that damage over time. That, that is brutal, man. And of course, these buggers have a nasty habit of, uh, they've got like a dual life, haven't they? So even if I kill, oh, sugar. If I kill him, he starts healing. But if I get the shield bashing, I think I can take him out, can't I? Oh, that is beautiful, guys. Wow, that, that's working really nice. That's working really nice. And if we go, I mean, I could have tried, what level was he? I could, I could have tried his Bolar's blade there, couldn't I? Yeah, I try not to do that, wizard. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I don't want to like use the the, the those. You, you know what I mean. I don't want to be low on death and then use the level up as a little bit of a a cheeky extra life. A very warm extra welcome life. to Gold Submiss Nordic. Just remember not to toss a coin to her Witcher. No Shall we it. see? Turn it. How you doing, Miss Nordic? How are things with you, my friend? <laughs> Oh man, I've left it too late, guys. I've left it too late. I've left it too late. She dead? Is she dead? Dead? She's dead. Dead. Oh, look, pretty flutter by look. <laughs> there we go. Woo. Yeah, that's it. Was yeah. I'm, I'm trying to play it quite. Kind of. I, I, to be honest, I've actually got multiple levels to upgrade, and uh, so it's not even just one. I've also got quite a few part points I haven't spent yet. Just trying to uh, get get a build that's nicely rounded for the way I want to play it. How are you, Miss Nordic? How's things? You're uh, you're doing a big uh, New Year stream tonight, aren't you, mate? And you got uh, what game are you going to be playing? Or are you, you going to mix it up a little bit? It's an interesting place, isn't it? It's it's like a it's like isolated valley. How bizarre! Quite beautiful in in many ways, apart from you know the spriggans trying to murder me, rampaging bears, best mates of Leonardo DiCaprio and all that lot. Oh damn, Miss Nordic, really? <laughs> Well, I hope you have a lovely night, my friend. I do hope you have a lovely night. Are you going to 
see it all the way through to the uh, the ringing of the bells. Wow, that was close, man. That was seriously close. We're getting some nice block, uh, nice block game uh, games. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. I tell you what, actually, you know what I might, I might do. I might pop a proper save in here. Sometimes it's nice to have a save in these locations. Come back with some little uh, tweaks and testing. Adding a mod here or there. Obviously, won't do it on this playthrough, but you can always come back once it's completed. You going to the chippy for tea this evening? Bad sausage, gorgeous. Bad sausage. Uh, what about bad sausage and a savoy, mate? Oh, chips and a curry sauce with a can of dandelion and burdock. Perfect. I'd substitute that myself for a Dr Pepper. Are you, uh, are you a heavy salt and vinegar man as well? I, I like to almost like drown my chips in salt and vinegar from the chippy, mate. Well, I used to love Savoy's. I've not actually had a Savoy in a long, long, long time. But I, I used to love a Savoy in chips. Oh, there go the woofers. Let me just... Uh, well, I'll be all right. Can't you get like a? Can't you get like one from uh, the supermarket, Mario? You get them for a almost give them away, don't they, bro? You can even add your own little uh, cheeky extras to it or something. Might make it personal for. Her. It's kind of like this. This sort of like very natural. It's, it's all very like. Sounded rather. Uh, Miss Nordy, are you going to be playing Dying Light 2? I can't remember if I asked you. Have, have you played Dying Light yet, uh, Miss Nordy? Because uh, I'm, I'm quite looking forward to that one. You love a cheeky bad sausage? Yeah, bad sausage and a savoy is like. Uh, it's just like the coming together of two great so sausage monsters, isn't it? <laughs> they don't do savoys there, Swazza. How come, dude? No way. And you have chips without salt or vinegar. Wow, mate, that that's uh, that's very unusual. Yeah, make your own Mario. Pr prove pr prove that you can make your own better. Let's be honest, a Texas barbecue from Domino's. I'm sure you could knock yourself up a much a much more flavoursome one. Start with a base one from uh, like Asda. You've got an Asda near you, or, or even a Tesco's. I mean, even their pizzas are pretty cheap, aren't they? And then go and get your own your own mix, mate. Get, get yourself some like chicken, a little plate of chicken. Get yourself your own Texas barbecue mix. Would you recommend what Dying Light? Oh my God, Miss Nordic, you've never played Dying Light. <gasps> it is probably. Uh, this is going to be a tricky one because it, it's quite unique. But I would say it's probably the best zombie action-packed. Adventure romp in the video game world. It's it's not a survival game. So in other words, you're not like eating, drinking, and all the rest of it. But it it, it is both. It, it makes you you start off like with the zombies are really brutal. Um, you, you know you are quite weak, and the the city itself that you start in is just. Gorgeous, and it plays so beautifully. You know, really nicely optimized game. Terrifying creatures lurking. Night is terrifying, mate. I won't say why. Uh, if you've not played Dying Light, Miss Nordic, you have to play it, mate. I, honestly, I, I, this isn't just like a fanboy. It, it is. It is amazing. It, it is. It is. It, every minute is action packed, but also, you, you know, you, you've, you've got to play smart. So, although it's not a survival game, in a way it is. Um, but but it, it just transforms the normal boundaries of a survival game. You know, normally a survival game, you know, you beat your penis against a rock a couple of times and make a mate, you know, a makeshift stone axe out of a couple of sticks and a pebble, you know? 
And, and oh, right, it's another survival game. Th this is survival actually against the zombies. They are brutal. You know, you really have to plan strategies and things early on in the game. And the beauty of it is, over time, you become like an almost like a superhero. You, you become so confident and you unlock such a wonderful plethora of tricks and perks and skills and weapons that all combine to create this wonderful synergy of badassery. And by the end of the game, you, you feel dominant. You know, you really do. Um, but the narrative manages to throw some really intriguing things at you, which, which keeps you on your toes. But you do, you start off as, a, a, you know, like you would in a zombie survival apocalypse, you know, without a clue, really. And by the end of it, man, you, you are whizzing around. I'll, I'll be careful what I say. You know, hacking things up and using your skills to blend in with them. Uh, there's some truly horrific moments. Uh, the story itself is great. It's very quest-focused. The world is awesome. To, to this day, one of the best worlds to explore. Um, and it's also one of the few games that's got a DLC that is worth actually buying. Um, and, and that alone it, it makes it worth picking it up uh, as a continuation of your main adventure. It, it, is, it is a 10 out of 10 game, mate. An absolute 10 out of 10. You, you just can't, you can't beat it as a... Oh, it, it destroys seven days at every level. But then so does a wet fart. Um... Mustard and ketchup, sausage and potato bread with a nice onion mix. Mm. Sounds nice. I'm not sure what potato bread is, but I'd give it a go. Do you have a mod list wizard? This is just using... So if you do exclamation mark scoring, which I think someone's already done, that'll get you a link. This is known as the Phoenix Flavor Wizard. So th this is like the, the Phoenix Flavor mod overhaul, which um, is very well done. It's a beautifully balanced vanilla entry into, uh, into Skyrim. It's... Um, they haven't done anything crazy. They haven't done anything wacky. They've just made they've made Skyrim a game to play in 2021. It's uh, it's it's a really good mod overhaul. Fantastic baseline for you to add your own mods to. Just bear in mind they won't support that. Although you can go and ask questions, there are people that will consider helping you out. But obviously, they're not there to support other mods. They're primarily there to support the pack itself, but it is, it's really good. So it looks like we've gone all the way around. Do you think I missed anything in there? Or... Uh, Dying Light is a great stream game as well. It is, yeah, 100%. Yeah, and it looks glory glorious. Out of the box, it looks amazing, and it performs brilliantly. Um, but if you want to tinker with Reshade, you can make that game. It, it, it literally looks like a release date game in 2021. Um, you, you, you know, if it released tomorrow with, with a splash of reshade, a few tweaks here and there, you you would feel like it was a game that released today. You know, unlike many other games. You really hope for some kind of news on State of Decay 3? Yeah, I'm not I'm not holding my breath for State of Decay after State of Decay 2, to be honest, mate. Oh, yeah. I'll, wa I'll wait to see what, what, what they bring to the table. But I won't... thing is, it'll be free on Game Pass, won't it? So I'll, I'm, I'm sure I'll play it. I, I won't have to worry about splurging too much cash on it. Uh, you do not own Special Edition. You need to get rid of Legendary Edition, mate. You can get... Honestly, you can get SSE super cheap, bro. If I, if I got a copy, I'd give it to you, mate. I've not, we normally had a few of them kicking around, to be honest. But it's... Uh, you really want to get rid of Legendary. It's... Uh, SSE with a 64-bit executable and everything. It, it, it's a generational leap, really, in stability for modding, so... Uh, there's no longer really much support for Legendary Edition, is there? It's kind of gone the way of the dodo. Yeah, you definitely want to upgrade that when you get a chance, Wizard. But you can normally... Normally, you can get SSE or, or even Anniversary Edition was on... was on a good sale. But I know with money's tight, it's not, it's not as easy as that, is it? Let's go have a quick look around. I'm not sure if I might have missed a little, a little, little nook or cranny or something. Sprig and sap I got, Jaboshua, from that one. Now, the day before is the one. The day before is the ultimate enigma of 2022, because it's actually got a July release date, hasn't it? The day before is the game that every single person that's ever played a zombie game wants. Anyone that's played The Division, anyone that's played Snowrunners, 
Anyone that has played anything with a zombie in it wants the day before to be what they're trying to pretend it's going to be. It will either be the greatest... Oh my god, how did I miss that? Oh, that's nice. Holy shit. Living targets up to level 20 have a chance to attack anyone nearby for 30 seconds. Now that is a sexy, sexy, sexy one for close quarters combat, isn't it? I think I'm going to... Well, let's keep it. You never know. Let's pop that one in there. Let's favourite that badass. How are we doing on weight? Ooh! Weight's getting a... It's a bloody good job I came back, innit? I thought I knew I'd miss something. Yeah, just wait until the new year, wizard. You know, if, if you got to just say, put a few pennies aside. You can probably pick it up for about a tenner without any, any issues, mate. You can keep your eye on a few other places as well. Possibly even less than that. I, I've seen Skyrim going for sort of ridiculous money at times, mate. So, yeah, uh, the day before... I don't know. It, it's, it's just... It's it's one of those problems, isn't it? it? It's too good to be true. But if they can pull it off, oh, my God, it will be amazing. If they can pull it off. PC Game Pass, has it? Did that, did that launch on there quite recently? Or? Oh, of course, because it's Bethesda, isn't it? Which are now under the Microsoft family. Yeah, of course it is. What edition is that? Is that the fully fledged uh, anniversary edition, uh, Mario? Or... <laughs> you think it's a scam as well, sir? <laughs> I, I, I'm not willing to go so far as to vocalise my opinion on that. <laughs> I, I am simply going to live it in, in, in a state of, I, I guess, a suspended belief that it, it could be the one. It, it, is Neo the one? Is the day before the one? And I, I have a feeling I, I will probably discover that it isn't. I have a feeling it might end up being quite, quite legitimate in terms of the scope and scale that they're reaching for, but that it will be an absolute technical, complete and utter cluster F. Th that's what I'm thinking. Um, that it will just be an you know, yeah, we will get cars to drive, and yeah, we will have cities we can walk through, and yes, we will have combat, and yes, we will have stealth, and yes, we'll be able to put things in a backpack, and yes, we'll be able to play it cooperatively, and yes, we'll be able to play it multiplayer, and yes, it will have PvP, and all the rest of it. I think all of that is within the realms of reasonable uh, belief. But I think ultimately, it will just it will just be a shambling train wreck from a technical standpoint. But well, wait, you know. Let's hope they surprise me. You right, Solus? Uh, what would be the minimal system required for Skyrim with this mod pack? Uh, well, don't forget, you can you can tweak it like, like anything with Skyrim did. I mean, I, I'm running with, with it full blown with EMB and everything, and this thing doesn't even drop a heartbeat. But uh, you, you, I mean, I don't know. I mean, probably better to work backwards and ask you what you've got hardware wise. But you don't have to run it with an EMB. Um, you obviously can downgrade the graphics you, you know you don't have to have it all all maxed out uh, uh, you know like some 4k resolution or anything Sky skyrim's a pretty scalable game and and this is a this is a well optimized mod pack solos uh there are several on wab or in other places that just throw in 8k textures and 4k textures like they're confetti and then people wonder why the game's appalling you know you don't need that level of texture in, in like a lot of the you know present on a lot of the meshes it's just a waste of time mate you just don't need it but i'm, I'm sure i'm sure if you can play if, if you can play the vanilla game out of the box at a decent frame right you could probably play this you know with a few tweets and still have a very good experience mate uh the day before wraith it's one called the day before it's a bit of an unknown one but it has i'm sure it releases in july July 2022, which is way before I thought we were all expecting to see it, considering how little footage there's been. You got a £50 Xbox voucher for Christmas and bought the Dying Light Ultimate Bundle. Never played it, but oh, it's such a good game, Swazza. Seriously. 
It, it is. Uh, I quite often get asked, like, you know, what what is my favourite game? And I always, you know, think of things like Red Dead and things like that, and obviously Skyrim. But I always forget about Dying Light because it is such a damn masterpiece that it, it kind of sits head and shoulders above some of the others. It, I mean, it really is an absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal game. I just hope Dying Light 2 lives up to... Uh, it, it, even if it was just more of the same, I'd be quite happy. But obviously with all the paragliding and things... What the hell happened to this dude? Let's put some stuff on Donkey. But yeah, Di Di Dying Light 2, I mean, I watched a bit of footage just yesterday. Uh, I can't remember how, how old the footage was. Uh, only a couple of months, if that. And uh, God, it looks amazing, man. It really does. It, it also looks... It looks like it's got a horrendous frame rate as well at times. But there's plenty of time for them to play about with that, so... You know, optimization does tend to come at the back end. Uh, oh, that was that. Oh, I forgot about that. So I didn't actually favourite that, did I? Once that dropped me down to... I'm still on 255. That seems extremely heavy. <gasps> oh, I thought I was eating all that one. <laughs> I was about to say I'm going to be very poorly in a minute. Uh, all that can go in there. What are we down to? We're still on 192. It still seems to be very heavy, but I suppose that's because we are carrying quite a lot of extra weapons. But it does still seem a little heavy. A little, little bit on the chunky side. You've got a 1060 in a gaming laptop. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I mean, that, I just don't know, dude, because I, I haven't had got any experience of a mobile variant or, or even a desktop variant of the 1060, mate. So I, I really wish I could answer your question, but I, I really don't know, bro. I mean, the thing is, it's not, you know, it's not going to cost you anything to give it a bash, mate. It's, if you use Wabberjack, it's not even going to cost you any time. Uh, what's that, Magalot? It sounds like it would be released as an alpha like this. Oh, I'm confused. What do you mean? What will be released as an alpha? You mean the day before? Or... And I'm not sure what you mean by like this. Uh, the replayability of Dying Light is really good as well. Not quite RPG level, but still a few different ways to play the game, I would say. Yeah, I'd agree. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, and there's some really nice mods for Dying Light as well. Um, I never really played with them myself, but... And I like the transition from the more melee-focused sort of game to the more gung-ho, shooty-mcshooty of the following DLC. I always felt there was a nice transition there, to be honest. Uh, do we go... Should we take a left and then through? Or should we carry on along the main road? Because there's a big fort up there we could have a look at. Should we go and see what that fort is? It will cost you the Skyrim game. You have it on the PlayStation 4 at the moment. Um, any Anyone in chat played like vanilla Skyrim with a 1060? Uh, again, I mean... Depends on what CPU you've got in there as well, doesn't it? And, and the whole, it's not just about the GPU with Skyrim. She, she's, a, she's a funny little devil, to be honest. Is it down that way or no it's not it's in that way yeah I, I enjoyed the following yeah very different it, it, it's almost like a completely different game in the way I, I just I, I wasn't overly impressed with the vehicle itself in terms of the traps I always felt like they were a little bit bland considering the over-the-top nature that you've got in the game by that point so things like the you know the flamethrowers and things it always felt like something i didn't use a lot of but i didn't mind it it, it was still fun it was still a nice new bag of tricks to play with you played scoring with the 1060s man like, any issues was it a modded variant uh to just vanilla Skyrim special edition or oh jesus oh my god i'm so sorry donkey Oh, I didn't see it. Oh, are you okay? 
Oh, donkey sad man. Dancing fire. This looks like uh, this looks like an ambush or something, doesn't it? Sounds like you might be all right then, Solos. I mean, I, I find it hard to believe that if it's a reasonably modern laptop that you wouldn't be able to get a Skyrim Special Edition running at least. I mean, you, got, I mean, you say you've got a PlayStation 4, right? So, have you played any games on your laptop that you also have on your PlayStation 4 as a point of comparison? Dude, doing over there. Before. Ah, that's useless. I'm useless. The whole world is useless. <laughs> I think it's the way we all feel at the moment, isn't it? <laughs> What's going down, bro? You try, you try to resurrect this uh, oh, wolf or something. Hello there. I did notice you come up. I was focusing my magicka, or at least I thought I was. I don't really know what I'm doing. Yeah, thanks, Missy. There you go, Solos. I mean, you know, don't start delving into mega mod pack. I mean, this is over 700, uh, 700 mods in this pack. So, at the very least, you know, get like the anniversary edition or something if you can get, a, you know, get it for a decent price and you're probably all right. Like Missy says, you might have, you might, you know, you might have to fiddle with resolution or you not not be expecting, you know, fantastic frame rates and things, but. You played it on a 750 Ti. I don't remember play, playing badly though. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, guys. I, I think you, you probably got your answer to be honest, Solos. I mean, it's got 16 gigs of system RAM, so. Yeah. You're right, Limey. I think your chat was broke. Is it working now? I can. I can see you. Uh, remember the two hours refund time on Steam, so it doesn't cost anything. That's a good point, Limey. That's a very good point. Yeah. Especially if you've got you know a Steam voucher or something over the holidays. Yeah. You're not going to lose out on anything, are you? Yeah, and the thing Why is, man, this is 700 again? mods that uh, are actually legitimately 700 mods. Well, we can all make a mod pack that's got 2,000 mods, but actually it's any, it might as well only be like 300. But that, that's, that's Twitch EPing it. Uh, that's quite a staff you have. It, it, basically, people don't know what the fuck they're doing. Uh, that's quite a staff you have there. Let's ask him about his staff. So it's always nice to ask a man about his uh, long staff. I used to think so, too. See, my grandfather was a wizard. My father wouldn't talk about him much. But I found some of his things in the attic, including this staff. After that, I thought I was turning into a wizard, too. Because dead things near me would come to life again for a while. Ooh. I even went to the College of Winterhold. They just laughed at me. The magic is in the staff, not in me, they said. Uh... Okay, seems like corn would be worth more to you. Uh, I, I think I'm going to give him some coin. Gold solves most problems, doesn't it? In fact, keep it. I must have used up the magic in the staff or something. It's just a dumb stick of wood now. Well, I thought he was going to get a bit of argy bargy with me then. Yeah, well, we'll uh, is it actually got any power? Do we get a staff? Can anyone even a staff? Oh, staff of zombies. Uh, reanimates a corpse up to level three. Oh, that was a bit. That was a bit shoddy. Uh, worth four four nine. We'll, we'll see what we get. It seems like a decent enough chat. Is that a hard time of it? It's been rejected by the College of Winterhold. 188 septums. Hopefully, you can start a nice new life. He might be the dragon from Wheel of Pain. You never know. Karmic payback. Uh, in case I can't join later, happy new year, Grum, and to you, Pumper. Stay safe this evening, mate. Whatever you're up to, I wish you all the best for 2022, mate. Yeah, best of luck. It's so sad you can't take... I think it is filled, isn't it? I thought... Actually, I thought it was filled. Hang on, let me have a look. Uh, it is. It, it's already, it is actually functioning, look. It has got charge. He just doesn't know how to use it, I think. <laughs> 
<laughs> or he's trying to do it uh, on uh, animals too high, perhaps. Yeah, because it's definitely got charges in there, hasn't it? Because that, that's what an empty one looks like. That's what a charged one looks like. I, th I think he's just a very confused young man. Good afternoon, Zar. How you doing, sir? You right, Ribbit? Your laptop that died in 2019 was seven years old when it passed away, and it was a crummy compact. And I could run a good couple of hundred mods in Skyrim on it. There you go, then. There you go. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking back to like, I mean... The, the, I always said when um, people were buying the i7s, and, and uh, I, I was still running on an i5-3570K, which was quite nicely overclocked at the time. And, and I was modding the crap out of Skyrim on that. And that was with, uh, what was that? That was a GTX 670, for God's sake. But obviously, I, I don't know how that all scales with a laptop for your soul loss. Um, and and I, I could mod the balls out of Skyrim on that. And in fact, it was interesting. It was, it was the only, Skyrim was the only game of that era where moving to the i7 really made any difference. Um... I was just able to maintain a more consistent lock 60 with the i7 than I could with the i5. But any other game, uh, Grand Theft Auto, whatever it was, exactly the same. It, it, honestly, it was one of those one of those upgrades that I just felt was, Jesus, that's some buyer's remorse there, boys. But um, so there was one other game, but I can't remember what it was. There were two games that, that there was a you know you know at least a a some benefit. But of course, things things have moved uh, on a long way since then. So, what are you doing tonight, Zora? Are you working tonight, or? You know, I see if we can get that clear sky shout, won't it? So we don't have to live in this perpetual uh, smog of Skyrim. Twenty-three packs. What do you mean by twenty-three packs? Is that is that updates or something, or? I know they had like a whole they did a whole 12 months of like little content updates for Dying Light didn't they have a quick look at the map see whereabouts we uh... have I missed the turn oh I'm way past the turning guys and I didn't actually notice that. Uh, I don't even know if that's a... Oh, God, I've got... I don't know. I, should we turn back? I think we turn back, guys. I've, I've come way too far. Uh, you effed, mate. Oh, no. I've been sent home from work because I couldn't even manage to carry my work bags. I lasted two hours. For oh, so it sounds like it's really, really bad, dude. Don't you need to go to hospital or something, mate? Get him to, like, uh... Give you a crack or something, dude. Shit. I'm sorry to hear that, Zor. That actually is really, 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 uh, crap, mate. Is it getting worse, or, or is it just simply not getting any better, dude? Because that sounds really, really... Like, I mean, it sounds like you're not able to function particularly well, dude. Let's see if I can find that turning. Uh, today's a sad day. You accuse a zero and Kiwami 1 and 2 are leaving Game Pass. I, I think I, I bet I can count the number of people bothered by that on, on oh my penis. <laughs> Are there any tears of weeping sadness in chat? <laughs> I bet half of chat don't even know what Kiwami wanted to, are oh, Mario? You are lie me. Do you reckon it's up there? Let's have a quick look. Oh it is. Uh, or at least one of the routes is up there, isn't it? Or is it? It's kind of weird. Like, it's, it's like it should be a really obvious turning, but... There is a signpost there, so you've got to assume that's the one we want. What's that place? Carth? Carth Waston? 
Windhelm Rune. I know all those. Where the hell is Karth Waston? Never even heard of it. It was nice having a police escort to your car. <laughs> as, uh, as abusing work privileges, those are. Oh, I hope, I hope you start feeling better, mate. You've been like that for a while now, haven't you, dude? Have I seen a ready or not yet, Grub? Uh, I don't think I even know what it is, to be honest, dude. So, video game, ready or not? No, I, I don't think I have, bro. I saw, I saw someone linked something in Discord yesterday, which was like an actual tactical, like, assault simulator of, like, special ops, um, which I watched at some hour. Um, and and it, it, I think the YouTube video was linked with some actual... Um, actual armed forces, like, veterans playing it. And, it, and I was blown away. It, you know, the information they were giving about the rooms and things. And it, and it looked freaking awesome, dude. But uh, you'd need to have a team of friends who weren't cock-wombling Call of Duty nutcases to play it. But it looked really good. In fact, I've actually got it bookmarked to watch more of it later. If if that's the one line. Uh, uh, Ball, Ball as a nurse. Oh. Oh, Grey, can you imagine? Can you imagine Grey dressed... Uh, oh, Ball and Grey dressed as nurses. <laughs> it's SWAT 5. Oh, I don't, I don't remember SWAT now. Ready or not is where you were SWAT... Oh, it, oh, it, it, oh, oh, it was that, was it? Yeah, that looked really good, dude. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's the one, Grey. Yeah, is, is that the one I'm talking about? It looked really phenomenal. The way, the way they were communicating and moving. Uh, yeah, yeah, really, really interesting. That's what I liked about that Thunder Tier 1 we played. I, I, I'd love to play a more strategic, tactical shooter than all this, like, running around pew, 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 ball and McGrew every 30 seconds, you know? It'd be nice to play a squad-based tactical shooter. There isn't PvP, you know? Hmm? What have you Take got for look. sale, sir? Uh, do, 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 do. I don't think I'll take anything. Thank you. See you. Thank you very much, sir. It's very, very nice to see you. I hope you're safe, my friend. Uh, there's actually a solid AI experience. Tell them to stack up on a door breach and clear with flashes and stingers. Oh, well, that actually does. So you can play it solo, then. It reminded me of uh, when I played Armour many, many, many moons ago. And some of the guys there. And, and like, like that kind of very military comms that they use. Which all sounds very, very, very awesome to someone like me, you know. And it, and it was. It was uh, amazing how even though you don't know what they're saying, it, you know, as in you couldn't... You couldn't... Re wow. Okay, well, he's all right. Um, even though I didn't know the lingo, I still knew exactly what they were saying, if that makes sense. Uh, and it was like the little, the little, the little things like on you and suggested and things like that. And, and it was very clean. It's very crisp. It's very concise. It's very to the point. Comms. Really, uh, really fascinating to listen to it. You're watching a video this morning of South African Special Forces SWAT teams training with live ammo. Guy in the room just sat on a chair chuckling. What? What do you mean? I'm not sure. I quite follow you, Spencer. <laughs> no, I thought I thought Grey, to be honest, Divine. I, I wasn't thinking of Grey Strong in specific, so I was thinking, you know, Grey and Ball. <laughs> I've not seen Grey Strong today. I can just imagine uh, old Grey and and Mr. 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 Beady man. Dressed up as... Oh, what about dressed up as like a Silent Hill nurse, the vine? Ooh. I don't know what we're going to do in February. We're, we're, we're going to have to all take a vote or something on it. And what the hell are we going to prioritise? It's like we've, we've gone like through this like period of crimbo with all these games coming out. New World kind of, for me at least, kind of fell flat on its arse. So that that kind of went out of the window a little bit. Um, I 
I don't. I, I suppose Lost Art could be a, an interesting one, but again, I'm not sure that's going to get a look in during release. To be honest, with Dying Light sort of being uh, being out and about. <laughs> I can only dream of seeing pictures of Baal in a nurse's outfit on Discord Divine. Don't you get my hopes up, mate? They have male nurse outfits in triple XL. <laughs> oh. So what's the plans tonight then, Zar? What and what are you gonna do this evening? Seeing as you, you you obviously won't be working, so Oh, hang on. Should we have a should we have a quick bash with the old what's it under? What's that? It's the Iron Mace of Spirits, isn't it? No soul gem of appropriate size. God damn it, dude. Obviously, we're not ready to start capturing... Uh... Whoa. Oh, dude, this dude's a badass. Oh, shit. When did I last save? I don't know what it's... A... Oh, shit. Oh no! I'm not gonna get it, am I? I've, I've buffed it. God! Jesus! Idiot! I knew it was getting dark as well. Oh, I don't believe that, guys. I have no idea when I last saved it. That was an easily winnable fight as well. I think he got a crit on me and it just completely blew me. Wizard, thank you very much for the follow, dude. I dread to think how far back down we are. Holy shit, where the hell even are we, boys? Actually, not that bad. Not that bad, because that's the fork there, isn't it? So actually, not, not a disaster. Jesus, dude. What's that over there? I don't think we'll play with that. I think, believe it or not, will be a lot of screaming into a pillow and not for good reasons. Are you really, it's all right, don't you? I mean, I, I, look, you know me, mate. I'm not exactly one known to follow my own advice, am I? Like, let's be fair. So I don't want to sound like a fucking hypocrite here, mate. But that sounds like you are in a hell of a bad way, dude. I mean, is it not worth getting down the hospital? And just making sure there isn't something really bad going on, dude. You, you don't you don't want to make it worse, do you, mate? But I, I totally understand what your answer today is probably gonna be. <laughs> uh he said stop giving divine in evil, uh, evil strange ideas and thoughts. I think, right? How about this, right? Can you get can you get a nurse's outfit delivered in the next like basically 12 hours what i think you do divine right is you get the greatest spread that ball and gray have ever seen right the biggest lashing takeaway of all time yeah but he's only allowed to partake if ha if uh he eats it in in a slightly i'm thinking pvc can we get a pvc i quite fancy the idea of him in a pvc nurse's outfit The extra little shine to it, you know? What do, what do you think? Do, do, I see what, chat, should we all chip in? <laughs> is, is, has anyone actually got one of these PVC outfits that we could quickly deliver to Divine? What are you doing tonight, Ref? There are, uh, there are other people who need the NHS more than me. I knew you were going to say this. I knew you were going to say this. <laughs> I'm not going to clog it up by taking it up time. So, you, you, so, so you're, you're, this is ex you literally, this is exactly the kind of things I say, isn't it? When we say so about what you actually mean is you're sitting there screaming into the pillow all night in absolute utter agony. But you don't want to bother anyone. <laughs> right, dude, give me your staff, bro. Oh, hello there. Hello there. I didn't notice you come up. Hello there. I was focusing my magicka. Or at least I thought I was. 
I don't really know what I'm doing. Right, uh, that's quite a staff you have there, sir. I used to think so, too. See, my grandfather was a wizard. My father wouldn't talk about him much. A wizard, Harry? I found some of his things in the attic, including uh. this staff. After that, I thought I was turning into a wizard, too, because dead things near me would come to life again for a while. I even went to the College of Winterhold. See, when he says that, I, I, think, I, I think of it as him, like, having, using it, like, staff. for um, rats me, they said. and birds. Do you know? That's the way I read that. Gold solves most problems, doesn't it? In fact, keep it. You must have used up the magic in the staff or something. It's just a dumb stick of wood now. Uh -huh. You sort of see the, uh, the combat animation because you have the, sh uh, the, the staff in his hand, can't you? Well, well, anyway, we've got the stuff. Right, let's throw it safe. And then we just want to take the first obvious left turning and we're back where we started, aren't we? Well, I, I hope you're having a pleasant night, whatever you're up to. So if I get a chance, I'm, I'm going to see if I can find a way to watch uh, or to rent The Matrix, the new film. I've heard so many pretty bad things about it. I almost want to watch it to see what my thoughts are. Have you seen it, Zor? Hang on. Let's just check. Am I missing? Oh, no, it's miles away. Yeah. I, I think it's an orc encampment, isn't it? From what I, uh, what I saw there. Just need to be a little bit more battle ready, don't we? I might even uh, chug some food before we go in, because it might be quite a drawn-out fight. Oh, there you are. Who are these knobbers? Let's get a save in. My guard to attack. Oh, I don't agree with that at all, Limey. Sorry, mate. I like to support. I like to support the industries that that make the things that I like. I, I am heavily against uh, piracy, personally. I do not. Uh, I do not partake in gaming or film piracy. Uh, I'll wait until it's on TV or Netflix. Uh, yeah, I, I, I would do, but I actually quite fancy what. I think the thing is because I watched The Matrix so recently. Uh, and the whole trilogy again. It was only a few months ago. It's actually quite fresh in my mind. So I'd love to see, you know, this so-called extra one. Um, but uh, I think if I hadn't recently revisited the franchise, I probably wouldn't give a toss, to be quite honest, mate. You know, from, especially from what I've heard. But I haven't really got anything else that I fancy watching at the moment. So I watched that, uh, that one on Netflix, uh, Don't Look Up, which I quite enjoyed. What's that, Divine? 
You want to see the new Matrix film as well, man? I wonder if it's a commentary on how people keep wanting to rehash the old stuff. I don't know. I don't, the, the negativity around it has been quite overwhelming. And what's been interesting is it's not like everyone says the same thing. You know, if you speak to like 10 people like we have, we've seen it in chat, they all have different things they didn't like about it. It's not like one overarching, you know, it's not like the plot is terrible or the acting is terrible or this is terrible. It's like everyone's got different things. They just made it, you know, for them made it feel underwhelming, really. All right, okay. Let me, uh, I'll go, I'm, I'm going to go and get a fresh coffee. It's all right, the girlfriend's just got to pop out. So I, I just need to sort out some stuff in the, the car for her. She's, uh... It's not exactly running properly at the minute, but she's got to risk it for a biscuit. So uh, I just need to be on standby, get the phone out in, in case uh, the old clutch drops out of the fucking thing again. But she's got no choice but to use it because obviously she's got a Y select, so she can't really ask a friend to take her. Um, where are we going? Uh, oh my God, have I gone past it again? You've got to be kidding me. You actually have got to be kidding me. It's all the way down there that I'm supposed to be at. Oh my lord. Somehow, we, we've managed to end up all the way back. I thought something was off, you know. I, I really did. I, I genuinely thought something was off. Uh, Neil deGrasse... Neil deGrasse Tyson calls it a documentary. That's all I need to hear. Hang on, what's... Who's Neil deGrasse Tyson? I know Mike Tyson. And what's that other dude? A, a, a documentary. Well, hang on. We're talking about the same. We're talking about the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> grum lurk, grum high, grum b b b. Benda, how you doing, Braski? Uh, Ramung, thank you for the follow. Bender, thank you very, very, very much for the forty-one. You know what? I would really like to do. I would. Act, I, I can't do it because obviously I'm, I'm quite likely. I've got a sweat grum dad and spend a bit of time with a girlfriend but I actually, I'd actually I'd, I could actually do a full day stream on New Year's one year I think if we could find the right game I could play all the way through and, and, and you know welcome everyone into 2021 as a big or 2022 in this case as, as a big thank you I think I could do that I feel quite it feels like an interesting day today here we go this is it this is it this is it this is it right here we go right let's right everyone in chat yeah from so now on like every 30 minutes so I because I couldn't watch the storm folks tearing everything apart and not do something most of the time the legion's always looking for strong capable warriors if you think you've got what it takes our headquarters is in solitude oh okay what are your thoughts on all this my father was legionnaire his before him I guess I never considered doing anything else mm. uh Every third, uh, so on the 30 minute stroke and on the hour stroke, so give me a little reminder to save the game. My father was Legion. We'll get a little soundbite up and running, I think. I guess I never considered doing anything else. Oh, the asteroid movie. Oh, uh, don't look up. I was going to say, what's that? That's kind of, what did you, what, what you meant there? Yeah, yeah. Doctor, the, I, I enjoyed Don't Look Up. Yeah, I, I enjoyed the. The tomfoolery, almost in all. The astrophysicist's guy, Neil deGrasse Tyson. The do, do, uh, I don't know. Maybe I do know who that is. Oh, that's that's just the hunter, isn't it? We'll leave, we'll leave him be. Thank you very much, Bender. Thank you for the forty-one, dude. Very kind of you, mate. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful. Uh, Uh, well, we've got uh, well auto saves only on zone transitions in Skyrim. So, and obviously because I'm out and about so much, I'm not really getting those. So, that's what I mean. It's it's not so bad in a dungeon because at worst case scenario, I always end up kind of uh, back at the start. And, and in many ways, it's actually it actually helped us because what what it makes me play careful because I don't want to make a mistake and end up back at the start of the dungeon. So it makes it a little bit more risk reward kind of thing. But at the same time, uh, we've actually on on going back through a second time where I'm not so hell bent on looking at things that are going to kill me because I kind of know where they are. I've I've actually found things that I didn't first the first pass through. Where's that camp then? I'm confused. 
Is oh, is it up here? Oh, jeez, where's that orc camp that we saw? Because I saw, I saw the palisades. I saw, I saw the walled. Oh, Jesus! Okay, I wonder if I could do that to Toby one day. Uh, I have no idea where the hell. I don't think you can even see it on the map, can you? Hmm. I'm 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 confiddled. Uh, where's my bloody donkey gone? Come back, donkey. Uh, what was that, Mary? Uh, the trilogy, uh, reboot trilogy that you can get on Epic Game Store. What, hang on, what's this? Could you, could you play the whole two? Yeah, I'm not. I, I, I know Miss Nordic's been playing. She's really enjoyed it, and actually, I actually really do like the Tomb Raider trilogy. Uh, so, sorry, the Tomb Raider franchise. Sorry, and I've only played the 2013 stroke 14 version in its entirety and none of the subsequent ones of which i assume there's two others is that um i would love to play them I, I really would but does anyone really give a fuck about tomb raider we've got we've got dying light we've got you know potentially uncharted we've got lost ark we've got Horizon Forbidden West. I mean, why keep playing old shit, you know? I just do not know where that orc camp was, dude. Aaron Bazaar. dark as well i think all i can do is try and trace my steps back to the hunter because it, it wasn't far from him was it i really want to find the that orc camp kind of seems to be a bit off the beaten track doesn't it there's old dead wolfy mcgubbins there there's the hunter camp so where the hell? Oh, oh, what's that over there? Ooh. Okay, right, donkey, stay there, my friend. We'll go and put on unrelenting force because obviously, you know, I use that so regularly. And we will try to, we'll do, we'll treat ourselves to a nice and juicy save externally. Come oh, what the hell, bro? <laughs> Level 90 necro mage. That don't sound good. That don't sound good at all. No more. I yield. I yield. All right, I'm you. You're not yielding at all. Trick. Oh. Only the Jesus. Well, no. I, I, only on, 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 only when we're on the outside. Once we're in a cave, I don't mind because. But if, we, if we've been out and about for half an hour, we need, we need to remember to... Uh, oak, I've already got Oak Flesh, haven't I? I wonder what the one up from Oak Flesh is. Is it Stone Flesh? Uh, Chucky! How are you, my friend? How's things? How's it all going? How's the little how's the little monsters with all their goodies from Christmas? Are they still living the Nirvanic life? Nice to see you, Chucky. And if I don't catch you later, wishing you and Hashi and family all the best for 2022, Chucky. And thank you very, very much for many a chin wag over the last 12 months. And thank you for the 35. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, I'd love to play them. Like I said, I, I, you know, if, if I didn't have anything else to play, then yeah, I, you know, I'd, I'd definitely consider the, the Tomb Raider games. But like I said, we're, we're about to embark on a, on a nightmare amount of games, aren't we? we? We just won't have enough hours in the day to play them, unfortunately. 
How you doing, Grant? You alright, mate? How's things? You up to anything tonight, Grant? Okay. So, we've got someone down there, haven't we? Uh, let's zoom in a little bit. Let's get the old bow out. Can't be anyone good, can it? So, shall I just murder them? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't like the automated ones, Limey. Uh, the ones that are on a tick. Uh, because it tends to... It, you know you know what will happen? It'll end up saving mid-fight. And, and, and it does freeze the game for a second. So, yeah. Just when we're out and about, if, if you're aware that I haven't saved for like, you know, 20, 30 minutes. Or certainly 30 minutes. If we just get a little reminder. Uh, thank you, Gribble, for being. Just being. <laughs> that really all up my day. I have the girlfriend said that to me. Ah, oh, just thank you for being. That's, yeah, it's not going to happen, is it? Probably just get told off for not putting the fucking rubbish out again. <laughs> Can you imagine sitting a meter from a bonfire taller than you? It's, uh, it's probably a Khajiit, mate. They're immune to such things. I don't trust the Khajiit. What was that? That was an arrow in your head, mate. It's nothing. Should we finish her off with an arrow? Should we be rude? No, oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. Go in here. Oh no, she healing. Oh, that, that, that's extremely Oh! 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 Holy balls. Oh no! What the hell, dude? Get out of here, Nobba! I'm gonna toy with him a little bit. I'm gonna look at his glowy eyes. Look at that! That gorgeous. Look at that! Look at that! Ooh. He's beautiful! Look at the detail! Get out of here. Now that is a skeleton in a video game. Oh, did I tell you? Oh, I didn't tell Z, did I? Oh no! You know the uh, you know the Bunsen thing that that Z and, and Elagon were involved in in, in my goodie box for Christmas. It's actually got gas in it, and uh, it, it's got a safety switch in it, so you can't accidentally ignite this incredibly aggressive Bunsen flame. So I, in fact, I've got it here. Listen to this. This this is what happened. <laughs> See you later, yeah. Take care, bro. So, listen to this. I don't know if you can hear. Oh, my. Oh. Oh. Careful, I don't melt that. Right, that that is like a. But now, imagine this jet of like really beautiful blue flame comes out, right? And I thought, I wonder if it's really hot. <laughs> <laughs> I shit you not, right? That's what went through my mind. I thought, I wonder if it's like... Because it's, it's like a really clean jet. It's not like a candle or a lighter. It's an incredibly focused blue jet. It, it looks like a jet thing, but you know like you know, like the back of a plane? It, it, there's no fire coming out of it, right? And, and it's so clean. And I thought, I wonder, is, that, is that even hot? So, yeah. So, I've got a bit of a poorly finger at a minute. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, <laughs> you know, you know when you search it and you think, oh, it's not that old. Fuck, yes, it is. <laughs> let's let's say it was deceptive. Okay, it was a deceptively hot flame. <laughs> yeah, one of the creme. Yeah, that's it. A creme brulee torch. That's it. You got it. Yes, it's 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 actually exceptionally hot. It's. Uh, yeah, you definitely don't want to stick on it. Surpr no, no surprise, but I was quite surprised at just how... Can I take these uh, torches? Yeah. Well, well, I knew it would be hot, but I wondered, like, how hot? <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you can put your finger in, like, you know, you can... You can I mean, look, look. 
let's not be silly here, right? I mean, who hasn't just snubbed out a candle with their fingers? You've all done it, right? Because, you know, it's not that hot, yeah? You know, as, as long as you... Oh, Jesus Christ! Holy crap. What a knob. Oh, that don't sound good. Yeah, you, you know you're not going to stick your finger in it for long. So I, I thought, oh, I wonder if it's like a candle, you know? I stick my finger in it. I, I, I didn't stick my finger in it for very long. Let me point that way. You use toothpicks? What? What do you mean you use toothpicks? What do you use toothpicks for? What, what, what do you mean? What do you, what do you mean you use to, for putting out candles? What the fuck, dude? I can lick your finger and just like stub it out. What? How did you put out a candle with a toothpick? <laughs> You're way overthinking it, bro. <laughs> I do remember blowing a candle once, and I didn't realise like how much bloody wax was pulled up in it. That was a fucking disaster. I also nearly burnt a young lady alive, but that wasn't my fault. That, that was the amount of fucking hair goo she had in her hair. But she did have very beautiful hair. Not after that. Oh, it's great, Simpsy. You know what? Check this out as well, right? It's got... Listen to this. Can you hear it? Can you hear it burning? Oh, fuck. Hang on. Oh, shit. Don't point it towards myself. <sighs> oh, okay. Yeah, look. It's got it's got a slide nozzle. So I can have it like Mega Jet or Little Jet. Yeah, it's badass, man. It's so sexy. You know what, it, you know what it's like? It's like a James Bond gadget is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, stop it. Check it out. Listen, 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 listen. How cool is that? I'm going to put a safety switch back on. And it is, it's, it's like, it's got like this really lovely, like, matte finish to it as well. It, it's straight out of a James Bond gadget thing. It, it's, it's really cool, man. I'm super impressed with it. I'm going to, I'm going to burn all sorts of shit in the summer. <laughs> 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 it's, I'm gonna go on walks and burn shit. It's gonna be amazing. Right, now that is a lot of potentially highly explosive oil. Uh, that is not a sword, dude. Shall we just sort of... I really like burning shit, you know what I'm saying? That's like really just like... That, that really hits the spot that does, man. Who's that? Whoa, what the hell, bro? What's going on, dudes? Oh. How intriguing, sir. How intriguing. Oh, that. Oh, no. I didn't bring my pickaxe in. Oh, dude. It might be worth me just bringing the pickaxe. I do, Maglor. Right, little pyromaniac, mate. The safety is definitely on. Yeah, it is definitely on. Yeah, it, it's locked, loaded. I didn't realise it had got gas in it, you see. So I was quite surprised when it went whoosh. Sizzle, 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 sizzle. <laughs> Burning flesh. <laughs> uh, what is that all about down there? Bro? Is that... That's yet more oil, isn't it? Um... You know what? Let, let's have a think about this then. Let's... Because we've got a couple of... 
see if we can make a bit of noise. got anything to uh, burn him with, have I? Oh shit, dude. Oof, that was close. Damn, that is a lot of burning. That is a lot of burning, dudes. That is a lot of burning going on. Oh, no. I can't see. That, that's, that's the worst part. Any caster except the flames. I can't see them. Oh! Gutted, mate. Absolutely gutted. Even if the skeleton hadn't been there, which I think was a two-hander, which is going to wreck me. I, uh, I really struggle with the casters really really tricksy man right let's go and take you out what was that? The, the lightning dude's not so bad the frost is definitely not so bad because we've got a bit of encounter resilience to those Okay, all right. Well, let's throw a save in there then. Uh, let's see what we can do. I need, I, I don't know, maybe maybe some poison and stuff on her. Things that, it looks like they can bloody heal, doesn't it? I couldn't stop playing with it, so I've, I've, I think I've actually used like a good chunk of the gas, mate. It's quite mesmerizing. You sort of stare at the flame, think, thinking of evil things. How you doing, boss? Are you okay, bro? Okay. I was reading chat. You can't blame me for that. I was literally reading chat. I still want to know how you put out candles with a toothpick. Uh, so sorry if I missed it. I'm, I'm confused by that. I don't know whether it's a burn. Oh! Why does it keep... Oh, because I don't put my torch away, do I? Definitely a trap down there going off, isn't there? I'm not sure whether to hit that one up there. As we see it coming down. So it looked like he got hit by that trap then, didn't it?
Got him. I got him. That is a dead mage, right? <laughs> Look at that, eh? Just his underpants left. Beautiful. Okay, there we go. I knew you'd mention that, bro. You never let me down when it comes to audio, bro. Yeah, pick uh, pickaxe would have been nice. <coughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I like it, Simpson. You do realise I will now never be able to watch the rest of the Wheel of Time without thinking of the Chosen One as literally just being Dave. Immersion ruined. This one got killed by the trap. All right, we're doing okay. I think I think we trade ourselves to a little cheeky save there, and we carry on. Let's put that away. All right, I need some coffee actually. Hang on. You didn't like it, Limey, really? What, what, so, what, do you think, like, the first two episodes were actually where, where it all hangs out then, Limey? Because I've watched the, well, one. I, I shouldn't, I, I do need to watch the second one a little bit more closely. Um, it's never quite the same on, a, on a, at least a reasonable size screen compared to my phone, is it? But I, I've really enjoyed the first two seasons. You push the pushing wick over into the liquid wax. It's then covered in... What a pain in the ass. What an absolute gargantuan pain in the ass script. Literally lick your fingers, hold it over it, bish bash bosh, no smoke. Little bit of wax sometimes on the end of your finger that you can pick off. That's always nice. It's like having a scab that doesn't hurt. What a monumental amount of fanning about, bro. <laughs> You've clearly got far too much time on your hands, mate. Can you put the candles out? Oh, let me just go and get the toothpicks. <laughs> go on, son. Live a little, bro. Live a little. Oh, wow. That's a rough... What is it? It's only an adept lock. Jesus. Ooh. Oh! Wow, lock picking is so much harder. There we go. Beautiful. You're actually what you're actually allergic to candle smokes. Where the fuck have you got candles in the house then? <laughs> <laughs> Should it be, if you're allergic, should it be a no candle zone, bro? I'll take it we'll be going up there. These little uh, patches of flame are uh, kind of strange, aren't they? Staff of Firebolts. Uh, let's have a quick blast with the old mage light down there. Is it actually there? Hmm. 
Let's go around. Let's go around. What's that? Uh, live a little and get the girlfriend to lick your knob and cock slap the flame out. What, you mean she get a little bit of wax on the end of your didgeridoo? People do do that, don't they? Isn't, isn't that actually a thing where people pour, like, wax over one another? That, that, that's a thing, isn't it? I can't imagine. I don't think I'd really be into that. It sounds very messy to me, to be honest. Yeah, I can think. I can think of simpler things, you know. Simpler and more enjoyable, and, and less cleaning the fuck up afterwards as well. All right, let's see. What have I got equipped? Let's get my sword and board out. We haven't actually got a quest here, have we? So they, they seem to be very into their oily floors, these necromancers, don't they? Do, do you think it's just like a, a necromantic brothel where they're really into, like, baby oil and things like that? Oh, Jesus, cock and balls! Whew! Seems me eyebrows there, boys. Is, is is there anywhere is there anywhere Hello who's there <laughs> Hello who is there Sounds like they're wrong. <laughs> Oh god I just did it again Oh shit oh fuck <laughs> The very definition of insanity right well, well, Come on, I didn't even know there was no trip wire, there was no like button on the floor. I mean, it did it once. I thought, well, that's it, it's done it now, isn't it? It's blown its load. That was the money shot. You know, we can go back for seconds now, can't we? Shocking, mate. Shocking. Tell you what, this game. This game is brutal, man. This game is fucking hardcore. Tell you. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. <laughs> Absolutely shocking. I gotta pick the bleeding lock again now, haven't I? Okay, alright. Here we go. No prisoners, boys. Oh, yeah, we've got it. Beautiful. Beautiful. I want to see what it was that triggered it. Oh, did I miss that last time? Oh. Close. Close. The other way. Lovely jubbly! How many lockpicks? We're, we're doing alright on lockpicks, I think. No, I don't, I don't think I saw that last time. Yeah, what's even triggering that trap? Nothing there. There is like literally nothing there triggering that trap. Or was was it further down? No, there's nothing there, dudes. that rock is it
Oh, I think I can hear um, a what's it. Oh, it, is it? Oh, I know what it is. It's one of these soul gem things, guys. That's why it did it, and I didn't realise that's what's causing it. As soon as that thing detects you, it blasts you with fire, doesn't it? So actually, I can't be held accountable for that. So yeah, there you go, chat. Suck it, knobbers. I don't think there's like a lantern that I can hit to barbecue them, is there? Shocking, mate. No, it's not a pressure plate. It's it's the uh, soul gem. They're the soul gem traps. If you see a soul gem on a pedestal, it's uh, as soon as you get near it, it will trigger like uh, wh whatever the soul gem is. So you can get uh, you can get fire ones, frosty cut ones. Did I say before I did the lot? Oh, for fuck's sake! Did I not say? I swear I did. Yeah, we saw one quite early on in the game, didn't we? He was like a little frosty one. I knew, I knew, I knew it looked suspicious. But I, I, obviously I couldn't see it. I, I, I was looking for a jet, you see. You know, like one of the little uh, sort of gargoyle-esque flame jets with a pressure plate. But yeah, if you ever see a soul gem just sitting there, vertical and sort of hovering around, you... Uh... Jesus, what the hell, dude? Yeah, that, that fire is bad for me, man. F fire is easily my nemesis. Uh, the two-handers and things we're starting to come up with a strategy for. The problem with the fire mages is, one, I take H... Because I'm a Nord, obviously with inherent frost resistance, you, you kind of get lulled into this full sense of, like, mages aren't too bad. There's a lot of frost and stuff in the game, obviously. Uh, the flames not only do a massive amount of damage, but... I can't see them. I actually can't see the mage because I'm literally burning alive. So it's very hard to track in on them. Where was that other chest? Hard to track in on them and um, get the shield bashing. I, I thought I'd only needed one more shot with the bow, you see. So I thought I'll, I'll be. I'll, I've got a rough idea where her silhouette is. I'll. Release the arrow and probably take her out, but I, I just took so much damage from that single blast. Wow, these, these I swear, they get, they're getting harder, dude. These are like apprentice level locks, dude. My security skills going up and lock picking is getting harder. What was that? Your one friend left last night, tried getting in the car and fell. Oh my god. Well, he shouldn't have been trying to get in the car if he was that drunk, should he? Is he alright, dude? He, didn't, he wasn't going to drive pissed out of his head, was he? Of course, I mean, if you... <laughs> that sounds a bit scary, actually, mate. Was he just getting in... Was he getting in the taxi or something, was he? Thank you. 
suck it, Nova. Right, now, have I got anything that has got, like, that I can use to trigger? <sighs> i tell you what I have got, right? I've got the Haunting Bow of Embers, yeah? What about if I switch to the Haunting Bow of Embers? Which has got a little bit of charge in it. Try and attract her over here. And then just... Because I don't think there's oil here, is there? So if I, if I sh get, get her into that oil... Shoot the oil and, and disintegrate the knobber. Fuck. <laughs> Things I'm not sure if it works like that, you know? Be careful, I'm gonna be out of bloody charges, man. Didn't work, didn't work. Where are you? Master of the arcade. Not gonna get it. Oh, man. God damn, I was so close to getting the heal on. God damn, dude. Nightmare fuel. Um, do I have fire spells? I don't. No. But to be honest, I don't think that's going to work anyway. I think I just need to try. I might have to just try whittling them down. Hmm. Have a wonderful evening, uh, Missy. Uh, and all my love to uh, Snorks and family as well, mate. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure, Missy. An absolute pleasure. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Stay safe. They are the, the fire mages. Are the, I mean, they're level twelve as well, so they're kind of they, they are packing a reasonable punch. I'm just gonna see if it does do anything. Yeah, even even though it's uh. A bow of embers, it doesn't count as a... If I engage one, the other one's going to come out. And I just can't see any way of incinerating one. Someone there. They're just not stupid, are they? Damn it, dude. Um, oh, shit. Look at the damage she does, man. If it was just her, I'd have a chance. But I know there's another one on the left-hand side. so patient aren't they they're not like uh, vanilla where, where they're stupid it'd be funny if I could get dashed down there, there and lock are. her in oh, I was really hoping she might splash damage into the oil look she's so fast on that cast <laughs> That strategy is just not going to work, man. It is just not going to work. Let's see what we've got. Um, 
Have we got anything that is gonna... We've got any poison. We must have some poison, right? A bit of fright... A lingering poison. One damage uh, for 30. So that's 30 damage total. Blood freezing poison that does two damage to health and stamina for 10 seconds. Let's, let's open with that. Nice opening shot, dude. Nice opening shot. Oh no, I didn't. Poison's gonna get her. Oh shit. To heal, dude. Get the heal on, get the heal on. Oh, Jesus, that was rough, boys. That was rough, man. Casters are like just not to be trifled with. Uh, risky maneuver turning the back on him, but all things considered, we had no choice, did we? I, I, I've got, I've got muffle. I think I've got, yeah, the rest of sneaking's not a problem. Even in heavy armor, I'm able to stay out of sight long enough just to get... It's just because obviously the AI is like a bit different in this than the Miller says. So they don't just... They're not just stupid. They do actually, uh, you know, if they're ranged, they do stand, tend, tend to think about... Look at that with the poison. I think that's so cool. Because we because we got the poison attacks on her. Look, she's got all that like uh, blackened veins and things. It's such a nice little detail. Yeah, we can take them. We can. We can. Uh, obviously, I don't. I don't want to turn into a stealth archer. But um, I think there we had no. It was, it was range versus range, wasn't it? And then obviously we lured the second one out and did him in melee. So I'm quite. I'm quite happy with that as a as an outcome, really. It was. It was a good fight. So. Is there anything else down here? Obviously, I can I can hear a a whatever they call like one of the dragonstone shout discovery walls, whatever they're known as. Okay, did I loot the dude back up top? I don't think I did, did I? Juniper berries, juniper berries. Uh, can I not get that? Weird. Juniper, aversions of fire, potion of healing, some fire salts, a bit of canis root, some moon sugar. Let's just go and make sure I didn't actually loot that dude. Yeah, I've just saved. Yeah, I've just saved post fight. I think we deserve that one. Did I loot him? I did. <clears throat> Yeah, po poison's really good in this. In, in fact, it's actually one of my... It, ra rather than going like stealth archer, it's just a case of pew 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 with arrows hiding in the dark all day long. What One of the ideas for the character is to... Um, use alchemy almost exclusively for poison crafting. So we use the bow regularly as an opening shot, if that makes sense. And then we go in hand to hand. Um, so if we can start making some really quite virulent p poisons and things, and and then, and then we can still maintain the melee, you know. But yeah, we noticed with the dragon, the the first dragon that was an absolute nightmare to take down. Uh, if it hadn't been for some basic low level frostbite or whatever it was called, uh, uh, ven frost venom, whatever it's called, uh, I think we would have really struggled because the dragons have like a, a general sort of heal tick over time, so it was just enough to sort of offset that, you know. Mm. He's like a basically. I've tried to keep him sort of fairly, fairly static in the skill base. To be honest, uh, Limey. So sort of like as a kind of kind of a paladin, but unfortunately one who has uh, been inflicted with a curse of lycanthropy. So it's uh, kind of like a real sort of quandary there for him in many ways. <clears throat> so we we go and sort of sword and board. 
So if I take that, is that going to trigger something? It's got it, right? So we're going restoration magic, sword board, and, and shield bash. Uh, lycanthropy only when I I feel like it, like a paladin. You know, he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to face his dark side, the br brutality of his diseased lycanthropic body. But you know, weighing up the pros of of killing a necromancer for for the you know the sake of converting to a werewolf. I suppose he can almost justify it. But it worries him. It worries him that using that beast form will be his doom, you know? <clears throat> oh. Oh, it's a mass. Oh, I just suddenly realised it's a master lot. Damn, dude. I think this is probably my, my first ever time playing Skyrim. Where I've uh, I, I actually cared about how many lockpicks I've got left. Jesus. So I barely have to... Oh, Jesus. I barely have to touch it. And it's... Uh, you know, I can't. I can't even stop. You know, I can't even take the pressure off fast enough for it not to trigger. Ah, right, somewhere around there then. Uh, let's come in about there. Lovely jubbly. An iron sword of greater weakness to frost. Reduce enemy frost resistance by 40%. Holy shit. That would make for a really, really nice, like, uh, dual hand build, wouldn't it? So you could put that, say, on... Well, I mean, you could keep it on a sword and put it on a dagger, for example, couldn't you? So you could open with a bit of a fast slash with the uh, frost resistance reduction. Switch back, say, in the left hand to shield. And then use something like snorks, which is frost damage. For, for quite quite a elevated sort of DPS output, couldn't you? Staff of the healing hand heals the target, restoring six health per second. For how long? Nice loot. Very nice loot. I don't think there's anywhere else to go, is there? Down there. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the poison with the paladin style gameplay, I don't know. As you say, it's not... It's not. I, mean, I suppose I'm not trying to actually play a paladin. It's more a paladin-esque. Uh... I could argue some of the things we've done are very not paladin at all. So, uh, yeah, I think it's more about, I suppose, I don't know, you could even argue more cleric than paladin. That might be a better way of looking at it. Um, but I think when you think of clerics, for me, because it, because AD&D &D is so ingrained in me, um, I always think of a mace wielder instead of a sword wielder, you see. I did a game, uh, one where I decided my guy's dad was killed by a sneak flarcher, so he hates using bows, made the game a lot harder. Yeah, and, and you know, I mean, I could switch out. Originally, instead of using the bow for the ranged attacks, I was going to use uh, the electrical casts. But, um... I, I like the idea of the poisons. I do like that. I've never really played with poisons. I, and in, in a way, it, it the, the whole point in that was, was to try and incentivize me, or in, in, you know, to actually use alchemy. 
Because otherwise I probably just wouldn't, you know? We, we find that many potions and things anyway. So I actually, I would actually like to see just how dangerous an icky stick. I mean, you could even argue that actually the, the, the fact that he's, you know, a paladin who has been maybe corrupted slowly as he uses more and more of his lycanthropic beast transformations. That he's, he's being darkened. His soul is being, in a way, corrupted. And he is starting to use... He's starting to see any means will justify... You know that 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 end outcome, and and even a, a you know a paladin resorting to things like sneak attacks with poisons is almost unthinkable, isn't it? But maybe that is representative of this uh, this darkness inside him, that, and he knows he's on borrowed time. You know that at some point he will either maybe even if he can cure his lycanthropy, he he knows it's too late. He's 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 already stepped foot on that darker path. You know. Uh, is that a mod that's putting the pick back where it snapped, or is that the new edition? Uh, that is the mod. That's the mod. You're right, Limey. But I think what they've done is they've offset that by making the angle so much more reduced. Because uh, honestly, dude, I used to be able to, in vanilla, I used to go to a, like a master lock uh, and have like three lock picks and, uh, and nail it every fucking time, dude. I, uh, even on an adept lock, considering how high my security has gone, I, I, I make mistakes, dude. Honestly, it's like I, I barely even have to put the pressure on it. And it's got doing. <laughs> I kind of like it. It's actually really pretty cool. Uh, you're not joining any of the groups in Scrum. I'm kind of lost on where to go. Just do what I do, Ref. You, you're going to have a quest anyway, uh, whether it's companion quest or not, uh, even if it's just like from a barkeep. And all I do is I, I set, it's like what we've planned here. So. Although it is a companion quest, I think it's a companion quest. It, it might as well just be, it could just be, you know, go and kill a bandit. So I'd, I'd just be, you know, just from White Run traveling along this main road. As soon as I see a point of interest, I, I just go and hit it, dude. Um, and, and over time, you, you'll start, you know, picking up trails of other, you know, it'll take you somewhere else. And, you know, you might find a treasure map. The, the game just plays, you know, just, just let it wash over you, really. Good morning, large dog. How are you doing, bro? How's things? How are you doing, Captain Methane? You all right? What's your uh, plans for later today? Is anyone doing anything, like, really cool this evening? Oh, Jesus. Look, isn't that beautiful? Just fucking look at that. That really is freaking just spectacular, man. So much oil. Oh. Oh, Christ. Is that two casters? Oh, what I wouldn't do to lob something at you right now, mate. Honestly. What was that? Stop. I missed that. I just can't see them to get the shield bashing. I just can't, I just can't get close enough because the amount of damage they're doing. It's like this. I mean, it's quite cool in a way because it is literally like a wall of flame in you, isn't it? You know, you've got no chance. Jesus Christ. Are you right, Exos? How are you doing, bro? How's things? Play some video games with the buddies. Uh, anything in particular, boss? Yeah, I haven't, I haven't got any... Can we not actually... Let me just check. I mean, I, I feel like I, I shouldn't be allowed to use it even if I have it. I don't think... I don't... Because we have got sparks and we have got lightning bar. I don't know if that... I don't know if that actually does trigger oil. But it's not really the build, so... Uh, Bandit camp is your favourite things to do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I like my spelunking. I love my dungeoneering. Uh, what cool is there to do tonight? A bungee jump at the stroke of midnight setting a huge fire? Well, I don't know. You could be going to a concert, Zar. Uh, th th this is representative of you being a miserable fuck who doesn't like people. <laughs> you, you could be going to a concert, Zar. You could be going to the pub with your friends. But because you have decided to uh, embark on a journey of crippling pain instead of going to the hospital... 
You're going to sit at home and cry into a pillow. <laughs> hey, Zai, do you want me to send you some of my uh, pre-gabbling? Oh, dude. Should we have a pre-gabbling night in Zai? With some Ribena. <laughs> we just got on Discord. Off our fucking trolleys on pre-gabbling, mate. Honestly, it'll turn the pain off, bro. Honestly. Straight up legit. Hey, you got a COVID so I Oh, no. How are you feeling, uh, Captain? How are you feeling today? Planning on pub, pub, pubbing it, but obviously you can't now, yeah. You're right, possum. Uh, Age of Empires. Uh, is that the one? Is, is, I don't know if Rebs in chat. Is that the one that... Oh, no, that was Anno, wasn't it? That Pixie really likes. <laughs> Pre gambling right theater. What about some Mario Kart, bro? <laughs> the great Mario Kart championship of 2021. <laughs> Uh, everything's closed for lockdown there. Is it a total ban on fireworks this year? W why a ban on fireworks? How come you're not allowed to have fireworks? Talk to me about that one. Because surely... How the hell are we going to get in there, guys? Like, seriously, legit. How the hell am I going to get in that room and take out two firecasters? Um, even if I can back one out... There's just no... There's just no way to take it to, is there? I'll try it. I mean, we're, we're going to have to try it. Is someone there? Well, that, she's actually only level six, you know. Do your worst. So what, to him? Oh, shit. Oh, dude, I can't see! <laughs> I just can't see when I'm on fire! You know, sh shock. I shock on that. There's just no way, bro. There is just no freaking way, man. I've got one, but I ain't gonna be able to heal through the next one. Come on, heal, 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 and get the hell out of there, bro. I just can't see where I'm going. <laughs> It's a living hell fighting firecasters. I can't believe we survived that. Look, you can see, you see the scorch mark is all the way down the corridor. Look. Do we know what level? Oh, that's a level 14. Is someone there? That's going to be a problem, man. Is someone there? Oh, it's, it's constantly bleeding my stamina, holding the bloody arrow out. It is a weird one. I mean, I can understand if they'd said like, you can't go, you can't have public firework displays, you know, where everyone's invited to a, a a field with some cows in it. But but to not be able to set fireworks off like in your own back garden, just seems to be punishing people that are staying at home isolating. So to be honest, it just seems like oh what? So we're not even allowed to have fun. I think I'd tell them to fuck off. Quite frankly, if I got fireworks brought in, I'd just fucking set the fuckers off anyway. Fuck you, dude. What, what are they going to do about it? They, they can't prove it, is it? I mean, they're lit and they're gone. There, there couldn't be a better thing to set off and, and have no fucking evidence left behind, is it? Even if your neighbours report you, you just go, well, I don't know what you're fucking on about, mate. I ain't setting no fucking fireworks off. I've been sitting in all night fucking masturbating. You know what I mean? Don't know what you're on about, mate. <laughs> go for it, Joshua. Anarchy. Anarchy in the UK, mate. Uh, Battle for Middle Earth 2. Battle for Middle Earth 2. I must have played that. I must have done. Yeah, that sounds good. And we could throw mushrooms at one another, Zai, because you're not you're not very into mushrooms, are you? So we, we could just buy like a little punnet of mushrooms. And, and we could sit down and we could just, yeah. Like, mate, mm, 
Oh, wow, it's Princess Peaches. And you can do like your best Bowser impression. Holy shit, balls. Oh, it's like that game on Nobber McNobber Pants. Unbelievable. It's like I said, the, fu the fire isn't the issue. Well, it is. But it is, it's the fact I can't see. I, I got him with one. Thing is, I've only got a couple of poisons left. And I don't really want to... It's such a difficult range to hit him at. Didn't work. Shit. Waste of a shot, bro. Even that looked like a really nice clean shot, didn't it? But it wasn't. Got him. I got him, boys. He's down, he's down. Woo, dudes. Well played, well played, mate. I got no torches. They are very, 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 very tricky. Man. Dudes in cages, boys. Um, let me get this so we can uh, calm him down. Oh, hang on, I'm not going to. I'm not going to get attacked by some. Here fell here father son slay a mighty warlord of the Valley of Broken Dreams, also known as Dave the Dragon. If you were watching. Uh, Wheel of Time. Wow, what have they been doing to these poor folks, man? It's quite a dark game, Skyrim. Uh, battered and deep fried portobello mushrooms are the bomb. I agree. You will get arrested. I won't, because how's anyone going to prove I did it? That's my whole point. If I've just got a load of fireworks in my garden and I just use my... Let me get it out just because uh, this is going to be used. My little flame jet. Prove it. Prove I set fireworks off. Use a shout. I, I wasn't close enough, Solos. That was the problem, dude. Yeah, that, that was the issue. I just wasn't close enough to them. It does seem a bit silly telling people they can't have fireworks on their own private properties. Like I said, you, you know, with a band where you can't, I don't know, visit friends. So is that is that all across Europe then? Are you all being told that you can't? Because from what I can understand, you can even go to a pub or a club in the UK tonight, can't you? Is, isn't that what you were saying in chat earlier about how uh, folks from Scotland are invading England this evening so they can all come and pub it and club it with us? You bought them, there's a paper trail. No, there isn't. How are you going to prove that? Does it, it doesn't matter whether I bought them, does it? Just because I bought them doesn't mean that I set them off. I mean, even if I bought on a credit card, which I wouldn't, or a, or a payment card, I pay cash. So good luck proving that anyway. The only way to prove that would be from CCTV footage. And even if you did, I'd say, yeah, yeah, I did buy some fireworks. But yeah, I lost them. Yeah, I lost them on the way home, mate. Prove it. Still can't, but just because I bought fireworks doesn't mean that I set them off. The law does not work like that. Yeah, not over here, mate. I could go and buy. Uh, I could go and buy fireworks and radges. So we, we can't keep just throwing ifs, ands, and buts into the conversation. If I, if I was told I couldn't set a fireworks off tonight, and I bought some fireworks, I can assure you, I'd be setting the fuckers off. Because, like I said, it's not hurting anyone. There is no reason for the government to tell me I can't set fireworks off on New Year's Eve. If I'm if I'm literally living in a house all on my own and I set fireworks off, I'm not causing any issues. So they can go fuck themselves. 
<laughs> you have to prove rags. You don't know mad cats. If I walk into a fireworks shop like Raj's, I don't need to show ID. And even if I did, he would have no record of it. I'm clearly of age. <laughs> so that, that doesn't hold up either. You, you're talking bollocks there. They asked the neighbours, but how are they going to know? So that's what I'm saying. Even if the neighbours said, yeah, we saw him setting fireworks off, I'd be saying, yeah, fucking prove it, mate. Fucking prove it. Where's the video evidence? You, you wouldn't be able to see down at the bottom of my garden, Twitchy, even if you had a fucking camera, mate. I tell you what, I tell you what, Twitchy, if my neighbours or I had cameras that were able to see into my neighbours' gardens, I would probably have my fucking house burnt down. If I even thought that my neighbours had cameras that were able to see what I did in my garden, I would be around their house. Because you can't do that. You're not, it's, it's, it's illegal in England. You can't actually do that. So that, that, that myth busted as well. <laughs> You're literally all talking shit. <laughs> if you wanted to set fireworks off, in my neck of the woods, there ain't a fucking thing the Babylon or anyone could fucking do about it. Not a fucking problem. And to be honest, mate, I tell you what, the police, they wouldn't give a fuck, mate. Because the police would be like, yeah, what a fucking ridiculous fucking law. Thank God I don't live where you live, where they're fucking telling me I can't send fucking fireworks off. That's ridiculous. That's like basically saying, look, you can't go out. Look, we were trying to look after you all. We were trying to spread the, you know, stop the spread of COVID. And everyone's going, yeah, we get it. We can't go out to a pub. We can't go out to a club. That, that really sucks, man. But, you know, look, we're going to toe the line. You know, we're going to try and keep people safe. We're going to try and slow the spread. We're going to sit at home all on our own. We can't have friends or family around. But I tell you what, you tell me I can't set fireworks off in my garden. You're literally now in the realm of making shit up just for the fucking point of making shit up, isn't there? There's just no logical reason for that. I, in fact, I'll tell you what, if they make that rule, I'd go out and buy fireworks right now today and fucking put it on YouTube. Fuck them. <laughs> I'd fight the fight. I, I cannot agree with that. It's absolute fucking ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. The, the, that, that just makes no sense at all. That, that, that is the government just saying, not only that, like, we own you, which I understand, they're trying to keep everyone safe, but also they're trying to dictate to me exactly what I can do in my own fucking home. It's pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Yeah, but you, you, you're on a complete tangent now, Scripps. It's got nothing to do with fucking setting fire to places, is it? You know, this is the UK, mate. I, I could set off a small thermonuclear bomb at the end of my garden, right? It's that wet and mushy and soggy and fucking moss infested, yeah? It would burn for exactly three seconds. <laughs> it wouldn't fucking happen, would it? <laughs> like I said, that's a ridiculous rule. Just that, that's, that's just... I, 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 I could not live with that. I, I would not be happy saying you can't set fireworks off. For, for what reason has that got to be keeping COVID safety measures in place? That, that's just taking it too far, mate. That, that's the slippery fucking slope, innit? Jeez, don't be telling me I can't masturbate in my own home next, you know what I mean? Knowing you, like, apparently there's fucking cameras checking my bedroom out. <laughs> uh, you can spread the COVID when you touch the fireworks and set it off. Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, all right. I take it all back. I retract my comment. Yeah, sorry. I was going to set off a banger, right? <laughs> it was good. Obviously, I've touched it. And obviously, where I touched it, in no way, shape, or form, it's going to like be burst into fucking flame and gunpowder shrapnel, right? And obviously, what could happen is it could fly into the sky burning, right? Because I think that's what fireworks do, right? And then it could land in someone else's garden, yeah? And then they would go, oh, what's this? So look, it's a firework. I, 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 you have to go and touch fireworks, don't you? Because they're not dangerous at all. And, and then they're going to like finger their own bottom after touching the firework and somehow contract COVID from me. Yeah, that, that, that's brilliant. That is. That, I'll tell you what, chat are on fucking fire today. I'll tell you. <laughs> is that how bad it is, Twitch? Is that how fucking stupid they are? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. You see, this, you see this, is, this is why you have to take this all into context, you know? Uh, you know, th there may be reasons in some countries why they don't want you to set fireworks off on New Year's. You know, it could be tinder dry forests around. But that wasn't the point, you, you know? You, you're off on a fucking wild tangent here, aren't you? 
Yeah, that's yeah. Sorry. Oh, oh God Almighty, that's oh Doc. Oh shit. Again, I have to take all this back. Yeah, I forgot when I bought the fireworks from Radges, which I had to sign in triplicate duality fucking documentation paperwork, hand over my passport, and and tell him exactly where I live, and then it was filmed by a drone coming back to my own home. When I did that, I did forget that he did say that banger number three actually had a container of smallpox in it. I did forget that, mate. Yeah, I do apologise. I take it all back, mate. Yeah. Gosh darn it. Who the fucking... Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean to cause so much contention in chat, you know? <laughs> The one time we can't light a fireworks, our fear is it's super dry outside of the fire. Yeah, well, there you go. I mean, that's fair, isn't it, boss? I mean, if, it, if, it's, if it's like tinder dry, then you, you don't need the government to tell you not to send fireworks, do you? You, you don't need them to tell you that because I, I'll tell you something revolutionary. You're not a fucking idiot, are you? So you don't need the government telling you, by the way, it's really dry out here. Please stop sending fireworks into the fucking sky. Ooh, Conjuration 19. Very nice. Now, there's got to be... Oh, there is. I can see it now. I was going to say, there's got, there's got to be... Uh, hang on, let me, let me just go and check. I, I think I think there might have been an anthrax lady one, like I say, as well, Doc. I just think, oh, no, that was the sparklers. Oh, yeah, anthrax sparklers. <laughs> my, <laughs> my smallpox bangers and my anthrax sparklers. Jesus. No, I, I do appreciate that, Gray. Yeah, I swear. No, no, that's what I was saying to Boss. He isn't a fucking idiot. But yeah. Unbelievable. We draw the line of freedom at firing silly fireworks. Don't trot on me. It's, it is a silly rule, isn't it? I mean, what the hell? I mean, what on earth, mate? I reckon everyone in Grumbodia, right? No matter where you fucking live, as long as it's not a dangerous tinder, you know, dry area of the world. I reckon tonight we all set off fireworks, all right? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go out. <laughs> Let's go out with a fucking bang, all right? <laughs> Fuck you fucking rules. Anarchy starts here. <laughs> COVID Catherine wheels. <laughs> I like the idea of that. <laughs> COVID Catherine wheel. Oh, fuck's sake. It is fucking mad, isn't it? I mean, where does it fucking end? Jesus Christ. The people in power are fucking mad, aren't they? Fucking crazy fucking Looney Tune knobheads. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, honestly, I'm going down Rages later. I swear to God, if he's got any fucking fireworks left, I am fucking setting one off later. The thing is, we're allowed to over it. <laughs> They'll be going off all night. The dogs will be like barking for hours. Ugh. <sighs> You've got a giant fireworks store about five miles from your house. People come from different states to shop there. They're expensive. Some of the fireworks I've seen in America uh, on YouTube, dude. Oh, man. Uh, I mean, it's, it's no wonder. It's like someone said, that, you know, that you have to sort of like at least provide some identification. Some of those things that you guys get over there are fucking crazy, dude. Um, look, I'm a bit of a pyromania, and I'm telling you right here, straight up, honest to God, legit, right? I wouldn't touch some of that shit with a barge pole, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Some of those things are like, I mean, Jesus Christ, they must weigh about four kilos full of gunpowder, mate. You know what I mean? Oh, are we going anywhere near the damn thing? Shocking, bro. Has anyone ever seen the, um, my, my dad bought me uh, as these, uh, once. It was, uh, has anyone ever had indoor fireworks? <laughs> I remember, I remember seeing this box, right? Indoor fireworks. I was like, you're having a laugh, right? <laughs> indoor, what do you mean fucking indoor fireworks? Oh, it was so pathetic. It was, it was like these little like, volcano things that just like splooged out these like, like little wiggly worms of like green gunk and things. I mean, it was, it was quite funny. I mean, it, it, was, it was a good giggle, but it was, definitely wasn't what you thought it was going to be. I was like, holy shit, indoor fireworks. That's going to be crazy, man. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, the people in matter, uh, uh, people in power are mad. Yeah. Uh, you heard it. Is if a place burns down, go to right school. Yeah, yeah. Blame it on me. I don't give a fuck. Prove it. <laughs> I'll delete the vod. 
<laughs> I have an awesome lake view from my living room. So when they do fire which shows, I go, oh, that's really nice, isn't it, boss? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I tell you, what, what's fantastic about, I mean, it's not in all regions of the UK, but uh, we have very big uh, Diwali, Festival of Lights celebrations in the UK, and that really is amazing. Um, some cities really embrace that. It's it, that that is amazing. Some of the fireworks shows that I've seen around the country, really impressive, man. Uh, just play music and the vod will get erased because of DMC. I'll sing some Spice Girls for you. Which fancies are it's Spice Girls? Alexa, play Spice Girls. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I love being a streamer. I love it, love it, love it. How do I open this one? Okay, Google. Play Spice Girls. <laughs> You're all fucks watching this show. <laughs> Did I get you, boss? <laughs> it's all for chat now. Screaming out, fuck's sake, bro. I'm ready, fucking knob. That's in your playlist forever. Whoa. That would have been embarrassing on the way out, wouldn't it? What was that? A best I saw in Disney World got a bit intense. 360. Oh, over the, um. Like the, uh. What's what do they call it? Like like the princess castle thing. Yeah, fucking amazing, dude. What do they call that? What do they actually call that? What what, what is that 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 thing? The princess castle, as I call it. And they actually do fire. Uh, <laughs> see you later, Simpson. They do fireworks championship in Plymouth, and we can see it from the hill near us. That's not bad, but the shitty couple of bangers, Mister Twat next door, does are pointless. Yeah. They, uh, the the Diwali Festival of Light, man, they they really go all out with that, dude. I've seen some amazing shows, like really really cool. Is that what it is? Cinderella's? Is it Cinderella's castle? Is it? Have a nice, uh, have a nice uh, nap, Simpson. Got to get your strength up for the uh, party celebrations later. Normally, uh, there's normally a back way out, isn't there? I wonder, I wonder if I missed anything. <laughs> I like that wizard. Yeah, it's very true, actually, isn't it? Yeah, they just look at you like you're mad. Wow, that's beautiful, man. We're out. We're, it's looking so beautiful. But we still haven't found the orc camp. Which is what? Yeah, let me just, let me just check that. It actually says cleared. It does. I wonder if it was up there. I wonder if that's the orc camp there. Could be, couldn't it? it? Looks like it's on the top of like a little. So if I kind of hang a right down down here, which would be right because there's the hunters camp, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. Hang on, we might be on track here. We could see the walls, couldn't we? The oh, is is that is that it? No, yes, maybe. We could see the, the like the palisade walls of the orc camp, but now I can't. That's gonna drive me mad. I need my revenge on that two-handed orc that kicked my ass. It wouldn't have been this far. Oh, it is. It is. We found it. This is it. This is it. Brilliant. Right, that's, that's, this is what we were actually looking for. Uh, I'll see what I'll do. I'll treat us to a little proper save. Uh, <laughs> a bit awkward. There 
he is. There's the asshole. Oh, shit. He's already here. Oh, that's not him. That's not him. Oh, what a killing blow. How are we doing on weight? 301. Should be alright. Let me uh, zoom out a little bit. Like someone with a warhammer is just. That looks like a big camp, doesn't it? Jesus. You're right, Shades. How are you, mate? What's going on this evening, Shades? Are you uh, are you up to anything? Quiet timing. Bit of a takeaway. I was uh, just saying early shows. I, I, I don't know if you've seen it. The uh, the wheel of time, or was it wheels of time? Just the wheel of time, I think. Actually, quite impressive so far, shows. I need, I need sort of like two episodes in, and I do need to watch the second episode in a bit more detail. But yeah, it's been, been really impressed with it, mate. I think you might quite enjoy it if you're into that kind of. Uh, fantasy setting with a little bit of magic a little bit of uh well i can't remember what they were called the trollogs i think they are time to end this little game always oh, seem but that looks like the way up so maybe he hasn't actually seen Yes, it's going a long way around it, isn't it? Oh, what was that? Uh, sorry, Ribbit. You're slowly working on transferring all your character's things to her Hearth Fire DLC homestead. Is that the one that you sort of build yourself, is it? You have to go and get, like, the ore and the wood from the lumber yards and things. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite looking forward to having a dabble with that. Because I think we can get things like the enchanting tables or what have you with that kind of... Oh shit! This dude means business, man. Oops. So there's a little mine or something here, perhaps? Iron sword, yes, please. Uh, weight 24. That's probably pushing it a little bit, isn't it? Yeah, I think I have seen that one. I seem to remember having to go, like, to Riverwood and places like that. My oh, and here we go. Stone is actually something you need for that, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, stone quarries, the, the lumber... You go and buy it, can't you, from uh, like Riverwood and places like that. Quite well done, isn't it? You've got the lamb culotte to make in the oven. That sounds very nice. Wonder how, I wonder if Cyber's got all... He's, he's having lamb and all sorts of lovely uh, delicacies this evening, isn't he? All his roast tatties with his uh, drip-down lamb fat and things. It sounded gorgeous. Orkish helmet. It actually looks quite uh, quite stylish. You're right, to lawyer. How are you, mate? How's things? Uh, yes, and to you as well. And to you as well, my friend. Healthy family, definitely, man. Let's uh, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, bro. How are you all feeling, to lawyer? Because you've had a pretty bad uh, run up and into the Christmas period, haven't you? Is everyone fighting fit, or are you still? Uh, Suffering the repercussions. 
Yeah, we'll be we'll be around, mate. Orichal that's actually quite a lot of Orichalcum. I have no idea what Orichalcum is used for, but no doubt it's pretty good stuff, so. Shall I um I tell you what, let me let me just grab my Oh no. I wonder if Donkey can make it up here. Because I'll I'll get the pickaxe off him. You actually are feeling bad, lawyer. Good, pleased to hear it, man. We're getting your energy back as well. And you're all fighting fit. Nice to lawyer. Congrats, dude. Yeah, because that was that was dragging on a bit, wasn't it, bro? Yep, definitely wizard. Yeah, I want to do a bit of alchemy. I want to do the blacksmithing. I want to do enchanting. I actually would like to do quite a lot. Um, just to get a flavour for it. It really Happy works, to be honest. Miss Groot! How are you? Oh, Heretic as well. Uh, let's get a shout out to Glitch. Thank you very much for the follow, my friend. Thank you. Just Elephants, thank you for the follow. Heretic, thank you for the prime. Absolutely amazing, mate. Thank you very, very much, Heretic. Thank you for taking the time out to use your prime with us this month. Thank you kindly. And Miss Group, thank you for the 45 and the prime and wishing you a wonderfully happy new year as well, Miss Group. Are you doing anything tonight, Miss Group? Quiet one in. Take away in a film or anything exciting? That sounds exciting to me, actually. That, that actually sounds like the perfect uh, perfect new year, to be honest. Put my bloody feet up. Right, horse weight there. And can I have... I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put it all, put it all away. Uh, Imperial sword, arrows. Oh, I already had the pickaxe. No, that can't be right. Oh, what did I just do? Oh, God, what did I just do? Uh, Dwarven dagger. Elven arrows, elven dagger, imperial sword, all of those. Iron dagger, daylight, not interested. Weakness to shock is brilliant. We'll have a play with that. Uh, poison. Oh, when you up to level 10, I was going to say that'd be a great one against uh, casters, wouldn't it? Weakness to frost. We're getting a lot of weakness to frost, aren't we? Staves coming out of our butthole. Steel dagger. That's going to make a big difference in weight. Robes, necklace. Novice robes. Silver garnet. All that for my alchemy. Don't need that. Perfect. Looking good. We are getting quite low on torches though. Oh, and I don't think I got the pickaxe, did I? I take it I don't really need stone, do I? And so, oh, shall I get some now anyway? Might as well get it now. Have I seen Arcane yet, Grum? Uh, the show is the shit. <laughs> so damn good. Even if you know nothing of League of Legends. I, oh, no, I don't. And I don't know much about League of Legends either. I mean, I've seen some League of Legends, but I certainly wouldn't, you know... I've got an idea of what the game is, but I know nothing about the characters and things. Is that on uh, Netflix or...? Is this the furthest you've gotten into Skyrim? No, no, I think we did once on the... on the Was it the Sophia known as Hurdy Gurdy run? Or possibly with the Garm run, I can't remember which one. Uh, I don't think we did quite as much of the filler quests, if, if I remember. But am I still getting stone? Do I just, can I just get stone all day long, can I? Is that, is that still doing something? No, oh, it is. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No. We, we've definitely got. We've definitely got further. Uh. But at the same time, I think each time I, I, I see different things. If that makes sense. We might as well take all of that and sell it. Watch some horror films. What, uh, what you got? I, I, I'm going to give, if I can, without, without having to jump through too many hoops, I'd like to give this new Matrix one a bash. Um, Miss Group. But I, I, I know it's not... I know people are saying it's not a very good film, but I'd like to see it. I, you know, it's... I've always been a big fan of uh, the Matrix films, or at least I, I've certainly enjoyed them in the past. So It'd be nice to see what it is. Be able to have a commentary on that. Right, here we go. Boil Gulch Mine. Let's throw in... I think it, we'll get in the habit of just like a... A hard save just before the entrance of each interior. Yep, 
Yeah, I, I, I've, there's been quite a few people in chat, Saloya, who have seen it. And the general consensus has been almost unanimous, I, I would say. That it is not, not, not a great experience, but... There have also been people that says, you know, you know, go, go in with an open mind and, you know, it might not be revolutionary, but you might also still enjoy it. So, I, I guess it depends on how much hype you've got. Looks like this is a, this is an orc mine specifically for Ori Calc, isn't it? This place is, uh, it's like I can see this stuff. Did you survive, Ribbit? Yeah, that's it. It's a lawyer, isn't it? I guess it is. It's, uh... It's like... I, I was a really big fan of Breaking Bad. Like, like, a really big fan. I really enjoyed the show. Uh, the pace with which I watched it. I'm a big fan of... I can never remember the guy's name, to be honest. Uh, the, the, the lead actor from things like... Was it Malcolm in the Middle and what have you? I just loved him and I loved Jesse's character and all the rest of it. But they were... What was that? What was that film they did? And I, I really... I just... It just To me, that felt like... I, to be honest, I could have quite happily not watched it. It, it. it didn't really add much to me. But I'm, I'm glad I did watch it, you, you know? Oh, that's a level. Oh shit, level twenty-eight. Oh Christ! I'm not going to get my. Oh jeez! Wow! Level twenty-eight two-hander. He's going to be a problem, boys. Brian Cranston. That's it. You know that I always think of um, a pickle. Uh, what was that stuff we get in the UK? Branston pickle. I always get confused. Whenever I think of him, I think of Branston Pickle. And then I can never think of Brian Cranston. Right, we need to be a bit bit better prepped than that, don't we? We're gonna go. We're gonna we're gonna supercharge the super snorks. What was he thinking? We're gonna get a bit of cheeky uh oak flesh. Where are you, knobber? Come out of me, bro. Come out of me, bro. Beautiful. Beautiful. Lovely jubbly. Very nice. 20 sun damage to the undead. Uh, we don't want to go too crazy with taking heavy stuff. That looked like really... I mean, look at that armor. He looks badass, man. That helmet's really nice. Yeah. That, I, I, you know what, man? I say that seems to... Pr it's not like most people have said they hated it. There's been a couple that, that really felt like they were robbed. But yeah, it seems like, eh, whatever. That's a bit like how I felt about whatever that, that freaking thing with Breaking Bad was. Seems like, yeah, whatever. Didn't add anything to the overall story for me. Glad I watched it, you know. It, it was all right. But I, I certainly would never watch it again. Whereas I, I've, I've actually sort of half watched Breaking Bad. Uh, about six months ago, I started watching it again. Fantastic. Reliving some of those crazy moments, man. The bathtub. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, Lyman, yeah. I always think, uh, straight away, I, I think of him, and, and it's Branston Pickle, and that's it. I, I couldn't for the life of me think of the name Brian Cranston from there. <laughs> uh, I can still taste Branston Pickle from when I tried it a year ago. That stuff is potent. They, see, the thing is, Branston Pickle do the normal, as I would call it, Branston Pickle, but they also do a fine, a finely chopped Branston Pickle, which um, I seem to remember for me was very nice 
Um, you, you didn't, you, like you said, you didn't use a lot of it, but like um, with cheese. So if you, you know, if you've got a nice bit of tiger bread and a nice bit of uh, like like strong mature cheddar and a little bit of Branston pickle, fine spread. That that that's. I'm sure. I, I'm sure Hashi mentioned it. I think it was Hashi. So, so someone did. Circlet of Minor Illusion. Nice. Warhammer of Weakness to Poison. Very nice. We're starting to get some much better loot now, aren't we? And look at that. 429 septims. Jesus, man. Yeah, grilled cheese. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a sort of like on a... Never thought of that. that I reckon that would be gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. I, I tend to put Worcester sauce on my uh, grilled cheese. Well, I used to. <clears throat> used to love that. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a tickle. You managed to, you managed to survive it though, with it, yeah? That's all that counts, mate. Now, that is a nice Ori Calcum mine. Jesus, I wonder what that was then. Uh, let's get some light in here. What do you think? Okay. Let's get digging. I do. I need. I actually need some coffee this morning. I, I think I'm out. So, are you looking forward to tonight? Uh, Anything going on in New World, Shades? Sometimes these MMOs have some nice special events on, don't they? On, like, New Year's Eve. Uh, what, what, you mean when I actually spend my perk points and things, uh, Wizard? When I start to feel like we've hit a bit of a bottleneck. Um, at the minute, I'm saving some perk points because I would quite... Mainly because I haven't hit the threshold in my primary perk trees for the next allocated perk. So, you know, I need to get, like, my uh, one-handed up to, like, 50, my block up to 60 or whatever it is in order to actually unlock the next point that I want to invest in. But I'm also keeping a few in, deserve, uh, in reserve for when I go into either alchemy. I'll probably only go deeply into... I'm going to do a lot of alchemy, blacksmithing, and enchanting. But I might only invest parks in one of them. Um... So, yeah, it, it's... Uh... I feel like I'm doing all right at the minute. It, 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 the problem I've got is it's really hard to know where to invest my health, magic, and, and stamina points. Stamina is my bread and butter, but but the build has come on leaps and bounds recently uh, with the werewolf bonuses to passive stamina regeneration and health regeneration. So stamina is nowhere near the problem it was earlier. Uh, magic feels about right. Um, it's not a huge issue. So uh, it might be time to start investing in a little bit of health just for some added survivability, but... That mage light's really handy for mining. Quite cool, that. I'm reasonably convinced there's nothing else in here. Don't you? You think that's probably, uh... I think we've pretty much cleared it. I really... Oh, that's cool, Limey. Oh, that could be worth checking out, Shades. There's a Wheel of Time New World cross-promotion thing going on. If you're into both, you can get some skins for watching. Oh, I wonder if you can get the white robe armor. That, that would be cool. That would be super cool. Got a werewolf mod. Yeah, this uses... I can't remember what this uses now, dude. Uh, oh, you've got, you've got me wondering. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, dude. But yeah, but it, it has got a werewolf uh, overhaul. But I'm, I'm bugged if I can remember the name. 
This is uh, the Phoenix flavor uh, heretic, so. You're right, Slim. Happy New Year, Bubble Tat. Are you already in it? Are you actually in 2022, you amazing time traveler, you? Happy New Year, Bubble. Happy New Year, mate. Have you had a nice one, bro? <laughs> You've not heard of anything special happening in New World. Not sure if I would get on there today at all. I'm so far behind myself today. I do have. Oh, you've had a couple of uh, later days, haven't you, Shane? So you're just sort of like catching up with it all, are you, mate? Oh, it is the White Cloaks. No way. And also uh, Tam Sword. Oh, I don't. Oh, it's, it's, it's Tam the Warder, dude. Oh, wow. The, I bet. I wonder if the White Cloak. Because I was actually saying how. I, I, literally earlier. I don't know if you were in chat line. I was saying that the White Cloaks design is just gorgeous. I just love it. it. It reminds me of like a crossover of like all, all the fantasy things that I love, but also a little cheeky splash of like Assassin's Creed almost. Love it. Tammy's Rand's dad. Oh, I don't know the name, so I don't know who Rand is, to be honest. So obviously, I do, but... Is, is Rand the, the dude that I can't... He's is, is basically, to me, Anakin Skywalker. I'm not sure who that is. Happy New Year, Bubble Tat. Uh, and is that everyone in the land of Oz, then? Have you dinged? Did you ding, like, what, 10 minutes ago or something? Oh really? So that oh so that's not what they look like in the books, is it? Intra I love the uh, I love that idea of the I love that in all my uh, fantasy fiction. Uh, impractical or genius? Who cares? The the idea of that one side. Uh, what was that game I was playing recently? Destiny. Do, do you know um, what's the commander's name in Destiny on the top of the tower that overlooks like the the you know like the, the remains of the last city. Uh, Anyway, whatever his name is. But he's got that, that one single huge, like, shoulder guard. And I love that. I really love that design. You know you know where um, everything's kind of light or, or leather-based, but you end up, like, with one arm and shoulder. Very glad. It always reminds me of, like, those gladiatorial kind of designs. So, uh, you know, leather-studded armor, just because you you, your bum looks sexy in it. A bit like Geralt. Um, but then you have, like, that... that like, your... I don't know, like whether it be your sword arm or your shield arm, which is kind of encased in um, sort of like that lobster overlapping metal plate. I love that. I think it's brilliant. Zavala, was that it? Zavala. That's, that's Rand. <laughs> Rand is the Norse Anakin Skywalker. Brilliant. <laughs> I'll remember that, I think. <laughs> yeah. Why does the knocker look like a ball? I always thought it looked like a really lovely pair of... I always thought it was like a, a lady's bottom, myself. I, I, I think the temptation was to think it was a pair of boobs. But I always think of it as like a, a, a lady, as if I'm looking over the top. Imagine she's bent over and I'm sort of... <laughs> I'm sure you get the point. <laughs> Whereas you saw a penis. So that, that says a lot about you, doesn't it? You, you see my point? Yeah. So where we all saw a, a lovely lady's bottom, you saw a giant pair of airy balls, mate. Mate, each to their own is what I say. Each to their own, you know? Embrace it. Don't shy away from it, dude. You've got to be happy in life. <laughs> uh, it does do a number on your 1070. Uh, what, this or what was that? Sorry, Rev. Uh, the, oh, yeah, yeah, this, sorry. <laughs> About the only thing I've noticed is in New World is the towns, the music changed, the old land. Oh my god! New World has got old. Uh, that is where I would have quit. I, I, I don't think I've ever had more validation for quitting a computer game than New World adding Old Lang Syne as the background music to all the towns. I would have literally quit today. That's brilliant. Thank you for sharing that, Grant. That, that literally so firmly concretes and validates my final decision like nothing else. I hate that song. <laughs> so, so, all right, we need, we, need, we need a vote in chat. How many people can see a big pair of dangly airy balls? How many people can see a pair of boobs? And how many, how many people can see a bum? <laughs> I, I'm apparently a bit of a bum boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, chitting plate does look awesome. Like it, it does. Is that what they call it? Is it? It's like a chitting, a kiting plate. Yeah. 
So we got Lyman with the balls. We've got Miss Nordic who loves to see a, a nice pair of smooth balls. We've got A Drac likes a pair of danglers. Wizards with me is a bit of a bum boy. <laughs> <laughs> How many people have matured off to go? Oh, God. Here's the party, man. Oh, well padded, well known for uh, being the spirit of joviality around New Year's, you see? Oh, dude. I bet, I bet you're invited to all the hangouts with all the cool kids, didn't you, mate, eh? You saw a bit of a sack. <laughs> That's what I saw, Jim. That's what I saw, mate, yeah. Right, let's... Uh... Unfortunately, it's not an interactive knocker, I'm afraid, but... Literally said the dude whose name in chat is well padded. Yeah, I mean, let, let's be honest, right? Someone's got an agenda here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh god, this is why we can't have nice things. This is a. It's only apprentice level lock as well. Lovely jabbly. We shall take a potion of stamina. Oh, yes, we shall. Uh, I think that's everything done then. Should we just check on that and see if it says it's cleared? It is. All right, let's crack on then. So we are still heading down to kill... Who is it we're trying to kill? Oh, no, we're trying to get a witch's head, aren't we? Uh, we need the horse back down, don't we? You're a bit of an ass man, are you, Moog? Oh, it's all right, so I'm not totally bothered. <laughs> Take whatever you can get these days, mate. <laughs> no, no, there's a time for being a beggar and a chooser and all that. Oh, is that what you see? A two-finger handle for turning the chest with? I think, I think that is, yeah, because you wouldn't carry a chest like that. It'd be too heavy, wouldn't it, dude? Yeah, no, no, no. Because it's, it's got handles, like le leather handles all around it. Look. Oh, I can't do it because I've already picked the lock, dude. Right. Where is Donkey? Donkey seems to be stuck somewhere. Oh, Donkey! Oh, Donkey! Where have you gone? Right, let's, let's get back down to the main road. There's the orc we slew. You see a bottle with a turned over heart button. I bet you really had to look for that though, right? That wasn't the first thing you thought of, was it? You, you just didn't want to say bum in chat, did you? He just had to really go full abstract on us there, Shades. Chinese tonight, Limey. Treat yourself to a nice, big, bountiful Chinese with all the trimmings, the prawn crackers, the fortune cookies. Go for it, bro. I don't know what to have tonight, Sparrow. Thing is, by by the time I'm sitting down to eat something, I probably won't feel like it, and especially if I oh, if I do end up going on a shift later we'll see i suppose in a way it's just another day but it's always nice to celebrate new year and to do something a little bit fun it is after all i suppose this year is quite nice though isn't it because we've actually got a few days off because what, what is it today it's friday today isn't it so we've got saturday sunday and monday in the uk which is which is nice that, that's a nice little extra break for everyone isn't it Especially with all the madness of the world at the moment. Uh, it seems to be suggesting following the path, but I'm not sure. Is, is that the path there? You're going for a barbecue? What, what, out in your own garden, Wookie? That sounds bloody brilliant, mate. Set some fireworks off for me if you uh, can, Wookie. And, and send the pictures to DTM. He's been banned. He's not allowed to set fireworks off. What are you getting on it, um, Wookie? That sounds really cool, actually. That's, that sounds like a really nice idea for a New Year's. And, and who cares what the weather's like, right? So it looks like I need to head back down and hang a right by the looks of it. Ah, right, I've got you, I've got you. There we go. 
You had a four uh, four day weekend last weekend. Uh, sorry, four four day weekend last week. So it's nice when it. Uh, I've got to admit, this year has been quite nice for folks, hasn't it? It's been a bit, bit of nice sort of pattern to days on days off. We need to be a bit careful here because these are going to be witches, which presumably means obviously casters. We just got to hope they're not hag ravens. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's all it's about, really, isn't it, Harry? Especially with the madness of everything happening around us all at the moment. It's quite a turbulent time, no matter what you're up to, isn't it? I think this is it. You've got all of next week off, Wookie. Nice, dude. Are you, how's, uh, how's Mrs. Wookie? Hey, my, my girlfriend, you know, you know I was... Um, I think it was yesterday I was speaking to you, wasn't I, about your girlfriend's asthma and everything. Uh, well, your, your wife's asthma. Um, I just mentioned it to uh, the girlfriend again. She's been really struggling again, like really bad yesterday, mate. She's really been struggling to actually just generally, even if she breathe or tries to breathe like really deep, it's been really painful for her. So she's uh, she's having a really bad time with it, mate. I mentioned the uh, the powder, the powder uh, inhalers, and yeah, she's she's a mega non fan. <laughs> Barbecue for New Year sounds absolutely brilliant. Certainly could be uh, a witch's lair of some sort, couldn't it? And that's it, Glenmoral Coven. I think that says it all, really, doesn't it? How many miles square is Skyrim? Very good question. No idea, bro. And I think the thing is, it, it, it's the amount of stuff that's like underground, like this, you know, like the instance content, Jim. That, that no matter what it is in square miles, it, it's the density, isn't it? That I've always found in these games. Oh my god, it's Hag Ravens, dudes. That's not good. Uh, she borrowed an e-bike today uh, until. Oh no, she crashed. Oh no, is she okay, dude. Damn. So basically, not 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 the best start to her. <laughs> <laughs> E-bike endeavors, okay. Shit, dude, that's awful, mate. Hopefully not at too high a speed. Those things are amazing. They really are. Oh god, that's uh that's a ton of messages just suddenly ding through on my phone. Now, I am almost Oh, there's a spooder down there as well. I am almost 100 percent confident we will die on this first engagement, but I just want to see what level that hag is. Because I assume it's not just one of them. <sighs> oh, you bloody bastard. A level 20. Now, is it a witch? Is it, is it just a witch that looks like a hack? Or is it a hack? That looks a lot like she's going to cast fire at me. I'm not going to lie. She's uh, she's okay. She's good. Uh, just battered and bruised. Uh, it's it's not put her off using them, has it, mate? I don't know if she's been out on them before. Just was it just a bit of bad luck, was it, mate? Or a bit a bit of a uh, slippery, slippery. Oh, oh my gosh, look at that. Oh wow. Yeah. Well, 
That's what we came for. But are there any other witches down here? Did, did I save? Let me let me throw a quick save in. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a big map, Jim. I mean, if you walk around it, it, it's a pretty big map, but not as big as you might think. Uh, the thing is, we Skyrim, you get interrupted a lot moving around. There's a lot going on behind the scenes. It's like I've always said, you know, that these games that as part of their fluff pre-launches, you know, our game is, you know, 256 square miles. It's, you know, the biggest ever uh, landscape and geography to discover wonderful things in, in the history of video games. But there's nothing there. You know, the actual density of content in some cases is almost non-existent. I mean, look at Survive the Nights when that first came out. And then to some degree, still to this day. You know, it's a big map, but there's literally nothing on it, really. Uh, you know, it's come some distance since we last played it. I'll be the first to admit. But Skyrim... I was saying to Rev earlier, because, Sky, you know, he's not doing any of the main... Uh, I, I guess... Oh, sugar companion. Oh, no! Is he dead? Oh, no. Please tell me I did not get... They, they, those bloody skeevers, the, the, the biggest problem with them is they give you all sorts of hideous diseases and things. Let me just put that away. So if I put that away. There we go. Yes, yeah, Skyrim. I was so, sorry, the Red was saying because he's not doing, like, say, the companion quest or something. So, it, it can sometimes feel like you've been dropped in this huge sandbox without a huge amount of direction at times. But um, I kind of, that's that's the beauty of it for me, is you just walk in a direction in Skyrim and you will find really obvious points of interest. You know, you, you don't have to look far to see a, you know, a set of stones or a strange looking barrows or whatever it is. phenomenal amount of content. It's why I'd really like to play Fallout 4. I um, I, I think I'd have a lot of fun with that one, but I, I cannot get that game running in a manner that I deem to be appropriate for a game in 2021. I, I, I've managed to get it looking pretty. I can get it looking good, but it, it just that, that engine in that game is struggling. Like I've never seen anything struggle before. So uh, it's very muddy and slippery out there. Uh, just a normal state of mountain biking in the UK winter. She did enjoy it though. Helped her a lot on the climbs. Nice. Nice. You're right, Heretic. You like to turn off dragons and ignore the main quest line. Totally new experience. The dragons are... I have to hide from the dragons, Heretic. If I can avoid confrontation with dragons, I do at the minute. And I kind of like that. It, it, it makes me feel like, um, although, yes, we've been chosen as a Dragonborn, we've got a long, long way to go, you know? A long way to go. I want to... I, I, the whole point in taking those dragons now will be to start getting the enchanting up. I want to start, start seeing if I can get some armor and uh, maybe even alchemical bonuses so, so I can actually get you you know fire resistant armor set or a frost resistant armor set things like that I'm just uh see what if I got any it would be nice to drop a Blah, 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 blah. Heart. <laughs> oh, no! Gutted, boys. Absolutely gutted. Your blood is our companion. <laughs> Jesus. I really messed up there, man. Really messed up there. 
But all good, all good. Just thought I'd, I'd got loads of stamina, no one else was coming. I thought we'd just keep a pretty much damage with the shield bashes. We do five times damage with a shield bash now, don't we? Uh, Richard, thank you. I like, I like the way the fact that her head actually does get removed when I chop it off and take it. That's, that's kind of a nice little detail, isn't it? Richard, thank you very, very much for the seven. And thank you for the tier three, bro. How are you, mate? Are you, uh... Your, your friends and family tonight, aren't you, mate? Or in fact, hang on. Happy New Year to you. you you've already you've already hit 2022, haven't you, bro? Your mapping Fallout 4 starts to have a lot of markers on it quickly. I'd love to play it. Honestly, dude. It, it, I, I know a little bit about Skyrim, uh, and I love it. I, I'm loving this melee playthrough, but I'd love to also substitute in a little bit of Fallout 4 here and there. Uh, you know, to play a bit of Pew Pew with the guns. and I, I love the VAT system. Um, but I cannot get rid of that stutter, dude. It, it, it's got to be something that's manifested itself with some sort of Windows update over the years because all, all the solutions to, you know, 2015 version, I just cannot remove that stutter. It, it's just nothing. Absolutely nothing. Is the downgrade needed for Phoenix? No. No, not anymore, dude. No. Wabberjack pretty much takes uh, takes care of all of that, Slim. So, yeah. What, what you, when you install this, if you've got Anniversary Edition, just do a clean install of Anniversary Edition. Boot it up once. Uh, come out and then, and then play with Wabberjack. Oh, it's still Eve there, is it, Richard? Oh, so you've not... Uh, how long before um, you ding into 2022 there, bro? I think you can do that, quite easily. isn't it? I think if you uh, invest a ton of time into blacksmithing, doesn't it turn out to be an incredibly powerful... Uh, you can actually make some of, some of the best gear in the game, can't you? And especially if you supplement it with enchanting. You're right, Zoke. Happy New Year's Eve, bro. You're not in 2022 where you are, are you, Zoke? You can't be yet, dude. Happy New Year's Eve, my friend. I hope you have a... You're embarking on a wonderful new journey next year, aren't you? Brand new job, having been in one that you've not been the fondest of for so long. I remember many a chat with you over the last 12 months, mate, where it just didn't seem to be... Uh, didn't seem to be making you very happy, did it, mate? So you've got, hopefully 2022 is the start of a fantastic new adventure for you, mate. I wish you all the very best, dude. Do you think there might be anything in there? What do you reckon? Shall I um, try a little bit of... Let me cast a little bit of light down. I don't think it's deep enough to... Uh, just kind of thought there might be a little... Shit, I hope I can get out of here. Oh, I might have it. Oh, hang on. That, that, that's making me wonder. Oh, here we go. I was going to say, you can't be that far out from uh, me, can you, Zoe? Arcane smithing. What uh, is that different to the normal smithing? Looks like a dead end. So, un unless you can say that I've missed something really obvious. Just, there was no, like, final booty, though, was there down here? Which is why I was thinking, surely. Hmm. I was thinking it could be like an underwater passage somewhere. But I'm, I'm starting to think now. Um, Richard, seriously, bro. Thank you very much for the seven. Thank you very much for the tier three, dude. And thank you for a wonderful 2021, bro. I hope, uh, I hope you have a wonderful follow-up, mate. And chilled mind, thank you for the follow as well, my friend. Cheers very much. Just another. I thought you got. Uh, I thought you were seeing friends or something uh, later, Richard. Is that is that not not the case now? Toasted cheese sandwiches, food of the gods, mate. Love it. Simplicity and tastiness. Oh, lets you upgrade enchanted gear. Oh, so if I have, so if I find some armor that is enchanted, I can't just upgrade it with some steel ingots and things, then no. I need to unlock something else, do I? 
I don't, I don't think I knew that actually. Well, I think we can safely say we've murdered all the ni uh, all, all the what the niches, the witches. And there's no one left, my friends. Where is that? That's not where we came in, is it? Something in there, isn't there? Are you playing Satisfactory, Richard? I, I gotta admit, I was very close to considering Satisfactory. It's, it's a game that has been recommended many, many times. Um, I just... I don't know. Uh, I, I, I'm sure I will play it at some point. In fact, I have every belief I will play it at some point. But... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get into... Really quick melee. We, we are wrecking these hags with this shield bash, man. Wrecking them. Oh, what the hell, dude? T-pose. Oh, my God. That's terrifying, bro. Kind of cool, though. We actually get to see a lot. I can actually see the feathers, look. Oh, man, look at that. It's no wonder they do so much damage in melee, innit? Quite kinky for some, one could say. Uh, steel gauntlets of minor poison resistance. Minor? That's like still 20%. It's pretty good, isn't it? And we know there's poison dragons, so... Yeah, you are, Harry. You got a glass of wine and a bacon and egg sandwich. <laughs> that sounds like... I never thought about having a glass of wine with a bacon and egg sandwich. Why not? It sounds perfect. Uh, you can't upgrade it without the park, and it's level 60. Ah, right. Uh, I don't think so, Limey. Have I tried the new shout? I, I haven't used any shouts at all, apart from the one we, we, we began with, uh, Jaboshua. You alright, Concrete? You alright, be night. Uh, be nado. Be a nado. How you doing, Whiskey? <laughs> we'll see some hags tomorrow morning. <laughs> There's a bunch to make it very kinky, girl. Uh, what do you mean? What the what the hags or, or you're just talking about Skyrim in general? Oh man, Sky, Skyrim's on a whole nother level in terms of the uh, the kink factor, man. I must admit it's weird not having uh, the nudity stuff in it. Uh, I've I've never been particularly bothered by it because obviously I can't stream that side of it. Um, but uh, it, it's uh. It's a wonderful journey of modding, to be honest. Um, especially if you're going down all the Havoc's jiggly physics for boobs, bums, and hair. Uh, and the high heels changes and things. It, it's, it's actually a fascinating delve into just how much you can modify things like the skeletons and things within, uh, within Skyrim. And whether or not you think it's pervy yeah that's your call mate I, I, I just think it's fascinating the, the depth with which some people have been able to add I mean some of the skins the, the body uh, changes that people have come up with I used to play with a character called Cerisiel and she had honestly I, th I think it was the UMP body um, base but honestly the tattoo she had this this just oh man the tattoo it was just like fucking hell dude 4k res it, it was it was a piece of freaking art man absolutely stunning so i take it that was the end i still feel like uh still feel like i'm missing something like but yeah lo lover's lab isn't it is where a lot of the uh 
the animation stuff and all, all the more fancy side of Skyrim rests. I just want to make sure I've not missed like a little lever or something. Not like that's going to act as a chain. Maybe that's it. But then again, I thought it, that was it a minute ago as well. Yeah, because the, the two main body changes are, well, I'm sure there's a bazillion variants, aren't there? But UMP and CBB is it's Caliente's, isn't it? I still find the, the whole Nexus for Fallout 4 very underwhelming compared to Skyrim. Some very good stuff over there. I, I certainly wouldn't want to belittle the work that so many people have done. In fact, um, I did boot up the Magnum Opus in store. And that looks amazing. That, see, that... That's not going to be... That, that's something I would stream and probably get a lot of, of grief for. Because it turns Fallout more into a... How can I put it? Um, more like a Skyrim-esque world. There's that sense of... In the apocalyptic aftermath. That nature has begun to reclaim the world. So there's a lot of trees, foliage grass growing up through uh, various areas and it is it, it's like a it, it's a more skyrim dense vegetative kind of i definitely just saw something there's definitely something breathing here isn't there shit this this is not over yet some i, th I think a spider's just gone behind the wall here i'm sure it has so it's very different to the dark drab dreary side of Fallout that, that I'm used to seeing, you see. But it, it looks amazing, man. It really does. Oh, Jesus. I'm trying really hard not to alert that, uh... That... Ha oh, shit. Oh, dude. Unlucky, bro. Is on to us. I can't see, I can't see to get out. I can't see to get out. You need, to keep, you need to keep them things stunned, don't you? They do not muck around in melee. Jesus, let alone the bloody fire casting and what have you. Bloody hell. Yeah, it's, it, it's, you know, it's not for everyone, Limey. But it would, it would make for a really nice compliment for um, Skyrim. It would be like playing a futuristic Skyrim, you know, instead of swords, boards, and all the rest of it. Um, we'd be playing like this, this wonderfully, I don't know, overgrown wasteland. Yeah, you know. I, I'm sure not in true spirit of the Fallout franchise, but I, I think it just adds something that just makes it much more interesting to explore in many ways. You're right, Ribbit. Uh, you can feed Lucia and Blaze. Uh, that, have you got children, have you? <laughs> Yeah, I'll, uh, it's, it's a it's not far from River, is it Riverwood? The, uh, I used to have a horrible crash issue near the hearth, hearth and home or whatever it is, uh, spot for the, for the build. New Vegas is your fault, I really, yeah, see, Vegas was the one I didn't like. Well, I shouldn't say didn't like, that I wasn't. It, it didn't. It didn't snatch me away. Fallout Three. I really got swept off my feet with that one. Um, I played them like quite a long time after they came out, 
I, I hadn't really played uh so I, the first time I played Fallout 3 I did play sort of like a modded kind of Fallout on PC um, well it wasn't a it didn't massively change the game but you, you know just some quality of life things and I, I did try Vegas but I just don't know it I just never got hooked on it really But I, I booted up Fallout 4 now on, on the last three days. Just after the stream while I'm uh, having a chat with uh, Grumdad. And honestly, I, I think I'd really enjoy a playthrough. But I can't get rid of the stutter. Uh, and it's an unplayable stutter. And I, I know people say they don't have it and they can't see it. I, I went on every stream uh, yesterday and, and 10 streams the day before that I said well, we're gonna do some proper checking out here yeah? I can see it everywhere man it's it's just so pervasive I was saying yesterday I went onto uh, the discord one of these uh, Wabberjack discords and uh, put up a video there and the first few comments were I don't know what you're on about it's as smooth as butter and I was like if you think that's smooth as butter you've got you've got another thing but it was people said nope that's smooth there's nothing the matter there and I went okay let me get another video so, so I did a much slower soft pan and still I had people saying I don't know what you're on about that there's not an issue there and, and if there is it, it's in it, you know inconceivably you know minute and then you got other people that were saying they couldn't see it on the first video well like, actually shit I can actually see that and that's like fucking clockwork now I can see it and it does it really affects the aiming you know you just you know you're doing a nice soft pan down with a gun to you know I don't know shit one of these mosquito things and it's like it's awful bro have I thought about playing Skyrim together? Uh, what's that? Is that the multiplayer or? Is that what it is? Lakeview Manor between... That's, that's the one. That's the one, Ribbit, yeah. Is that, is that what you're playing with? Or? Have I tried a pure magic? I ha You know what, Joshua? That, that I haven't. Yeah, I've, I've always had like three ongoing overhauls of my own. Uh, a melee one. Uh, the Stealth Arch one, which has got the, the most hours in, in terms of modding it. Because there's so many things you can change with Stealth to, to make it like brutal but also super enjoyable uh, and a magic overhaul and it's the magic overhaul I've never even really play tested it to be honest barely even touched it I do have a fourth one which is largely around companions because I, I still think that there's four ways to play Skyrim uh, and, and that's melee magic um, archery and with a companion um, I, I find companions very very strong uh, unless, unless you tweet them so uh, so you can play Skyrim with friends, pretty interesting, but still a bit buggy. Yeah, I, I remember watching uh, Baelish when he first uh, played it, uh, and it was bad. It was it was laughably bad, but but that was a long time ago, dude. It was a long, long time ago. So I know someone in chat said that they played it recently. It was actually half decent, so. Thing is, for me, Skyrim is a single player game and, and always will be it's like i said i don't even like playing with a companion i i, I love that battle that one-to-one -one, you know infiltrating these camps and things I'd, I'd i'd be willing to play it if there was a way to then obviously massively escalate the amount of individuals in the camps and things you know so like it'd be funny if like i, I had to go and take someone out or somebody else was whittling somebody else down but i think as a vanilla game I'd have to know a lot more about Skyrim together before I delved into it. And, and like you said, the Skyrim's already sometimes held together with duct tape as it is, isn't it? So the thought of playing a multiplayer variant and something going wrong mid-playthrough and, you know, it's, it's irrevocably broken would be heartbreaking. You right, Harry? Yeah, exactly, Harry. I, I mean, it's hard to do that, at, at, you know, with somebody else. And unless you're both very much in sync with one another. I, I find it quite a, a role play light game. You know, I, I don't, you know, mo most people play this game running around, whoosh, wee, and there's nothing the matter with that. You know, I've, I've got no issues with people that play like that. But for me, it's quite a cinematic experience, you know. I, I, I like to get into it. Well, it says optional, wipe out the Glenmoral Witches. So there are still some bloody witches in there, guys. I thought we were missing something, you know. 
that, you know, every time I've done a dungeon, I always sort of think, I'm, I'm not convinced. And, you know, sometimes we just head back in and we think, aha, there you go. Th this one all the way through, though, I'm thinking that this just, it's, that's just not it. I don't feel like I've hit the grand finale of it, you know? Why in this, sir, uh, Jaboshua? Uh, pure magic user. I tell you what, there are some absolutely fantastic mods for magic for Skyrim. It, it's probably one of the most heavily modded elements of, of the game, to be fair. What's in there? Look. Oh, wow, look at that. Straight, look, first time in, and straight away, a chest I didn't spot. Crazy. You want Elder Scrolls 6 to have multiplayer? See, I don't, Codex. I, I genuinely don't. In fact, I think I'd be a little bit heartbroken if it did. Uh, the reason for that, Codex, is to make a game multiplayer it is not as simple as we all think it is for, from a game development. Uh, for everything from, the, the, you know, the conceptualization of the game through to the additional work and the sacrifices that would need to be taken into account to make it multiplayer it, it's not something that just oh we can have another player it's a complete rework of everything that a game is to add multiplayer and and i think that they need to focus on, on the one thing they have left as a developer and that is a cracking open world with a ton of content and, and i think if they if they go down the route of multiplayer i think that game's dead in the fucking water to be honest I, I don't. I just don't see how they could possibly pull it off. Uh, it, it's not what the Elder Scrolls is. I think we'd end up with a hugely inferior Elder Scrolls if they added multiplayer. And, and I think there's already enough doubt as to how much more awesome they can make it than Skyrim anyway. Having looked at you know Fallout, which I'm playing or trying to play at the moment, is atrocious. Fallout 76, let's be honest, it is now a wonderful game, but. Yeah, m multiplayer Elder Scrolls, big no for me. I just, just, it's too much. It's just too much for them. Uh, you right, Wraithborn? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, that's an interesting one, Hot Dog. Yeah, yeah. You know, so somebody that only played in your game, but, but then, you, you, you know, you might as well start asking, what's the point then? If all you're playing is someone else's lackey, you know, who's going to want that? Uh, I see what you're saying, uh, and, and I think it's an interesting sort of middle ground. But again, it's a huge additional task, man. Uh, you played a game on PlayStation that was like that, I forgot the name, but the story was all about the soul survivor going out fighting aliens, and then the co-op just had the other dude following along. Yeah, I think that's what you're saying, isn't it, Hot Dog? So you sort of play like a, like I said, more like a, a companion than, than, than a true hero in a way. You right, Billy? Stay safe out there. Happy New Year, or Happy New Year's Eve at least, Billy. I hope you have a lovely evening. You played so much Fallout 3, New Vegas was just meh. I think I got as far as some hotel or place where people were held up near the start and couldn't be asked with it. it was as, soon as, as soon as I got to the sparkly bright lights are, uh, it was like, woo, what's going on here then? It, it just didn't feel like, I, I don't know, I really liked the, the I, I, I guess the starkness, the barrenness of Fallout 3's landscape that was still pocketed with like a really nice density of things to do uh, and it did feel like, like it's, I don't know everything from that beginning bombing things it just felt like things mattered um, Ve Vegas I don't know Vegas just felt I don't know it felt a little bit kind of wacky almost you know what I mean it just, just felt like it was having a bit of a almost a bit of a giggle at its own self I'm sure it's a fantastic game. I just never really got into it. So. Yeah, Happy New Year's Eve, Billy. I hope you and everyone in the family are well, my friend. Stay safe out there. Yeah, I can, I can get that, Limey. I think most people I've spoken to, uh, in, in fact, as I say, the overwhelming majority of people I've spoken to over the years prefer New Vegas to Fallout 3. But I didn't. I, I, I struggled to get into New Vegas. I did enjoy Fallout 76. I really enjoyed Fallout 76. Uh, and in fact, if they would just allow me to uh, 
sort out their atrocious textures <laughs> and various other elements of the game that wouldn't actually impact on, say, anybody else, I would probably quite happily play that over Fallout 4. But, uh... Fallout 76 is is not not the prettiest of looking games, uh, and so sometimes I like being able to uh, play about with that side of things. So it's got to be over here, look. So it's it's literally like dead in front of me. By the looks, is another is it another tunnel or is it the, is it up there maybe? I'd love to play Fallout 4, and in fact, the fact that I've spent so little of my very precious time over the last few days tr trying to get it up and running would, would probably, for those of you that know me, to tell you just how how excited I would be to get it up and running. But I can't. I just cannot get it in. You know, I can get it playing okay, but okay is not good enough, man. That that stutter is just summer else. And the thing is, it, it's not like it, it, you know, it does affect combat, obviously, but it actually is because it's so repetitive in, in terms of how. Oh, is that where I went? Oh, so I went down there and I never followed along along here. Look, it, it, it starts making me feel I, I'm not going to try and say nauseous. I don't feel sick or anything like that, but the con because it's on such a regular tick. It actually does my head in. It, it's actually really hard for me to keep playing it. You know, like I said, it's not, in, you know, creating a headache or inducing some sort of nausea, but, but it's enough to make me feel a little bit, a little bit like a mild screen tear might bother some people. Um, whereas screen tearing is, I can't play a game with screen tearing. I literally can't. You know, I, I, I'd end up with a very bad headache. Um... But yeah, God, I've, I've tried every trick. And, and as a long-term Skyrim modder, I know every fucking trick in the fucking book, mate. And it's just, it's just, it's just something wrong with it, man. Or, or should I say something wrong with current PCs? You know, whether it be some sort of Windows freaking thing or... So some, you know, I could probably roll back to like an NVIDIA driver from like 2015, right? <laughs> I'm sure the game would probably play fine, but th th that, that's the degree of fiddling I'm just not willing to go down that route. I mean, that's just taking it too far, right? You can, you, you, you can mod in a weapon degradation and things. I've never understood people's uh, obsession with weapons degradation in Fallout games or, or, or any game. I don't, I don't mind it as long as it's not too intrusive, but, you know, if my sword, I had to keep going back to White Run to repair it, I, I'd have turned it off by now. You know, the, the game's enjoyable without me having to, like, worry about fucking... I mean, I wouldn't mind it, like, say, like, over time it didn't do as much damage, you know, like, it loses its sharpness. So when I go back to White Run or use a, you know, a grindstone, I, I get a, a little bonus for, you know, 100 swings or whatever it's going to be. But durability in, in Fallout, I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want it. I just, I'd rather not have it, to be honest. Happy New Year, Talc! Happy New Year! How are you, bro? I was hoping I'd see you at least uh, for a second or so. I was gonna drop me a message. How are you, Talc? How's things? Are you, uh, you got a bit of time off work, fella. It's the need to make games harder. It doesn't, though. It doesn't make games harder. It makes games more boring. And adding weapon durability does not make a game in any way more difficult because nine times out of ten, all you do is you just have to take it somewhere to repair it or you have to click a button to repair it or you have to make a repair kit to repair it. It's not making it more difficult. It's making it more laborious. Yeah, but that's fine then, Mario. So, so just add it. But that's different to weapon durability then, isn't it? Uh, on the flip side of that, there's no reason in Fallout law why weapons... I mean, so, some of that stuff's like alien technology, isn't it? Uh, you, you could have it so you had grades of weapons, like other games do, uh, which would be far more immersive than having... Guns don't really fucking degrade, do they? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a submarine out in the middle of a fucking war zone. He's not having to go back every fucking magazine he fires to fucking repair his weapon, is he? 
So I, I, I think, I think uh, you know, we might need to clean them, you know, like Red Dead did. You know, Red Dead, you had to clean your barrel and things. But guns don't just magically break after, a, you know, a couple of hundred rounds, do they? Fucking hell, they'd be all fucking hell to pay, wouldn't they? Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying, Limey. I think durability is like one end of the spectrum, and all it is is adding boredom to a game. That's why I was saying, like, with my weapons, I wouldn't mind if my weapon is static and the game is balanced around that. But if I take it to a grindstone, I get plus, say, three damage for a while. Uh, like Red Dead did it. You know, if you regularly cleaned your guns, it kept them in good working order. Uh... But the thought of somehow magically having to use an iron ingot to fucking repair a fucking gun in Fallout, quite frankly, I, I just find that just crazy, to be honest, dude. Well, yeah, exactly, when so I mean, like, there's always, there's always going to be a scenario. But that, like I said, that's more about keeping the fucking things clean, isn't it? It's not about, like, see, if you take a gun and you fire it down a shooting range, pew, 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 pew it's not losing durability. Uh, you know, in the amount, you know, in the life cycle of a gun, is it? You know, in 40 hours of gameplay, your gun isn't going to magically need a steel ingot, is it? Well, yeah, again, I'm not going to entertain the discussion if we're going to start talking about batshit crazy things, Slim. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I said, it's... Uh... Uh, the, the game that I liked was for uh, was it, it wasn't Fallout. It was Far Cry Two, where um, the character had it was malaria, and also the lower tier guns actually could jam mid fight, and a lot of people hated that. You know, the gaming community on mass were not happy with it. I loved that because that was kind of in a way a, a, a good role play into the real world you know this dude was very sick you know he could become overcome with sort of racking pain and malarial shakes at any minute uh his gun as you said when sex you know he was dragging it you know it was a low you know it was a weapon that hadn't been looked after by people who'd taken it off and you know he's running around through bloody rivers and things and god knows what and clambering through all sorts of manner of horrible places you know it's probably not going to be in the best of nick and then oh, very easily could jam or you belong to her scene now i've got a problem <laughs> so it's a snorks baby it there we go beautiful are you, are you got anything nice planned for tonight, Wensex? Because obviously your mom's back at home now, isn't she? Are you, uh, are you having a... a, a Wookie's got his barbecue going on. You've not you've not quite ding dinged 2022 yet, have you, Tal? You're not in the future yet, are you? I bet they had gun jams to this ready or not swap. Yeah, but would that happen? Like, seriously, Limey. I mean... Are there any Marines in chat or anyone in the armed forces that has, has been, like, say, on a single combat operation? You know? Before you go, before you go to a, a I don't know, like like, like an... A, 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 I don't know, like, like a... Fuck knows. A, a house that you're going to kick the door down, right? What, what's, what's the first thing you'll do? You're making sure your gear is top gear, right? Every, everything's clean. It's where it needs to be. You've done all the prep work, right? What are the actual chances in a normal combat scenario without, you know, fucking desert blizzards and all the fucking rest of the, of the gun jamming? New Year's Does anyone know? Chinese Has anyone got an answer to that? I mean, any, any gun can jam. You, you, know, get, you know, it could be a full... I, I guess the round itself could cause it to happen or, you, you know... But what are the chances? You know, let, let's say take a, a, you know, someone on a shooting range and that they take whatever, what, what guns the Marines use, I don't know. And, and you take like 10 of those guns and you fire 100 rounds on each gun. What are the chances of any one of those guns jamming? I bet it is fucking tiny, right? <laughs> yeah, I'd like to know, River, yeah. I mean, the, the, you've, got to, you, you've got to think, right, the, these armed forces around the world, right, the last thing they need 
is all their dudes and dudettes having guns that jam every other round, right? <laughs> that magically have this weird durability system. Um, you'd think that's the one thing that they want to happen, right? You know, it, you know, the range might not be great or you know, the accuracy might not be great, but none of that really matters if the fucking thing's jammed, does it? So you'd think that would be you know, probably one of the most important things, wouldn't it? <laughs> you need to change a barrel on one of the LMGs after XXX rounds as it warps in the heat. And that makes sense, you see. That that makes sense. You know, sustained burst fire of, you know, a big mounted machine gun or, or, or even, like, I don't know, small firearms. Uh, you know, you can, you can understand that, can't you? But, you know, we're talking about fucking fallout here, which is where the discussion began, yeah? I mean, nine times out of ten, you probably fire that gun five times before you replace it anyway, right? So why the hell would I want weapon durability on it? And Wentex, thank you very much for the 27. Uh, we, we actually were talking about a cheeky Chinese earlier. <laughs> Shall I have an anti-vegan Chinese, Wentex? <laughs> it's quite tempting, actually. So guns regularly tap. So, okay, you're going to have to quantify that. Then. You, you can't just say that and expect me to ha have some understanding. That, that, that's not telling me anything. Uh, gun, and again, you haven't said anything, Gray. Yeah, you, you, again, you're not answering the question. All you're telling me is what I've already said. You're just repeating exactly what I've said, that things jam. You're not telling me what the percentage chance per round in ideal conditions is. Like I said, given a scenario where you take a gun, you provide 10 of those guns off a production line, and you fire, say, a thousand rounds. Let's just say each one holds a magazine of 20. You, you, you know, you fire it as if you're in a combat scenario. You know, how many rounds would you fire in a typical combat scenario? Because a Marine only has a certain amount of ammo on them, right? So we, we, that, that, that thing about firing infinite amount of rounds, I'm not interested. It, it, when a Marine deploys, he's got a gun or she's got a gun with a certain amount of ammo with them, right? How many rounds is that going to be? Because those things weigh a fucking ton, yeah? That, that, those magazines are fucking heavy, yeah? You are limited to how much you're going to carry. So, given that scenario, what are the realistic chances of a, of a jam? Yeah, and, and again, it, low, we've, all we're saying is just wishy-washy things. Guns regularly jam. What does regularly mean? Every two rounds. Every 3,000 rounds. You know, it, it's not specific enough. Um, what's that? National Rest Blog Reboot. Uh, let's have a quick look. A 2008 rifle failed badly. But is, it, is this just a one-off scenario back in 2008? Is, is it... Oh, wow, look at that gun. That looks fucking amazing. What is that? What is that gun? Is that... Oh, is it an M4 carbine? That looks amazing. So the US Army's M4 rifle failed badly in the 2008. So already we're talking like fucking over a decade ago. So, so not really presumably... What, what a modern-day Marine would have, right? God, that sounds scary. Imagine that. Taliban forces saying, Paratroops have just arrived on the area five days prior. Firing machine guns, rocket-propelled grenades and mortars. Fucking hell. It's terrifying, isn't it? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm reading a lot of bollocks and nothing about... Oh, my weapon was overheating, and another soldier said. I had shot about 12 magazines by this point. That's a lot of magazines, right? <laughs> These dudes were being, like, attacked by... Millions of fucking Taliban using fucking rocket propelled. This was not a typical firefight, right? <laughs> it fired 360 rounds in 30 minutes, yeah? That, that's more than you're ever going to fire in Fallout, okay? <laughs> that's 14 rounds a minute. He's firing a shot every four seconds. That sounds like a fucking lot to me. Yeah, uh, soldiers have complained of aluminium magazines. So did they replace them after that? I'm going to read that. That sounds actually really interesting. Uh, did, did they change the gun after that? Or did they change, like, uh, some some element of it? I mean... So how, much does, you know, how much does 12 magazines weigh? How, how much is 12 magazines? That, that, that's a fair few kilos, right? You can put a percentage on that, Gray, because it would be part of the operational testing of a new firearm. Of course it would be. A failure rate. So of course there would be, Gray. You, you don't think they just bang out a gun and then don't test it to see if there's an issue with jamming, do you? So of course you can. Maths, exactly. Uh, people talk about military grade, but military grade is shite and well used. Is it really? Why well, is military grade not actually that good, is it? 
Uh, maybe for the SWAT thing, it's less than a 1% chance, but it will give you something else to think about. Can you imagine it? Because I, I, I remember playing, what was that game we played where you've got all sorts of like different types of jam? Uh, was it, what game was that? Was it Scum? Because the, there are like, a gun doesn't just jam, does it? It's not like what I thought, you know, just fucking got a bullet stuck in it or something. There's like a whole myriad of different types of jam, aren't there? And different ways of fixing it. And, and I think Scum had like a sort of, uh, I, I, I suppose simulation of that. And it was kind of based on actually looking at the gun, wasn't it? If you look to the gun, you can actually see like different jams. You can actually see like different issues with the gun, couldn't you? So you knew how to deal with it. Um, it was quite interesting, actually. Quite well done. Uh, Wednesday, seriously, dude, thank you very, very much for the 27, my friend. That's very, very kind of you, mate. That's absolutely fantastic. Thank you very, very much indeed, bro. Very kind of you. Yeah, exactly. And, like, I mean, the, like, the old muskets and things. I mean, Jesus Christ, the, you know, guns backfire. Even worse than a jam. I mean, fucking hell. But back in the day, guns would have, like, like blown your own eyeballs through the back of your head, wouldn't they? You, you know, with, with too big a charge and things and, you know, incorrect wadding or whatever they called it. But, you know, a, a modern-day firearm... You know, there's one thing that they're, they're going to want to know, isn't there? You know, how many times has this fucking thing been fired? In what conditions? And what are the fucking chances of something going wrong, you know? You know, you're, in, you're about to invest billions of dollars into outfitting your military with with a gun. You're going to want to know shit, right? You'd like to think you would anyway. Yeah, we cleared it. We did it. So what? So when you say military grade ammo is not the best, then what is the best? Is, is military grade? Is that a thing then? So is military grade? Because I always thought military grade was like the, the best of the best. You know what I mean? That, that's the whole point. It wasn't just. Is there something? You know? Is there a name for a better? I don't know. Better? What would you call it? Like um. post-production check on it, you know? Quality assurance. Yeah, but, yeah, but you, you're, not, you're not disagreeing with me. You're actually agreeing with me, Gray. Because I, I've made it very clear that I'm not talking about in the field. I, I, I don't know how much clearer I can make it. You take 10 guns or 100 guns off production line, and you fire each one, yeah? And I, I literally bet you they do this. I'd find it very hard to believe that they don't in literally, not even in a in a shooting range. I bet with like a, you know, like they do um, ergonomic t tests and things like braking systems with cars, yeah? I bet a new gun literally sits in a laboratory, right? With, with like a, a geared compressor against the trigger and all it does is shoot and shoot and shoot it pulls it pulls and they test it with different fire rates different ammunition and i bet you anything out there there is a statistic saying you know under normal conditions you know a normal would define you know firing around x amount of times a minute the failure rate on this gun is this you can't possibly tell me that is not something they test with modern day firearms dude of course it's a statistic, mate. It might not be a statistic they want you to know about. So I'm not talking about irregularities in the field. I'm talking about a, a, a post-production gun off a production line in laboratory conditions will fire a certain type of round. What are the chances of a jam, of it exploding, of it backfiring, of all the other things, you see? No, 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 I was very clear about that, Greg. No, I was very clear, mate. I did very clearly say, you know, that standing on a non operator That's why I said to Wentex, you know, we, we can't take into account, you know, sitting in a, you know, a freezing icy cold blizzard or or the blast of dust into, you know, into the barrel just as you're about to take a shot. You know, that that is, you know, that's the real world. It's the same with cars, isn't it? You know, they test the brakes on cars. You know, that's very different in a laboratory, you know, crash test dummies going through windscreens and things. There's a million and one factors out there in the real world, but the data is there, isn't it? The, the, the data is something that is kind of sound and it would be... And then the reason that I'd really like to know, you know, I'd really like... I've always thought, because I'm English <laughs> and I've not allowed guns <laughs> for obvious fucking reasons. I'd love to know that sort of data, you know, like... I always think of a gun as so precision engineered, right? 
that, that, that nothing really does go wrong with it. You know, it, it has been tested a million times. You know, these guns have been around for years, haven't they? The, the, the whole industry is about having a reliability, a reliance of, of a brand and a product. And, and I, I bet some of these things are... And this, this all ties back to this bullshit about durability. You know, we don't want fucking durability on guns. Guns don't just wear out after a couple of fucking magazines. The only gun that never fails is the AK-47. Now, here's a question, right? I've heard this. Is the AK-47 a popular gun? Because, one, it's very cost-productive or cost-efficient to manufacture and also has an extremely low failure rate. Or, or is that bullshit? Oh, M4 misfire. 6% failure rate. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. When was this? September the 20th. So this is in 2018. Fucking hell, that seems like a fucking eye failure rate to me, man. <laughs> I, I, I can't... Oh, it's got a fucking pop-up when so I can't read it, mate. I can't read it. You can have guns just... Yeah, well, obviously, I know. I'm, yeah, Jesus Christ. C can't keep... Jesus, I, I never get a word out of anyways if everyone's going to keep coming up with different angles. Uh, you need to come uh, camping out in the mountains, Grim. You can sh I'd love to, Jaboshua. Yeah, I'd love to. Uh, so uh, I can say this. Of the firearms, I own my Kimber Pro Carry 2 Custom .45. What the hell is that? You've got a picture of it. The right ammo is the most... With the right ammo is the most reliable I ha weapon I have. AK-47 hits heavy. The only... <laughs> Cheap, cheap and can be fixed with a spring. Well, re it really is the AK. I mean, is that true then? Because right, so uh, obviously I do sometimes have to go on you guys and girls like information here. Is the AK-47 actually a really fucking badass weapon, yeah? I I've heard tales, you know, in chat and things, you know, that like the AK, you can fucking drag it through a fucking swamp, drop it off a fucking mountain and the bastard thing will still fucking put a bullet through someone's head at, you know, 50 yards or whatever it is. I is it that good? Is it actually that good? Yeah. The AK goes all the way back to World War II. Didn't need to change. It's just a spring in a barrel and that's fucking it, yeah? That's actually quite cool, isn't it? That, that's quite cool. It's such an iconic weapon. Is it... What? What is it still like one of the most produced firearms, is it? Really, if you ever get a chance to dig one out, when so if you just happen to be watching one and you think of me, just, just pop it over on Discord, mate. I'd be really interested to see that. I'm fa oh, guys, I'm fascinated by guns. You can probably tell. That's why I don't, I don't like the chat like devolving into to, to daftness, because I actually really am fascinated by guns. Like genuinely, I think they're fucking amazing. <laughs> oh no, is that the time? Mom, oh, a fuck big off. happy new year to you and yours, with the hope for no. a better new year, with health and happiness oh, to you. Right. Also, realize. did you notice the time? Winking I face. I didn't know. Fucking time. Fuck you, time. <laughs> I didn't realise as I got no idea. This is what happens when we start talking about because I think it's brilliant. I think they're amazing. Like I said, I, I think they just. I think they're amazing. I, I, I love anything that's kind of tactile, right? And feels good. You know, I, I, I don't. I'm not. I've never been a big fan of mobile phones, right? Whatever. You know, I, I, I've never needed a really good phone. But I have got a nice phone, courtesy of all of you. And there's something about every time I hold it, I always think that just feels so well made. You know, there's a weight to it, a density to it, a, a sort of precision to to what makes it. You know, the just the clarity of it. You know, that, that, that sort of like nanometer precision. Uh, but but it's a phone. It, it doesn't have to do anything outside of the electronics. Whereas a gun, it's, it's this marrying up of you know, years and years of, like, research, technology, precision engineering. It, it's actually used in real-world combat situations to literally kill people and save lives, you know, whichever side of the fence you're sitting on. Uh, and, and, and I think they're, they're incredible. I, I'm, I'm fascinated by gun culture, even though I would never want to own a gun. I, I'm terrified of the fucking things. I, I would be dead within minutes if you let me hold a fucking gun. I, 
<laughs> I'd be looking down the wrong end of it and all sorts. <laughs> I've always wanted to hold one. I'd love to hold one. I'd love to hold an AK-47 on a shooting range and just fucking shoot it and go, fucking hell, man, that is crazy. <laughs> and I'd be dancing around like a little kid going, damn, that is fucking, that is the bollocks, boy. <laughs> I feel like a kid in a sweetie shop, you know what I mean? But so I do, I do take these these conversations quite seriously in a way. That, that that's like when we're talking about the statistics of the data. It's it's nice not to just have the you know the the gun culture from video games sort of permeate the conversation. But you're right. Oh, is that? Oh, yeah, because Dan's doing his Skyrim playthrough, isn't he? Yeah. Now you see someone with an AK. What, what's that, dude? What's that? Uh, sorry, what did you say, Richard? Uh, the Kimber are very good, expensive, but amazing. I have a 9mm Aegis. God, the names are so cool, aren't they? A Ruger 1022. <laughs> oh, man. I've, I've got a custom grip on one of your pistols. Feels so good, like an extension of my hand. See, you know, when you say that, and it, like, even you say it's side your washer, and obviously you've, you, you know, probably had it for years and things. Uh, you see, now I, I want to hold it. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I will, Harry, because I can travel. That, that's the whole point, Harry. I, I, it's like you said. I, I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure. If I really wanted to, someone would be kind enough. I, I'd like to think so. Someone in chat in America or, or wherever it would be, or Australia perhaps, or wherever you know guns are a bit more commonplace, would, wouldn't mind. You know, if, if I put myself into a hotel or something, I'm sure someone would be happily take me to a shooting range with their own guns and have a play with them. Uh, I, I'd love to do it one day. It's terrifying. I'd probably end up moving country just so I can shoot guns all day. <laughs> You've got quite small hands, so I like the single stack. What does single stack mean? What, what single stack? I'm not, I think I've heard the expression, but I don't know what it means. Yeah, shooting clubs. Yeah, exactly, Limey. Yeah, I mean, even in the UK, you can go to shooting clubs, Harry. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, we looked into it on one stream, didn't we? Uh, didn't we find about three or four? All, all in really close proximity to Birmingham. I mean, I don't actually live in Birmingham, but I'm regularly there. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing to stop you shooting guns in the UK, bro. Yeah, no, nothing at all, mate. Uh, I take, uh, you're shooting anytime you want. I have a ready-made range at the, at the house. Whoa, well, you have your own range, Gray. Holy shit, dude, that sounds cool. Could, could we have a barbecue as well? <laughs> book me in, book me in. <laughs> I'll bring a bit of British bacon. It'll be great. I don't know. That's why I was quite surprised, actually. If, if, if it wasn't time, I'd have, I'd have a bit of a natter with uh, Talc and Richard about that. It'd be interesting to know what, um, what the gun legislation in Australia is like. Guys and girls, I'm afraid I do have to go and call Grumdad. Um, I, and to be honest, I am looking forward to calling him just to see how he is. As some of you know, he's not, he's not feeling brilliant, but he's also not feeling terrible. So I'm going to go and call him. It has been a hell of a year, ladies and gents. Uh, I would normally hang around for a good chunk of time and wish you all the very best, but time is a little bit of the essence today because he will be expecting a phone call. 2021 has been a hell of a journey. Um, we've shared many laughs. We've shared a few tears. We've had some hardships, some heartache. People have lost loved ones. We've seen uh, friends come and go and... It has been a very, very difficult year for some of you. Uh, very difficult. And, and I know how much some of the community have supported one another. Um, but it's not often that at least a week or two doesn't go by where someone's dropped me a message. Just not, not to say thank you necessarily to myself, but for other people that have just been around. I know some of you get into um, private messages during the streams and over on Discord and play video games together. And I, I know some of you have been an absolute rock for so many people in the community. And, and that works both ways for me as well. Absolutely. You've got me, uh, you've got me through a very, very difficult year. Uh, yeah. Very difficult year. <clears throat> with, um, obviously, with the girlfriend and, and all that leading in from the year before and all the uncertainty around it, it's... It's not always as easy as one might think, and I know we try and come on here, and you know this is the seven hours a day where we try and put a bit of a, a bit of a smile on the face and crack on with life, and we do, we really do. 
try very hard to maintain that each and every single day but like i said it's not always as easy as everyone makes out is it so to everyone that's been around for the last year uh, and obviously in some cases like for many many years before that to say the least holy shit then I, I can never thank you all enough for what what you've provided uh, to myself and so many other people and to my family as well you know it's um ah oh shit this is tough man ah oh, keep it man keep it together bro it's uh i don't know where i'd be without it all i, I, I know that for a fact it would be uh it would be a very difficult well it would be a very different world without it all and like i said try and take it all with a bit of a pinch of salt and a bit of a giggle we have we have that kind of policy of keeping it light and jovial like we would down the pub with your mates it, it's uh we we, we we welcome the sadness as much as we welcome the fun we never want it to be a community where we don't want people to share the bad times as well as the good times because i think you need that dose of balance and reality in life uh i, I don't want anyone ever thinking that if you're having a bad day is not the place to come and share it and we'll, we'll stop this fucking you know stream dead in its paces if we have to if, if it's gonna help you um jesus <laughs> I should plan these things, shouldn't I? I should have a script. <laughs> so everyone that's been around for the last year, and like I said, for so many years before it, thank you very much. It's been awesome. And the generosity that you've shown me in the last couple of weeks, and, and obviously for, for many, many months before that, but, but in particular over the last, last two, three weeks leading into Christmas, I, I, I still haven't found a way to say thank you. I just really don't know what to say to all of that. It's still... I still don't think it's really settled in, to be quite honest. But, um, and, and you know, I'm very bad at articulating all of this, to say the least. Um, I, I don't think I've not had a little bit of a, a, a non-dry eye any day of the week when it suddenly hit, hit just how many of you have just given up so much in order to support just me. It just doesn't fucking seem right at all. Um, because it has, it, it's, it's, you, you have gone way above and beyond anything that anyone should ever expect from anybody, whether it be friends or family. So thank you ever so much. And, and hopefully we'll be going into the new year with uh, some fancy new equipment. But it's not about that. It's about keeping the stream the way we'd like, you know, we've wanted it to be. And, you know, just take a little bit of worry away from us all. Because it, it has been a bit worrying not knowing what we're going to do on a daily basis. And, and thank you. Thank you very much. Let's hope 2022 is a good one. Um, who knows? We, we just live in such crazy times. I was saying earlier today, it's, you know, I, I, sometimes I, I'm not in denial. I, sometimes I just think I, I'm sitting here, you know, both in and out of the stream, just waiting for some rubber band snap back to reality. And I think over the last six to 12 months, I've kind of realized that there is no returning back to the way things were. And, and I guess we all know that the world is a changing place and it's a scary place. But there's this place, this home that you've all created that I am so proud to be a part of, guys. So proud. It's It's been incredible. Um, and I just want to leave it on that. Just thank you very much. Thank you very, very much indeed for being there day in, day out. Whether it's a message on Discord, a quick DM, uh, popping up uh, some music in Discord for us all to dance along to. It has been one hell of a journey through 2021. And let's hope 2022 brings more smiles <laughs> than, than sad smiles. Um, but if that happens, you know, if, if the bad stuff does occur, come and join us. We're, we're here to listen. And we'll, we'll do everything we can to support you. Thank you very much. On a slightly more positive note, we'll try and go out with a smile on our face. Thank you all for a wonderful stream today. I won't do the normal outro. You all know where we are. Thank you for the bits as well, Shade. Sorry, mate. <laughs> I didn't realise it was three o'clock. <laughs> I've been dreading the end. Thank, thank you very much, Shade. Thank you for the 500. And Blakey, thank you for the 500 as well. Honestly, I wish you all the most wondrous journey this evening into 2022. And I hope you get some smiles on your faces. I hope you do get, to, you know, a chance to spend it with some loved ones to dance merrily, eat some good food, watch a good film, party hard, get naked, whatever you're all up to. I hope it's a wonderful one. And I hope that carries on throughout all of 2022. 
to every single person, no matter what role you played. Like I said, lurkers, chatters, nobbers, everyone united. And let's try and do something special with 2022. Let's, I'll try. I'll do my absolute best after everything you've given me over the last few weeks and then beyond that. We'll try and make it a special one. That, that's a promise. If I can. <laughs> and yes, let's get naked. <laughs> <laughs> and fireworks, Miss Nordic. Oh my god, na naked and fireworks. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> this is why Grumbody is not allowed to ever meet and party. <laughs> it would be a terrifying mess. It would be a disaster. Oh dear. Man. Ladies and gents, seriously, thank you for being such beautiful, wonderful, supportive friends. And I really mean that. It's... Uh... So some of the some, some of the you know the bonds the memories the moments that they surpass you know what what many of us call friends in real life you know well whether i've met you in real life or not or even spoke to you on discord or whatever it's going to be or not you are truly truly my best friends thank you wishing you all a fantastic 2022 you stay safe that's me done for 2021 we'll be back tomorrow morning no doubt i won't have a hangover some of you will but we'll be back God save the queen. <laughs> Did she still do a ch chat tonight? I can't remember. <laughs> Seriously. To everyone out there, stay safe this evening, you beautiful, beautiful people. I shall see you in 2022, and let's make it a fucking awesome one.
never 